There's a lot of things in life I hate making, and that was one of them. I still can't believe it. Uh, I... That sucks. What's happening, everybody? What's going on, guys? I just now got my phone. I, I haven't had my phone in like four hours. I forgot why. Oh, it. shit. <laughs> That's bad when you, when, when you leave all your phone to vibrate now. Yep. And then you forget where you leave one. I've already been gone for since uh, like one o'clock. Couldn't, there ain't nothing wrong with that you sometimes. Know, and, and, and you know what? It was, it was, it's all right. Yep. It's all right, mm-hmm. man. I had mine pretty much on ignore for three, four hours a day and just did what I wanted to do and just didn't look at my phone. Yeah. I got off the phone with Waylon today and I set it down uh, and uh, I left it out back. I didn't even think about going out back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go out back until I went out back before the show. And I was like, oh, there's that fucking phone right there. Jeez, I just got out of the shower. Damn it. <laughs> Half ass sunburn. I'm fucking peeling like a motherfucker. I am too, man. My nose is fried. I'm my pretty good. Are, my lips are freaking sunburned. It's bad. I bet you they are. <laughs> Mr. Worn out too. It's, 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 it seems like uh, I'm finally not, which I got back to the hotel. When we got back to the hotel room, like I was feeling it, but it sank in within a day. I was like, it's about that time. Finally. <laughs> Well, I'm going to blame somebody for putting the screen <laughs> due west. Directly and I mean sun. due west. <laughs> I can't help the towers on that side. <laughs> I could have put you up in the shade. I asked you where you wanted to be. I didn't Damn, care. Ray. <laughs> Damn, Ray Whitaker. No shit. Damn, Damn man. Damn I always, man. I always got a hat on. I just didn't have the cur- like I had. If you, you can't see, but I'm actually, I got the sun, the sunglass and the hat line going on. Oh, so, yeah. right. at least I don't have a big white band from the headlamp. Going across my head. This year I got a you know, look like a raccoon. Like raccoon. Uh, Damn, I got yeah. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> Let me get my lights on over here. Let me see if I can change the shit up. So I my lights. Gosh, damn. He's got to turn it to that natural uh, color. Hey, oh, just yeah. go in. Hey, go in the settings and change the to make your appearance look better on here. Hey, you know you can do that, right? Hey, yeah, I've seen that tonight. Hey, yeah. Peepaw Fresh in the comments. Peepaw Fresh. What up, Matt? What up? That's weird. Have- all right, I get to go over here now. What's up, Tommy? I'd be damn. I shouldn't have ever said nothing about the wieners. <laughs> Dude, they were tearing you up on the live feed about it. Uh, yeah, God. they were. Appreciate that, Rob Smith. Dude, what was it? I bet I, when I was standing over there at that one point, it was at least 50 comments. Happy got any wieners? Happy Gosh. seen some wieners? Happy damn. always got a little wieners in his mouth. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, I know they was killing me, man. I got to see the eclipse twice this week. Got to see it yesterday and Saturday. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, no. Except the did eclipse the... was kind of weird at uh, Decker Boys. Did the group chat get that? It was really no. Uh, no, I was, I... Asking, I was asking for it yesterday. Oh boy, uh, I don't know if I want to send that. Is it the same one I sent? Oh. Uh... I shared that too on Facebook oh. in my story. Oh. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Poland sent that to me, and I was like, "You motherfucker, man!" I was I like, dying, "I like, dude. I like, got me, you got me on that motherfucker." He you did, he, because I'm all watching all of a sudden this ball sack comes. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was watching, and then I'd seen him uh, snap from uh, off my camera as it was going on, and then he sent back, and I was like, "Oh, cool, this is gonna be what it actually looks like." And you son of a bitch. <laughs> Here's the other eclipse. Oh, yeah, be, here's one. They'll be on tonight around 8.30-ish. Where'd it go? Well, I see. Yeah, I see. That's the eclipse I saw in person. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we could share that. Oh, boy. 
You may be able to. I think I win. We can. <laughs> Hell with it. Uh, I heard happy. I'm on, I'm, on that, I'm, I'm on that on Corey. <laughs> My name's Ben that I ain't in it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's our trophy girl, and uh, yeah, she got a face full. Kentucky clips. I got this. Uh, where'd it go? We just gave him Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. I appreciate that, Paul. Hold on, what is it? Comments are up. rolling. I know, I'm trying to keep up. Damn, the comments are rolling. We ain't even got Poland and Trevor arguing yet. Oh, hell yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, man. All right, let me just pull this up. Chelsea says she's bringing I, some hard, that, that fucking... New Jersey ham to Where butt naked. Oh, I heard, heard all I seen today was pork egg rolls. That's, that's, that's New Jersey ham. <laughs> it's actually... How did she say pork it? Roll. Yeah. It's pork roll. Pork roll with egg for a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> breakfast breakfast sandwich. But all I seen was pork egg roll. All uh, right, we got this. We had a, a fan submission. One little happy. Oh God. Would <laughs> Would you do it? Oh, I'll take some pork roll, egg, and cheese. Holy shit! Look at that. <laughs> nope. Make Hell sure no. Chelsea's, oh, that's legit too. The, do you put ketchup, salt, and pepper on it too? Look how far, how high that motherfucker is. There ain't no, especially in a corner like that too. Like hell no, you know. And all bridges you mostly know are straight, which are the best part, I guess. Ooh, what the fuck, dude! Can I swear, I, I go across that same bridge in Atlanta. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that one I sent the other day? That it's idiot hanging up. on to that light pole. Yeah, it's one arm and the guys. I put it in the group chat, and then the other mm -hmm. guys got the GoPro on a stick, sitting there filming him. Like it gave me goosebumps. I know, we're waiting on this world times. to waiting on the world to uh, uh, eliminate itself is what I'm just waiting on. You know, bro. I went across. I went across. I went across the uh, the Ohio River. And there was a barge going underneath with one of those with those with the coal and stuff. Oh god. And as I'm going under, I said, Oh fucking Christ. Yep. <laughs> hey, did y'all y'all watch uh the tabers last night? I see the I didn't get to watch. Yes, I did. I said, okay. Well, I was watching okay. when they pulled the car in there and started doing a burnout oh, in the shop. Did y'all see <laughs> Herbie and fucking Dave fight <laughs> fucking 15 years ago? Yeah. Uh -huh. No shit. Dave had, Dave had fucking pink gloves on. I mean, the fucking gloves were bigger than he was. Oh, my God. They were fucking big old fucking, you know, the fucking golden gloves, the big old golden, but they were pink. Everybody's Jeez. like, I love your pink gloves. <laughs> Jesus, man. Those dudes Them are guys are crazy. Trip. David Tabor, oh. hi. <laughs> Speaking of... <laughs> Uh, he checked out on us too. I think he had uh, he had the he had uh, baby baby duties or something last night. Oh, I still got that one. I got. Hold on, we got fan submission. I think. Let me get back to. Oh, shit. Yeah, Chris Woods <laughs> with a double up this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Congrats again, homie. Oh, what's going on, Alex? Good Alex? seeing you Saturday. What's up, man? Good pictures as always, bud. Fuck, how do you get the audio to work? Dan's happy checked out Alex <laughs> annulled. Yeah. I haven't. Uh, happy you see Darth Vader. I did. It's a badass car. Super badass car. So Facebook's on its thing again, by the way. I just got a notification. I put a post up to saying uh, 20 minutes till the show started. Uh, they took it down. Are you serious? Yes, 100%. Yeah, I noticed that. I uh, I clicked it when I saw it was tagged, and then it, all of a sudden the link was broke. Oh, Paul. Yep. So they're on their shit again, guys. So. Now, I'm going to bring this up. Hopefully the audio works. Because it, uh, it fucking needs to have audio. Because... I fucking 
Oh, fuck. Dustin's already sent me something. Hold on. That's a good uh, thing, Chris. Uh, is it up? All right. I can't figure out my monitor yet. Wow. No, no uh, audio. audio. Fuck. Is this where he was in the backyard? Or yeah, he's fucking drunk I as fuck, dude. It. He's fucking drunk as fuck. God, hammered. Yeah, he's like, what you I was like, what the fuck? God. I've never fuck. been in that bad of shape. Yeah, fuck. And he's still standing, too. We got a, a fan submission of the uh, of the eclipse as well. Oh, I seen that. I did see that on Facebook. Man, the damn clouds kicked my ass trying to take those pictures. I uh, just I got a couple yeah. semi decent, and I threw the towel in. And what's it's funny is here. literally after it was done, so totality was what three fifteen. 3.30, the bluest skies, clear as could be. I was like, you son of a bitch. Yep, ours was Every too. time. We had a, like a little storm roll through. The sky got all cloudy. Then right after that, it cleared up. The sun looked like the moon. Pac-Man was out there with my welding helmet on, checking it out. I did see uh, Chris Wood's butterface was on the dyno. I seen that. I seen that last night. And it, um, oh, shit. What I heard do? it made some good power. Huh? The eclipse picture? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting close to that beard. <laughs> Gosh. Damn. <laughs> 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 Damn it, man. <laughs> Let me borrow that knife because I'm not sure this beard's going to make it to Texas, anyways. I might need to go, need it. <laughs> y'all wonder why I smoke dope. <laughs> <laughs> where's my fucking where'd my mouse go? Uh, it's kind of game out this weekend. Oh gosh, E's and B's. Oh, you're getting to fly in. We start our drive tomorrow, so. Damn it. Uh, y'all really? Y'all taking off tomorrow? Headed yeah. out that way? Leaving y'all gonna head o'clock. straight on? We're gonna drive a good bit, stop, and then finish the drive on Thursday. Get out there and test early. I'm just a passenger holding a camera. Yeah, I don't Thursday. know. Now, if they going out there to test, they would go out there Thursday night. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, y'all need to roll into track Thursday. For he sure. might. Oh, yeah. Y'all need to y'all get a whole new feeling of a track on Thursday night. You'd be like, holy fuck. No, no in Houston, he might be the type that says, uh, let's message Olympi, see if we can find some street. Oh, y'all need to see the track on Thursday, man. It's... <laughs> I still have a shadow, but it's dark out. What the fuck? That was it. Who sent Fucking that? Alex. Alex. It's in the group chat. Oh. Babe. As he sped it up. I was going to say, I sent it. Uh, yeah. I mean, it got, it got fucking really dark at the house. I, yeah. We were sitting in the, we were sitting in Chili's because <laughs> we go to Chili's on Monday and, uh, I went to Chili's yesterday too. We uh the place was packed and it started getting dark and it got really dark and I looked back and it was me, the old lady, and uh our buddy Clint that we always go. And us three were the only ones in the entire restaurant. Everybody, everybody else, was, else everybody else was outside. I mean, work Parking staff. Line. I mean er, uh you know, everybody, the entire restaurant was out except for us. Yep. It was, was crazy it clear like, there. Like, Oh yeah, there were no. people cheering like when it was going on there because like, I have a park right beside me, and like everybody was at the park, and all of a sudden it went oh, complete goodness. dark. Everybody was just cheering. You could hear people cheering from everywhere. I'm like, uh, <laughs> that shit's wild. Kenzie said at her work they had uh, star crunches, moon oh, pies, star crunch. They, 
and moon pies. They Ooh. had like a little party and everybody brought desserts. They had cupcakes with moons and shit damn, on them. Fucking moon like, pies and fucking God Star dang, Crunch. Man. God dang. <laughs> Yeah, that's my heritage right there. That's some, no that's some shit. park trash. Right it's there. old school shit. Uh, I'm going to Muncie back in Friday, and then I'm going to King of Columbus Saturday. Uh, I see. What we get? Yeah, it might be Alex. Yeah, I guess he's seen a better is, one. Dude. <laughs> Look at that! Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Now the real question is, what'd you get, Chili's, Limpy? Uh, three for me. Which one? Uh, baked potato soup, uh, the pasta, and uh, a fried chips and hot sauce, or, or I can't remember what else I got. Uh, uh, mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Yeah, I was, I, I was, I was really clogged up. <laughs> I did the <laughs> the three for me, just bacon burger with the. House salad and fries. That's a that's my go to meal. Uh, uh, better to ask for forgiveness and permission. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The mini sliders. The mini sliders are good. I ain't gonna lie. That chilies. I go for the. Gets. I go for the mozzarella sticks, a burger, and then the. Uh, Hot lava cake, uh, chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, oh, good. oh, before we get talking, we got some food breaking news. So, Chris, the pickiest eater in the world. Now, the man we learned this weekend will eat a blooming onion. Yep. I, I, I didn't see that happening. I don't blew me that. away. I don't see Chris as an onion eater. I love blooming onions, they're good though. <clears throat> uh, we did not shut down the Texas Roadhouse in E Town. They are still working. They still got rolls, guys. So y'all are good to go. You know I, I ate, ate you know what you know I ate ten, right? Yeah. <laughs> we ate a bunch. Dude, now I'm gonna tell you this. Uh Mr. Gotti's pizza, it I was tore up Saturday night. I tore that shit up. No, I mean I was like physically stomach tore up. Oh, I was fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which part of it got me. It's probably the the ten pound salad I started out with, but yeah, probably. <laughs> Hell, I didn't even stop on my way home. Damn, like, not one time. Damn. Sorry, we couldn't make it this weekend. Happy the test took fire. No worries, brother. No worries. It was down on car count, but that's it's part of it. It's just. <laughs> is what it is. Everybody was down. I seen Ozarks had six cars, ten thousand guaranteed. Where Ryan Mitchell won. Ooh, yeah. that's six cars in small tire. <clears throat> so it's a, it's a weird situation right now because you know it's. I don't understand, but <sighs> Julie, I don't know. I swear, I don't. I don't know. I just don't get it. Um, Jackson, Tennessee was guaranteeing 7,500. They had well, that 13 five, cars. It, I heard yeah. it was. I heard it was backwards. Really? Well, I heard. I heard they had 10 cars or something at at uh, Ozarks. I heard they had. I heard there's 13 at whatever, and uh, I didn't hear how much you had, but I knew. Yeah, I heard that it wasn't. Cars. I heard. I heard it wasn't very good, but. Uh, that's it's just the way it's going to be, people. When you got fucking yep. eight events fucking going on nationwide, that you know, you got yep. so many cars and that you got to just share them. Block paid six grand and had four cars counting himself. Jerry, I was wondering, I, I never knew Megan Ozark Mitchell, was Ozark was six cars. That's what I heard. I heard it was six at Ozarks, 13 at Jackson. That was 7,500 guaranteed. Four at, at um, Blocks. We had four. There was 20 at Summer Duck, where Ken 12, Hensel was. 12 at Wilkesboro. 12 at Wilkesboro. There was, um, let's see, the guy Doug there. We had 25 at Everdale. So this Saturday alone, there was, I think, eight or 10. Already got fucking uh, age restriction with the butt, the butt pitcher. Oh my God! Yeah, I think there was eight or ten no prep events within a few hour drive from a lot of people. 
Yeah. And that's just like next weekend. There's going to be, you know, there's a race here. There's a race in Detroit. There's a race, uh, Ohio, in Kentucky, in Kentucky. King of Columbus. I mean, I mean, I mean, you got, you got, you got, you got races everywhere. So you're just going to share the, either share or I, I it, it don't even matter if you have guaranteed money anymore. It people are just, gonna, it, just people are just going to go wherever they want. Doesn't matter. Um, I still, I think the big events are still going to be big. I don't think it's going to affect bigger, well-known established events or something that offers racers something different. But I think the same type of events are just going to start slowing down. Yeah. 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 Polling getting naked at butt naked. I hope not. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, well, not. I'm glad I'm gonna be on the West Coast when that happens. If if he gets naked and butt naked, I'm kicking. I'm tipping his wheelchair over so he scratches that thing all the hell, <laughs> getting back up. <laughs> that thing's gonna be in the gravel and everywhere. Chris, Strong what? promoters will survive. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I, I think just the good events, the ones that are already good and established, will. I think they'll always be good. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Jesus. Alan Thompson, Chris Woods had only made 1300. Quit line. Sounds like enough. Quit line. I know we're saying well, tracks will stop offering guaranteed money, but I don't know about that. Some will, some won't. Huh. Some will the get track- nervous of it. Yeah, the tracks that will uh that always bring the guaranteed stuff and have the cars, they'll continue to do it. Yep. Oh, Megan, you're hundred percent right. I yeah. I made a post today about butt naked with the 128 cars, just seeing um how many we know for sure is not gonna make it. And I had four messages today from people that but we've got enough on the alternate list. I think we're still gonna have a full field. Note to self, we are getting naked. No getting naked around happy. <laughs> Never know what'll happen. Just hey, yeah, especially if this fire bowl comes out. Yeah, if I, if I bust out this keg of fireball, it may be a real party. You bring I mean, out the butt you bring out the butt naked, I'll be drinking it. I'll bring it. Oh, Don't worry. Oh, boy. Oh shit! There goes a live feed. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me let me let me call in off the bench. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> come on! It's your time to shine. <laughs> oh yeah, James Dick will definitely be a butt naked for sure. He was there with us this weekend. Oh, Instead of happy using the light for butt naked, he's just gonna flash people's ass. <laughs> Shit, we tried to get Sarah to do it to uh, the the uh, the testing tune guys after cash days. Yeah. Damn, that's a good one. Where's that that's at? A... I know the DMV is killing it. They have 36 cars locked in for the race, 13th and 14th of blood, sweat, and tears. Those guys. Hell yeah. So that's... I'm, I, I'm just going to say this, too, about that TNT afterwards while I was picking up my camera gear past the finish line. So, obviously... Those guys testing tune did not know that the line and the boards were the finish line. Oh, I heard him going over the jump wide open. I was like, what the hell is wrong with these? Hey, it's they were having fun. I know some of those pickup trucks probably <laughs> made 36, 37 passes. Oh, and God. they were hot lapping them. They were having a ball. Jasper say it's still early and a lot of people trying to get to finish cars but definitely a lot of options every weekend hopefully people are picking the ones to support yeah i agree there's a lot of people still working on their stuff there's a lot of people that hurt stuff at the end of last year that can't get parts that's a fact <laughs> I, I i've never looked so I, I don't know i can't comment on it but i've heard there is a i don't know who are you talking about Sweet tits. She built like me, man. Shoulders to the fucking Achilles tendon. That's just straight down, man. That's just a fucking two by four. 
It's just like a build, just like me, man. I scratched mine off over the years, you know, over the, you know, <laughs> half a century or more that I've been doing. But damn it, man, damn it. She got got good posture up against the wall, and it's. <laughs> Go get them. Yes, old Fireball ain't too happy with my comments on the Canada thing. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, One positive thing I can say is if we didn't prove anything about Decker Boys this weekend, we proved that anybody that says you can't get down it or do anything is just flat out dumb. There wasn't no dust. There wasn't no issues. Uh, Chris Woods did a big double wheel stand the whole way down. First, uh, second pair down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, second, second pair down. Pair down. Yep. And he could have drugged the bumper if he, if he wanted to. So, just like I said on the live feed, uh, I don't know what excuses y'all are gonna make now, but can't. <laughs> Guys were flying. It's a completely different place. I mean, and it wasn't even, I will put it this way, there wasn't really that much glue down, to be honest with you. No. Just enough to put a coating and roll on. It was a slick tire race. Yeah. What's up, Chris? How about the gasser in the hard tire class, though? That was cool. Happy's having a talk with God. (laughs) (laughs) Mother Teresa. (laughs) Thank God. This is is Mama Teresa right now. The way you're just looking up at the sky. Hey, God, it's me, bro. (laughs) Hey, man. I know we've talked about this before, but uh, God. uh, I love you all. (laughs) (laughs) I know I've been here before. More times than I like to count, but I swear, I swear after this one, this is the last time. Hey, God, it's me, bro, again. No, he's all right. You don't punch back stuff. The last time, the last time Happy looked up at the, looked up at the screen like that, his laptop got slammed. And I missed it. I missed it. I had to go back and watch it. And then we look. Uh, I can't. I can't get that visual that of that dude laying on the sidewalk with the shit flying out of his ass but i'm oh sure that's I've got, that's it what happened much, yeah it wasn't much different than that oh boy jason Grimes, 620 be competitive there hell no yeah yeah we live streamed it that dude now yeah. the four live streams we did yeah in the uh in the hard tire class oh. <laughs> right now you're right on that 100 yeah. percent right Oh boy. Oh, this guy. I'll smoke to that. What's up, Barrett? Be seeing you in a couple of weeks, brother. Uh yeah, it's pretty big out this way, but <laughs> they're as big as a money pit as your normal cars. Trust me, I've been working on one all day. Look at David Ray chiming hey, in. David Ray. What's up, David What's up, Ray? Man? What's up, my dude? Smoke that. Yep. Corey Coots, what's going on, buddy? But yeah. Yeah, we had a uh, two hundred foot of uh, Ethernet cord rolled out, and we got hooked up and rolled with it. Uh, yeah. There was no drop all day; everything was great. Yeah, got did, did you have a problem with the? Was it how was the length of the internet? So it wasn't. It's was good. Good. Okay. It's just. I've always heard if it's over a hundred feet or whatever, sometimes you might get like glitches. They, from what I read, three hundred foot is the max. Like at three hundred, that's it. A uh, hundred sometimes it has a little bit of skip, but I left it at seven twenty thirty frames per second, so it just played on good. Not, not, not much difference between ten eighty and you can't tell, right? And the drone is better prepared now, so we're good to go for the drone. That drone was sweet. <laughs> I uh, I didn't realize it was showing all the drone information when we were flying it. So you got to turn the display off. Nah, so we're good there now. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see. What's up, Chris Collar? Yeah, dude, it sucked. Uh, oh, uh, Brandon broke right off the trailer. Brandon Ratliff. Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing him on that surface. Me too, man. Me too. That's a fast ass hard tire truck. But. but. <laughs> Now we got to get we got to get it played up because I'm adding hard tire to summer cash days at Shady Side and I've got money already on top of the pot. So 
I'm going to need to see a uh, a, a meth head versus uh, Brandon Ratliff matchup. I th- I think Hartire is. I think this year it's going to get a little bigger than it has been the past couple <clears throat> of years. People are starting to realize, hey, maybe I shouldn't be in small tire, or I shouldn't be in this class, or I shouldn't do this or that. Let's throw some hard tires on and go race and have some fun. And I I think we're going to see more. That was all. Of so many tires. comments. That was Dude, the most common thing. <laughs> Everybody said, is Happy sick? He's in pants. And I said, this motherfucker walked out of the RV like this. Right. Hold up. Hey, hey no, Dave. That's happy, dude. He, he, happy wears pants. It's, he's not limpy. I'm, every once in a while, I do yeah. got to put them on. I get a little chilly, but I try and be in shorts as much as possible. Damn, hey, David, hell yeah. You coming up? Hey, on the downtime at uh, But Naked, we're going to have David Ray on the live feed talking to everybody. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. That'd be great. Oh, boy. You can see they beat the gators. <laughs> I be damn. Not mine. I'm freshly shaved for the trip to Mexico. Ah, uh, you ain't gotta be a street racer to enjoy the table. Nope. That's just about having fun. David Shit. Ray, definitely May's a big month. It is. A lot of money to be made in May. Busy, busy, busy. There is a lot I don't of money. What the fuck y'all talking about? We've been, we've been, we've been going at this since February. What the fuck y'all talking yeah, about? I know. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I already laid my base coat down. We're good, man. Yep. What's up, Donnie? Let's see. If you care about your account, don't do it. Don't put him on the live feed, please. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. At that track lot, yet, I don't care. Let's see. Oh, we got Who's going to run at? national trail on saturday i can't keep up with them uh i don't know oh he's talking about i think he's talking about uh allison's dad that darth. oh the darth vader dark vader the vader what happened? april what may uh, allison's dad got a new hot rod badass oh. car man got all aluminum um Big block Mopar in it, Pro Charge, it's hammered on the ground. It's cool. Like it's cool. a real deal. It's it's a badass piece, man. Been on the cover of a couple magazines. Dark give me Vader. A, yeah, give me a second, Happy, and I'll actually have a list up for Butt Naked. I know I forgot to get something today for the show. What's up, Dean? Oh, what's up, Dean? That's my '63 Impala brother. There, both going to be cruising a little bit this summer, hopefully. And switches together. Oh, no nope. bag switches. <laughs> switches and bitches. Oh, we got both Mother Teresas in here now. Oh, oh boy. God. How we're already ineligible on uh, this video cannot be monetized. <laughs> oh my! They already demonetized the video from the picture. <laughs> That's every Instantly. week. I'm just used to. They it. already they from the picture. Well, I, I went over here to I went in there to to check it out. In my YouTube studio, and done. Yeah, it's already, it's already. Where we, where we are? Y'all man? going to be at Warren and Woods? Hell 30, yeah! We're gonna, Thirty minutes. We're gonna be, we're gonna be live from Warren yeah. the Woods. All of us Thursday right. night. But yeah, we're gonna do a table episode uh, at the track. So that's that's gonna be a party Thursday to Sunday morning before when we roll out. I'll smoke that. We have Damn drone right. drone live footage from. Or in the woods, that'd be sweet. We're like, gonna see how many times, uh, how many uh, trims, uh, branches they can trim off. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Damn, Dean, that ain't no good. He said a fucking car fell on him. Damn, what? Damn. That ain't no good at all. Uh, you're confused. Wasn't them oh. fucking, wasn't the fucking Harbor Freight fucking. Jack and Jack. Well, Dean's so little, he could dick motherfucker fall off on him and he could probably just still crawl underneath that motherfucker. Yeah, still changed oil. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Happy. There you go. The full. Yeah. I I didn't break mine down in 20s. (laughs) We stuck them all out there. Hold up. Where are my glasses at or my magnifier? I know, man. That's what I told Kenzie. I said, that's a bunch of damn names for one, one picture. But there's. I do know that there's some people on there that's had some accidents. Um, 
already early in the year, so I'm going to have to personally reach out to a few. But as of today, we've had four say they're not going to make it. Um, and we've already replaced the four, so this list is going to change a little bit at the end. And then I had one guy on there message me today and said he's got four cars he wants to bring himself. But everything's in order. Like I said, we got an alternate list. Um I mean, there's some killers. Rob Elmore and the bank robbers on there. Brandon Mork. You got Kraken. Um, Jason Cantu. Phil Hines. Kelly Jones got a couple cars, but that's definitely one that I need to reach out to. Luke Shivers. Uh, Billy and Tommy, both on there. Todd Spears got two cars. Um, there's some Shelby Lynn. See her name at the very end, 127. I mean, there's. I think there's I've already got. Killers. I've got my winner picked out. Jeff Thomas is on there. I think he's so. bringing the. Uh, he's bringing the Vega. Got One Team Denver on there. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Isaac Preston's on there. Charlie Brown. There's some killers, and I think this is going to throw them for a loop. Nick Puniak, Dirty Thirty, or what? what straight gangster. I think the, the truck's straight gangster, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's see Alan Thompson's on there for his 4,000 horsepower Malibu. Alan's on there and up and running. Uh, let's see. Luke Glass. Sherm, Sherm Baker. On that one. Luke Glass. He's Ryan Mitchell. Dylan Cato. Logan Naval with his new car. Mike Gwynn from New York. I think there's probably 30 people or so coming down from New Jersey, New York area, which that that's going to be fun. The Tabers, they're on there. Would you say 30 from New Jersey and New York? Yeah. Oh, they're going to ride cool. together. They don't like each it's, other. It's, it's going to be <laughs> wild. It's going to be wild, man. And then there's that's a, like, that's like Texas and Oklahoma, man. They're just some <laughs> fucking shit. Just don't mix. It's oil and yeah. water. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a ton of them bringing true street cars. From Rocky Harrell. Rocky Harrell. <laughs> Bobby and uh, Zach. Yep. There's a bunch, man. There's. That's a hell of a list. I feel like. And there's a lot of backside guys. There's a lot of frontside guys. So this ought to change it up. Oh, I didn't. I didn't send you the picture. Let me put it in the group chat of the track. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but both lanes are poured. Yeah, they I finish, seen that. Yep, night before last, they finished one of the lanes. Uh, they finished the second lane. Did they pour them in seconds? In one lane, and then did they pour in the other, or did they pour? Did they have the machine that poured both lanes at once? No, they did. They did the outsides, which is three foot away from the yeah. wall, the apron, and then they poured the center all at one time. Yeah, and then That's they poured, the machine that 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 machine that that laid it out yep, and okay. all at one time, and then they did one lane next to the center and to the apron, and then they poured the next lane, and each lane was a one continuous pour. They don't stop until it's done. As soon as they start pouring, they don't. They run around the clock. You don't want to fucking co-join in it. That's why. Right. Yep. So I'm I'm going to tell you right now. I see the biggest. I see a huge sleeper on this list that I don't think a lot of people's paying attention to. Number um, number twelve. I hate tank for sure. Hmm. Um. Think a lot of people. Ryan Tolley. Yeah. Um. Roger what? Norris. Hold up. Hold up. Now, number 21 and 22, not allowed on property without pizza. <laughs> yeah, you Damn know who right. the other Alan is. Alan locked in uh, for I both spots. I can't even spots. see any of that. Y'all are fucking, y'all got some shit on me. <laughs> no, I'm zoomed in, man. A- Alan Robinson, if you're listening, it's it, pizza's a must that weekend or no, no entry. I hope to get some this weekend. Oh, uh, hell yeah. 
I think what is it they tell me I gotta get the tacos this weekend, the taco truck. Yeah, you can't go to Texas without going to see the yeah, taco. Yeah, you need lady. to get the taco lady. Facts. <laughs> Facts. So just anybody that's gonna be at small tire gangsters while I'm on the starting line filming and right, live feeding right. and all that, uh bring me some tacos. I'll be there too. Live feeding. Mike Corley, number seventy, looks slow. I heard that uh, uh Pat McCrosh might be out there this weekend. I don't know yet. No, oh man. shit. <clears throat> Let's see who's on. That's on one of y'all. I'm impressed. I guarantee it's not me. Calls. I'm trying to send you a friend request. <laughs> well, babe, Jennifer, you gotta send me tit pics first. And if, if they ain't up to right, standards, that, then... that's him. That's not me. That was him. <laughs> <laughs> And then I got to share in the group chat. Is there true street at war in the woods? Yes, sir. And if you read the rules, which I know you don't do, like 95% of the other racers in the United States, the Jeff's rules is the same as ours, and you must be on a DLT approved tire. D O T. And it can be a 28 by 1150. Quick Time Pro because it measures narrower than 28.10.5. I'm not saying that the promoters haven't sent Chris the rules before the race and he still came on the wrong tire. Look but... at some just laughing. <laughs> <Another fucker. laughs> yeah, just, hey, well, it's a radio. It's a radio. Yeah, it ain't DLT approved. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> some people in that gray area would be okay. Us, hey, it's Alex. To me, but, um, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to do a burnout. <laughs> Chris is going to Muncie this weekend. As long as it doesn't rain, he's. I heard he's doing autographs too. <laughs> wish, wish I could be live on one of your channels. Uh, hell, if there's gonna be seventeen thousand people live, you might end up being. Now, I might just set because I have no cell phone signal. <laughs> Do we want to talk about this? Dude, that's badass. That's super cool to see. That's wild. Stock that block like. Such a badass car, man. Stock block for the win. Super badass car. Dude, on like a on like a private rental too, wasn't it? Just like a test and tune night essentially. It's badass. Not you had to know that bitch was tight. Yeah, that's a legit yes. street car too. Yeah, I mean, he drove it on sick week. I'd say that's the proving grounds. Happy you should bring them Pala to Woodward Dream Cruise. Man, I'd love to. That's we're trying to make the power tour. Try and make a couple of days of the power tour. That's like my goal. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, that's the best freaking like cereal treat bar ever. We had a guy ask, hey, it looks like one lane's blacktop, one lane's concrete. I saw that. <laughs> that's what yeah. it, I mean, it looks like. It. It. I said, yeah, I mean, it does look like it, but that's obviously yeah, it's freshly poured concrete in one lane and a couple of days holding the other lane. You're all the dings. I didn't realize though, oh, how shit. they poured it in sections like that. We hit Mike at the same time. Oh. <laughs> What's up, boys? Hey, Not much. Oh, no. <laughs> I just did that to be an ass. In and out. In and out. In and out. <laughs> Luke Holbrook, happy to put on one of the best races of the year. Man, I appreciate that, homie. And and looking forward to you racing with us again. I haven't seen you in a bit. God dang. Hey, I... Alex, I'm telling yeah. you, those right there are the Golden Graham S'mores treat bars. Oh, those look good. How many calories is in that thing? I don't give a shit. Right <laughs> More than you can count. Right yeah. What's up, on. Anna? It's only got 120 calories. I'll smoke to that. 120 calories? Let's see. 
per serving. Per bite. And per bite. Then I have the Lucky Charms one. It is. I mean, is it? A hundred sandwiches only a hundred. Really? Mm-hmm. You guys worried too much about shit. Uh, that, that's one of my favorites right there. Limpy already knows. Dude, this has more. Six peanut butter crackers. Really? Yeah, it's yeah peanut butter. Calories. Peanut butter kills it with calories. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't get high and make impulse bias like I did. <laughs> oh, Teddy Gra- Oh, Hannah, if you're gonna talk Teddy Grams, you gotta get the Teddy Grams with the chocolate chips in them. That's that's a whole different level of Teddy Graham. Happy, we drinking tonight or what? It's Tuesday. Uh, what are you doing to the poor guy? I'm just asking. I'll smoke to that. <laughs> what are you <laughs> sipping on? I don't know yet. I got a whole shelf I'm looking at. Kenzie done hid my bottle of tequila on me. Mike needs some of what he was sipping on Sunday night. Oh, that was whiskey. That's dangerous. That's when shit gets out of hand. It's happy mm-hmm. counting calories now. I'm not as fat as Jeff, but I I do kind of watch a little bit. I didn't watch this weekend. I was hungry. That's fucking fact right there. <laughs> <laughs> right there, that is. <laughs> and and Instagram, don't fucking get on Instagram or what's the other one that you can buy shit off of? TikTok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God dang, don't fuck. God dang. What'd you buy? I've got, I've got I've got either Amazon or TikTok shop or Instagram shop showing at my house every fucking day. Really. <laughs> When I yeah. order something on Instagram, it takes like six months because it comes right from Well, China. I know, but I, I know, but I'm talking it six months ago. Am, a, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon puts up that shit. Congratulations, Brittany. That's awesome. Yeah. Runner up Sunday. Uh she went to bowling green and race. She was bracket racing. She was at uh Decker Boys on Saturday, and then mm-hmm. she said she was going bracket racing Sunday. That's awesome. Proud of you. Limpy got a like couple this. finger washers. Yeah. <laughs> they work too. <laughs> I believe it. They get the dirt underneath the nails. Oh, everywhere. They get it all done. <laughs> Which I didn't know. If you locked into butt naked, you get a goodie bag as you come through the gate. I'll lock oh, these get God. a get a uh, finger washer. Uh <laughs> I'm I'm damn. Some, some some mild edibles. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> All little the gifts little bottle, all the get the little bottles of the fireball out from the gas stations. <laughs> now, nah, bullshit. Fucking happy. Don't ever fucking stop at gas stations. Hey, we have number seven no, right. in the chat, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen somebody good. in the chat say that number 70 was slow. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Yeti Money? I really hope I can make this race. I'm pushing. Yeah. We really did a fucking number on my motor. It gets worse every day he calls me. Yeah, it's all right. Just go to the junkyard. There's another 5.3. No, trading. my motor ain't a junkyard motor. That's the problem. Does That's it need the... a crank? It could be. Needs a crank. <laughs> Needs. Uh, it shifted a whole bunch of shit. I don't know what happened, honestly. It's weird. Mike, take a four-hour drive. Let's throw mine in there. No, now I'm going big cubic inch LS. Fuck you guys. Well, mine's big cubes. It's a six yeah. liter. No. Go down with a little motor. A little bigger than that. Are you? Hell yeah. yeah. Now if we can just get you to get uh, the whistles off and put the Lord's Pro Charger on it. No. Those <laughs> turbos make a shit ton of power. I think they just needed a little bigger cubic inch. Yeah, but have you ever have you ever seen a Pro Charge car of zoomies and not smiled? No, that's true. <laughs> oh, check it out. Oh, uh-huh. gee. What's up, Phil? I have because them zoomies, them zoomies <laughs> on the shit are hurt. Out of you. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, sp- uh, speaking of pro chargers and being loud. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> smiling. <laughs> no shit. Well, I'm usually a, when they that's... go by, I'm usually collecting my breath. I'm like, <laughs> all right. Phil's yep. car is a small block Ford still, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. Which I swear to God, a small block Ford pro charger is is the loudest combination. And Something no zoomies. It's the got under the car one. headers, and that yeah. is one of the loudest cars on the property, no matter where we go. I think yeah, it's I where the sound bounces it. off the track. It's something <sighs> about a small block Ford with a Pro Charger. It's the loudest thing I've ever heard. What, what happened with the camper deal, Happy? Uh, 
I had a mishap with a guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucked up your camper? Oh, it went I'm down the whole you. fucking side. Oh, oh no. Shit, for real? Yeah. Holy dude, I went down the, the whole best, fucking side, the best, dude. You, no, what no, did you, you hit? Uh, oh, you guardrail every, pulling everything. off the main road in the deck. Oh, no. And I hit oh, it in the front. No. There was a guy pulling out, and I didn't. Oh, I thought I could shit. make it. I even swerved over and come in, and I come in hot. And I felt it hit, and then I just hit the gas. There you oh, go. No. Stop it. No. I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. You can say it that way, but hearing Pac-Man say it is the best story I've ever heard in my life. And I laughed so hard. I was told, note to sell. Wait, ask Pac-Man what happened next time I see him. Huh? No yes. Shit. Is he there? Yeah, is he there yeah. right now? Right, Why don't he, 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 he get on here and tell us a story? Whenever they get back, I'll tell them to send him out here. So did it rip a hole in the side, or it's still no, together? It just it just pushed it in, and it no. it only got the metal at the bottom and got the steps. Yeah, yeah. It didn't get any of the fiberglass, but one piece of trim. Kenzie looked it up; it's forty seven hundred. Oh yeah, it's no joke. Did you uh, get the uh, the slide out, or no? It got the metal on the slide. Ripped the oh. fenders off the one side, oh, bent the steps. <laughs> yeah, you fucked I got it good. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Somebody ran me off bad. the road, though. So yeah. Insurance got to get a claim, you know. Somebody <laughs> ran me plum off the road, and I mean, I thought so. piece of shit. I blew a tire on the way down to Florida on my fifth wheel, and it fucked up so much shit on the side of the trailer. Blew the fenders apart. Fucked up all the metal. That guy ran me off the road. <laughs> <laughs> please bring pac-man in they please said bring paxton on so he can tell the story no no the story about the camper the guy running me off the road <laughs> Happy got braces on. Look at him. Look. Yeah. Look back at him. Look at braces on. Damn it, man. Hey, you and Houston got matching uh matching stripes now, so you're good. Hey, did oh shit. Let me see that. Hold on. Uh, uh, you full oh, screen? there's my girl. Oh, that's that, that that's that girl. That's my girl. Chanel. Hi, Louie. Oh God, he's a mess, dude. You ought to see his head though. He's swelling up. He's still a little guy. Grab him if you can pick him up. <laughs> Where'd y'all go eat? Y'all went and got something to eat and didn't give me nothing. Chick-fil-A, huh? Chick-fil-A. Real, real fucking cute. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sound bite that. We need it. <laughs> Add that to the uh soundboard These bitches. <laughs> we can do something with that. <laughs> Thank you, big thing. No, I don't want that. It fell on the floor. Dude, that was the weirdest looking thing coming towards your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't never eat no fucking lollipop after your old old lady snatched before we was stuck in the hair back in the day. Oh <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and the fucking hair carpet, it's the same thing, man. <laughs> Shit. That went sideways quick. Is the <laughs> stick in the in there, or is the lollipop that, in there? No, the, oh, no, the candy. Just, just the candy parts just stuck to the hair, you know, down there. That's, you just, that's oh, not I thought, I thought like, they stuck the. I thought they stuck crashed. the lollipop actually inside, and you grab it with your. Oh, oh Jesus, Chris! What have you been watching? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of went off course, and 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 Chris just went with the wheel. He uh oh, Mama's on here. The warden's on here. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> he said to somebody, he said, "Damn it, I'm eating." <laughs> somebody oh, said, "I'm sorry, I'm eating the side." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. I'm an old dude. I'm an old motherfucker. That's why. <laughs> Limpy let his art candy king slip. Mike, what are you eating over there? Pasta Spaghetti? with chili, hot peppers. Damn, Ooh. hell yeah. It's hot though. I put too many. What hot peppers you put in it? It's like, a, I don't know, it's like a mix from the grocery store. Mm. Uh, no, sir. 
No, sir. I won't uh, be there. Never that's, works uh, with this shit. That's instant green. I believe. I instant green, yeah. Mm. Yep. Oh damn. Oh, and by the way, uh definitely Ooh. two two thumbs up for the spicy dill pickle Miss Vicky's chips. Oh yeah, those are fire. <laughs> oh shit. Oh Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Is that a Luger? What? Oh shit. Whatever um, it is is loaded. Let's load it. Oh, he's gone. Oh no. Oh, he's back. Shit. At first, I was like, are we robbing a stagecoach? <laughs> <laughs> Brought the gun back from World War II. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. It's a pellet gun. <laughs> it's a pellet gun. <laughs> I thought it was, at first, when I seen the long barrel, I was like, is that one of them Yosemite Sam specials? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a 44 long nose uh, revolver. Small it was my dad's. This weekend, do you have any favorites? <laughs> <laughs> my favorites out there would be Ryan Mitchell. Probably. He's got What's a that? bunch of laps out there at um, Yellow yeah, Belly. Good. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna. It's gonna be a depending on who shows. But are those think, two fellas coming on tonight? Yeah, yeah, eight thirty ish. Is that our time or your time? Your uh, our time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see that one, Limpy? <laughs> yeah, fuck that. That's what I was like. Oh, I don't know why. Boy. That remind me. You, you'll see those ones uh, pop up on Facebook when they do like a drug bust. And they're showing everything they gathered, and it's like a, one of the guns that was supposedly collected in the bus is like a musket from like <laughs> the 1800s. All the comments. It's like a revolver. Oh, did the dude that, that, the dude that, that, yeah, the dude that goes down and, and dives and shit and finds stuff. Yeah. Find some weird shit. Yeah. He found some bodies and shit. Cars down there, the body's still stuck in the deal. Yeah. Did I hear Limpy say all the guns and knives are to prepare him <laughs> for the gut? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. I, the gut, the gut's a good time. Good, good it time. is. Just, as long as you don't. I smoke that. As long as you, as long, as, you know, we're all, we're all the same people. We have respect. We respect everybody the same. You know, you come up straight, you're gonna get. You act, come up, act fucking fool. You're gonna get treated like a fuck fool. You know I mean, it's just fucking common sense, common courtesy. No matter where yep. you go in life. <laughs> Is there a raisin canes close to the gut? Fuck, I don't even know. Because that Maybe. should be pretty good on Sunday. Man, we had a dude right next to the fence a uh, year before last. It was fixing some carne asada street style tacos on his grill. Ooh, and every time we'd walk by, he was like, "Hey, hey, man, y'all need, y'all want a beer, cerveza." On cerveza, on talking. Uh, <laughs> we Dylan got fucked, some... didn't he? Yep. Dylan got fucked up. Oh yeah. Kept drinking. Uh oh, and then they sent somebody to go get some twisted teas. Yeah. But we were eating dude's tacos. That he was making right there off the grill. And like, yeah. I mean, that place is. It's just its own vibe. It's well, its own. Yeah. And then tell. And I'll be it. people. If you are watching this, I'll be on the start line down there. I'm, I'm not flagging, but uh. But we're gonna be doing a lot of partying down there. You heard me? Hell yeah, heard me. Oh, it's a good big, time. Since you mentioned his name, big shout out to Dylan. <laughs> yeah, <no laughs> shit. he got a birthday coming up. Uh, he's got a birthday coming up. I think we're pretty quick. That Dalton is called the Glizzy Guillotine. <clears throat> oh, Gliz. Oh, I'm gonna grab a drink. Hold on a second. Oh boy. The more you fuck around, the more you find out. That's yeah. Doing? That's that's anywhere. You know, anywhere you go. The gut is badass, so it's just something you got to see. 
videos don't do it justice. Even though it's fast, it's sketchy because both sides of the track runs off. It runs downhill, some like to the wall. So, I mean, it's a sketchy, it's, it's fast, but it's still in its own right. It's sketchy. Plus you're running in like a tunnel because the fences. Yeah. Like a I'm dream of mine is to make a pass out there. I'm really curious to see how Houston's car does on it this weekend. It's fast, man. It's, it's good. He's, he should get he should get done because it's got a bump on one lane and a dip in the other lane, uh, about sixty hundred foot up. Yep. He should work. His his car should work good on it. Yep. I mean, most it's it's more about the experience than anything. I don't like we know we we all want to win, but you going out there to have fun. That's all it's about more than anything. You're gonna see some <laughs> shit. You're gonna see some shit. You'll see some the. There, there's a gambling section up in the stands where a lot of people hang out, and then obviously right there on the start line, start line. But on the spectator side, the uh, left <laughs> side of the track in the left lane, there's some stands right there, and man, it gets packed. If you hear up there is throwing it's money. A shut up. That's funky yeah, town. <laughs> that's funky town. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Russell Stone is bringing his new monster. Ooh. Now. That could be a major, and Russell Stone's got experience out there too, because he's had the Maverick out there, um, uh, and he went oh. really fast out there. Uh, the Maverick. Who was it that asked? I just looked it up. John Monroe. It is fifteen and a half hours for us. Yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Hell, it's fucking longer for me to get uh, to uh, <clears throat> uh, where do we? Where do I go? Was it dig or die? I think it's Florida. longer for me to. Well, I know <laughs> yeah. it's longer for me to go to Florida, but I think it's longer for me to go to dig or die than it is for y'all to come down here. Yeah, I bet it's probably eighteen or so for you to go. Yeah, to I dig know or it's die. eighteen something. I just figured it was like eighteen or something for y'all to come down here. Shit. What the fuck that part is from Canada or Florida is about the same distance, which is so weird to me. Right. It depends on where you're at, though. Yeah, if you're in South oh, Florida, yeah, it takes rabbit. the same amount of time than from leaving from Canada. Congrats, Rabbit. Congrats. But yeah, you're like a 14-hour drive, aren't you? Oh, hell yeah. To Texas, awesome. 18 hours. Oh, yeah. Okay, take four away, and then it's... I think I'm only like 14. 15, yeah. 14 hours to Texas. It's 18 from South Florida, <laughs> and it's 18 from where I am here. Yeah, and we're we're North Texas, too, so... You know, if you go down to Houston from Canada, that's another four and four and a half yeah, hours. That's true. Even oh, yeah. More. Uh, so here's my next question Is there a Bucky's close to it? Uh, oh, yeah. By the On gut. The way. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we got them in the Metroplex. I think, I don't think it's close. I got to get me a $15 barbecue sandwich. So. You got to pick it up on the way down. I got one about, I got one that's about 20 minutes from my house. And I think there's one about, you know, I got to see. Is I Big T like, 405 and Jackie going to make it to the gut? I do it? believe so. Oh, really? really? Okay. Yeah. I've seen he swapped his cars around, had it on 28s. Yeah. Rob, I'm from, uh, I'm from, uh, Fort Worth. That's where I'm from. That'll be he's from Dallas. I'm from Fort Worth. There's, there's a whole different clientele. You say it all the time. There's a big difference between Dallas and Fort Worth. I'm talking big difference. Limpy puts the D in DFW, y'all. We <laughs> 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 track too, and people walk up and be like, "Hey, Limpy, where are you from?" And I, instantly, I'm like, "Dallas." He's like, "Bullshit." <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Don't, don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> By the way, people, if y'all didn't realize, I plan all my race trips uh, 75% planning about the food, 25% racing. So, uh, well, that's the way it is. Just uh, come another hour and a half south of Houston, my country. Yeah. Damn, south of Houston, there's a pretty good that's race spot out your way, then, John Goodman. Roughly, you're not far from a, a killer spot. Alex, are you going to. Uli, or what's that place called? You believe Ubly. 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 Yeah, me and Ben are going to go out there with uh, Trevor. Only thing by the good. Is Trevor racing? I guess so. Yeah, he asked me today if I wanted to go with him. I'm like, 
Yeah, oh, if you pick I me up. I didn't know he was. Well, I told him I'd go with him if he's if he wants to pick me up in Michigan because I'm not driving to his it's house not, from here. They're all about the same distance, Corey. Hmm. They're roughly good, 45 good churches minutes. churches and liquor stores. <laughs> no, that's fact right there on, at the gut. And there's some strip clubs, too. There's a couple strip clubs mm. that ain't too far. I remember looking them up last time I was out there. We didn't go. <laughs> she was. Uh, she came. I was live last night on uh, on the Smoke Show, and I was live on uh, Instagram. And she was uh, on the Instagram. She commented a couple of times on Instagram. Oh hell yeah! That's why I had these two monitors on here so I can get because you can't see Instagram on here. You got to go uh, to the app, and then I went back over there because I still ain't got these fucking monitors figured out. And uh, I got on there. And she, I was like, oh, she responded. And then she goes, I've, I've been waiting on you to see my comment. And I'm like, hell yeah. We've been seeing a lot of things. <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> you heard? <laughs> hey, I'm going to get the taco truck too, guys. No worries. You have to, dude. Like, I yeah. mean, it's 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 legit. Get, and get tacos there have. and quesadillas. Either one. Either one. Yep. Pretty damn good. And I got to make sure Limpy brings a cooler full of uh, Pib Zero. Yeah. Uh, I got a 12 pack. I'll, I'll see if the, I might go tomorrow. Uh, Ryan, Ubley's like two and a half hours from downtown Detroit. It's up in the thumb. Right, Joe, are you guys coming this weekend? <laughs> Limpy's dying. Just, <laughs> me and, Ryan, me and Trevor are going to be at Ubley. It's Ubley. And Wajdi. Isn't Wajdi going? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Wajdi's gonna go race. Bet Trevor gonna race. Bet Trevor won't call out Wajdi first round. Uh, Trevor's gonna <laughs> race True Street. The men's club. Chris, uh, have you ever been? Chris Moist, have you ever been to the men's club? Oh, How far fuck. from the gut? Chris Big Moist. screen. Big screen. <clears throat> yeah, the what? corn is good. Was, yeah, it was you, Chris. We we're talking about <laughs> no, a machine gun this time. I think it's the Jesus. same one. No, <laughs> <laughs> who's not big yeah. screened at yet? Oh, the men's club is a strip oh, club got near both. Ugly. Yeah, she's got both of them. Both of them. Oh, shit. So that's that good. Al Capone used to uh bootleg uh, liquor and have on his side and all that. See you here. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, you see, Mary. <laughs> Did she give you that, Mary? You see, you won't be talking about that Stephanie nine one three again, will you, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'll be flagging War in the Woods. There you go. If he's still alive by then. He might not make it after tonight. There's been several that's... threats on his life. <laughs> this is what it's going to break down to, guys, on the table. We're going to have Poland talking like Stephen Hawking. I'm going to have the gang, the old gangster voice down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Roach killers are required at strip clubs by the gut. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh damn. <laughs> damn it. We love you, Mama. Yeah, you see, we love you, yeah. <laughs> 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 Damn, I'm gonna be in her neighborhood in a few days. I better watch myself. You better behave yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God, God. Got me looking at the door now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I've seen the mix that stays in your house. You're all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat>
Oh gosh, but yeah, we're uh, like I said, if you here in a little bit, Poland, then we'll be on. They said they had to finish up some stuff and they get it knocked out, all that be on. <clears throat> Chris Lane, this uh, King of Columbus is this weekend, too. Is it yeah. a national trail? Yes, it is. Who's doing it? The track, gotcha. And it's a small tire tra- shootout. Yeah, they got. Um, let me pull up what the classes are. Actually, small tire, true street, stick shift. They're giving some wallies out. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. wallies. <laughs> wallies. I don't care about yeah. the wallies yeah. as much anymore. Small tire, big tire, hard tire, <laughs> stick shift, and true street. Because the wallies aren't special anymore. They've been handing them out like fucking lollipops everywhere. Yep. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you can win one every yeah. weekend. The yeah. wally ribbon. used to... They're the participation ribbons. That's why they are. <laughs> <laughs> the wally literally used to be a symbol of a badass win because that yeah. you can only get one for winning an NHRA national event. Now it's just... Nah. Damn. Their uh, true street some... rules are very, uh, very open. What are they? 28, 10, 5, 17 inch wheeling up, any slick radial, any engine, any powder, any transmission, no methanol, meth injection, okay. Fully functioning headlights and taillights, must have dash, door panels, carpet, and two front seats. Must retain all factory body panels and stock style suspension and must drive to the lanes. Did you say 17 inch wheel and vigor? That's it? Yes. It, you can no, run up 15? Yeah. You can, but 17 inch any wheel, it could be E slick or any radial. Oh, and 15 is just radial? 15 yeah. has got to be a 28.10.5. Oh, it doesn't have to be a radial. No, not on no. theirs. Oh, interesting. So, yep, I'll be there Saturday. Is that just a one day deal? Yep. Used to be a huge event. I mean, that like back in the day, like that was like a, like one of those, um, like nationwide events that like people would go to, and uh, miss it. and it just kind of I don't know exactly know what happened. It just kind of like fell apart or fell off, and they brought it back like two years ago. It's been a year since I've been. And then this Friday night's big and banger at Muncie, right? Which I thought was Saturday. Oops. <laughs> gotcha. So that you could gonna, be. You're gonna be doing be, both of them. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go to both of them. Hell yeah. So I was like, oh, it's Friday. I was like, well, they just fucked my whole week up. Tommy, I haven't. They're still in my camper, man. I'm going to though. I'm... What you got carts? Yeah, he brought me. He brought me too <laughs> to the track the other day. I need to try some of them. Yeah, I'll have them worn woods. For sure. What are you doing? Hey, Alex, I don't know if anybody I'm told you, but here. you're going to be controlling the tr- the drone angle at War in the Woods. Oh, boy. At uh, the War in the Woods, it's in like a month? Yeah, you'll be there. I won't be able to make that. I done called your job. You're going to be sick. Uh, I mean, if you call them, maybe I'll try. <laughs> but no, I, I, I can't. I thought you were going to be there. I can't, I can't do that one. Okay, hold up. Uh, revert. Hey, Alex. Yes. You're going to be controlling the drone at uh, King of the South. I'm in. Done. <laughs> but, like, what happens if it runs, you know, if I'm running around doing what I do and it's like, you know. Just put it on battery, follow you mode. Then the battery dies. Then what no, just, just all you got to do is take it off beside the tent and then land back oh, beside the tent. we got a tent. manual on here. All right. I'll mess around with it. I'm pretty good with the drones. Most school wicked motors works Man, I would love to, um, Emmanuel, I would, I, I know that there's a lot going on and I'm sure a lot of people's going to be wanting them, but I would love, no matter what sizes, if, if you could get them to somebody that know, if you could get them to Corey, actually, cause he'll be, I'll be seeing him again here soon. I'll take one of each shirt and Corey, I'll get you the money, whatever. Like, and I don't care the sizes. That's just stuff that I put up. Like I've got. I've got a lot of memorabilia from people from all across the country racing, and there's there's shirts I have that I'll never wear. Um, so, I'd like to add some stuff to the collection. 
send me a text and remind me because I will I for sure. It. And what? Emmanuel, I know he's going to be busy and everybody's going to be running around. Yeah. No, it's going to be a busy weekend. But if you can remember also, homie, like that, um, just get two shirt, whatever, whatever sizes. I want one of each shirt, however many there is. I'll take them and I'll, um, he'll give you the money and then I'll get him taken care of. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I see in the comments, everybody's still waiting on Pac Man side of the story, also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, I'm not one to incriminate himself. I don't know. Yeah, no shit. Well, the thing is, Pac Man's view comes from riding with Sarah and watching yeah. it from behind. Yeah. <laughs> they got front row seat. Oh, they, wow. they, they saw some stuff. <laughs> as soon as I heard it and felt it, I was like, well, it's fucked now. Might as well hit the gas. <laughs> <laughs> the whole side of the camper is sitting in the creek as we come by pulling it what the hell <laughs> <laughs> hey did you notice uh i never realized there was like you could go down and cross through the water at that second bridge oh hell yeah i that's guess why when, when we when we left that's what those guys were doing they were taking their four-wheel drives down through the creek it, the one was uh i guess he had uh did uh Maybe water it got a little too much. I didn't know because you can get we were coming out, Manual. Because they were uh, there. That, oh, that cars. ranger. Yeah, that ranger. Yeah, I saw that when we were leaving. I was like, "What the fuck are these guys doing?" Yeah, I think I think the ranger had uh, maybe took in a little too much water. The danger ranger. Don't ever yep. fuck with the Ford Ranger. Danger Don't ranger. Ford ranger. Yeah, it looked like he had to get pulled. He had to get pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel, I'll just message you and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll message you here whenever we get off. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. I'll smoke to that. I'll smoke to that. <laughs> yeah. no good shit. thing, good thing, good thing that Pax is riding with you because if nine times out of ten, if he's driving with you, you're going to be fucking walking because you're going to be out of fucking diesel. <laughs> no shit. I've rode with Pax a little better. I've rode with Happy twice in my whole life, and the first stop we had to make was gas. Yes. <laughs> every time I was over at Happy's house, first thing we'd do every day we leave, we'd have to stop and get gas because he was only he was driving and put two dollars in. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna like... go go where, where we're going and come back next day. Go and get gas. We're gonna get get two dollars, and so we can go do whatever we're gonna do and come back. I've always told people that, and people get so upset all the time with how much gas is. But I don't ever care. Like I don't care how much gas is because I only get twenty dollars at a time, so it don't matter. That's what I was about to say. I'm gonna spend the same like, twenty dollars. I don't give a shit. Last how year's much. Price cost. <laughs> when I filled that shit back up to leave, I was like, "Holy hell, Kentucky's the most expensive gas I bought." <laughs> Fuck it, got it got high here, and I'm like, "God dang, if it's high here, it's fucking really high everywhere." Hey, Mike, what's like, the price of gas near you right now? Uh, you I can tell you exactly. USD in gallons, not liters. It's one, uh seven dollars or one sixty eight right now. Yeah, so it's like seven dollars a gallon. One sixty eight a liter. How many liters are in a gallon? Three point three four eight, I think. Yeah. Or three point seven eight. Yeah, it's like three it's like three sixty here. And I'm like, God dang, for it to be that high. That's what it fucking, is here. Welcome to well, here we have body. tax, and then they tax that tax, and then they added another tax to tax the two taxes. And then they got a road tax for the tax. Yeah, and then there was a road tax on top of the vault, three of the mm -hmm. previous taxes, and now we have a new environmental tax. <laughs> oh, shit. Nick Butler, it's fucking... $6.35 a gallon right now. Yeah. Nick Butler, that is no lie. That, that cam and that damn Yukon. I've heard race cars that don't get as hard as that. I love it. 53 man. in Hollywood. Yeah. 753? 753. Shit. That's California for you. That's Fuck well, that. it was last year out there. Yeah, because I was I'm supposed to go to Phoenix. Usually when I leave here, because I've got this uh Circle K uh card that you get 10 cents off. And whenever I go to Arizona out there, they, they got a bunch of circle K's and stuff out there. It don't fucking matter, you know. I'm I got circle K here. I, I stop and get my 10 cents off. And by the time I get out to uh, Arizona, I mean, I'm still saving 10 cents, but instead of, um, instead of putting $3 a gallon here, I'm having to put $4 a gallon with the yeah. 10 cent saving. 
Yeah, yeah. that's fuck. Alex, how much did you say it was? Uh, six thirty-five a gallon is what it would be in. That's ridiculous. Canadian. So I mean, once you that's do probably change, close. It's probably five ninety a gallon. Four sixty-eight a gallon U.S. Yeah, so it's a dollar more than Michigan. Yeah. Damn. So it's really not that crazy. It just sounds way worse because our dollar's about as worthless as fucking toilet paper. <laughs> yep. Well, let's see if Emmanuel's on. What's uh, what's fuel right now? And and just somebody California. said it was. Somebody said it was uh, seven fifty three for diesel or seven fifty three for unleaded in uh in Hollywood. In Hollywood, so that's California. Yeah. I know when I when I drove uh when we went out to that deal i stopped in the last stop before you get to uh, cross in the you know the last spot you can get gas before you yeah. go out to the desert and it was in california i think back then it was it's like 550 a gallon but luckily, why, I, luckily i had half a tank why is there such a drastic in. drastic swing like, does California just tax it more? Like, where's oh, the slave bro from? I, 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 I know. I that, really but. don't know. Like, I don't know what, what why it is so much higher in California. I mean, I remember when I was out there too, I was like, holy shit. All them I'm taxes they got. Was crazy. Is that what it is? They just tax it more? Sure. It's all them taxes out there. I'm sure. I guarantee it. Yeah. See, we're about the same. We're usually about the, about the same as Tennessee because, you know, we don't have. We don't have the the state tax and the the you know like everybody else has here. We're like we're like Tennessee in Florida. We don't have the the state LA tax. County, five twenty nine for regular, five thirty nine for diesel. Yep. Oh man, oh. six forty five <clears throat> in Australia. No, in twelve Australia, bucks 12 in Australia. To... Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck, man, I'd be riding an ostrich. I want to see you get. I just want to see you get on that fucking motherfucker. <laughs> I want to see that motherfucker's face when he tries to stand up. Oh, oh yeah, shit. broken back. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking shit some scrambled eggs out that motherfucker. <laughs> Imagine oh, there's a kangaroo just standing there looking at him as he's come by. Look at this mite on an ostrich. <laughs> yeah, it's three fifty nine right. downtown Detroit right now. All y'all, oh. all y'all people in California, y'all just, y'all just, y'all just stay out there, man. We don't need y'all here in Texas. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Hey, yeah. double. Hey, off subject, but how about Wadji just calling uh, half of Canada slow with that Street Outlaws versus Canada <laughs> post? <laughs> like, no offense, but. <laughs> Those two towns. Full are offense. Slow. There ain't no one past here. I'm 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 not I'm I'm not saying nothing bad about y'all's country, but that just doesn't seem like well, it seems like a big tire deal, which again, yeah. there's no one past here on big tires. Yeah. For that kind of thing. We did like you know, Nick Agostino is really yeah. fast on uh what's that Pro Street? That's a 33 big, 10 5. 33 10 5. He's fast, but like that's a no prep deal, so that's a completely different world. I mean, y'all got you've what's got two... a no prep deal? NPK? Yeah, they're coming to Canada. Yeah, what no, no prep. prep? No Get prep. The fuck out of here. No prep. There's only two. I only know two fast big tire people. And you mentioned one of them, Nick Augustino, and the other one's Spencer Hyde. I don't know anybody else from Canada. Yeah, he's fast. He's real fast. Yeah. When are they coming? They're going to British Columbia. They're going yeah, of all places. Like, they're going to British Columbia and Alberta. That's mm. where I that that Mission Raceway. That I've been there. Yeah, they're going there. Is that north or south or east or west? Uh, north that's of Washington. North, that's extreme northwest. Oh shit! So that's on the other side of the world, then. Yeah, north of Washington. Holy fuck! Yeah, you it's like when they're on their western and then north swing. of like yeah, north of like Idaho and North Dakota and shit. It's like driving from New York to California to go there. Like, yeah, Seattle and shit like that, north of Seattle. Yeah, it is like the Portland of Canada. It's like, and pretty much, I think it's like an hour and a half from Seattle. I think. Yeah, they're close. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, Vancouver we, and we Seattle flew, are like short drive. We, we flew into Seattle, then <clears> drove <throat> across the border, went to and went to Mission. I need to get up to Oregon so I can get well some more work done on me, some more tattoos. Is that who done 
my tattoo guy in uh, Oregon City, Oregon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Practically rush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you can say that, but there's still there's still Alaska in the way to get to Russia, so y'all are closer than we are. Hell, there's yeah, China. There's not China. Cool. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I have learned Canadian more- geography teaches you that Alaska is in the south. <laughs> it is. It's in the deep south. <laughs> deep south. Um, <laughs> it's oh, right shit. below Hawaii. <laughs> I'm fairly certain British Columbia is China. Is just China. Oh, it's just like where Mike lives is really? India, dude. Yeah, dude. There's so many Chinese people in Spain. He's yeah, it's lying. all. Oh, isn't like oh, isn't uh, San Francisco and shit like that? It's a lot of Asians. I don't know. I mean, like, I got Chinatown quit talking about San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know why? You know why oh my god! <laughs> you know why blondes don't wear short mini skirts in San Francisco, right? Their why? balls hang they're, out. About, their balls a show, man. <laughs> oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> I ain't got no audio to have. Oh, wait, I be damn man. Is the audio working? Yeah. Did you see he had some of a bitch run and jump on it? (laughs) 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 I be damn, man. Dude, look, I ain't scared of a lot of animals. Like, you know, everyone's scared of snakes, whatever, reptiles. Dude, an ostrich? Don't I don't want to be anywhere near that dinosaur. I've heard they'll fuck you up. (laughs) Dude, for sure. Look how big it is. Yep. Y'all you ain't fucking it? done nothing in your life till y'all went cow tipping. Oh, dude, like kangaroos, too. You ever see one of them things? Oh, them motherfuckers jacked. get angry. They're just jacked, them, dude. They get angry. <laughs> they're like, full, to die. Uh, they're like oh, full bodybuilder kangaroo. What's that one? That one that had the fucking dog and it's like the dude. Yeah, all he, like, he was holding it in a, like a chokehold. Yeah, went, and that fucking yeah. dude walked over and hit him and the motherfuckers all like. It's all ripped. What the fuck you do? Dude, yeah, they're jack. Damn. Kangaroos are terrifying. Australia is everything scary. I'm scared to go to Australia because they got some weird shit <laughs> over Holy there, man. Shit. Yeah, cow tip is where it's at. I ain't yeah, I'm not fighting those. <laughs> Dude, no. Dude, Maybe pull a- it up. I'm oh, not yeah, going yeah. to Australia for the simple fact I seen that one picture of like <laughs> when the when all the spiders are like out and shit over there. Look like, at that oh. damn thing, dude! Look at that thing. Dude, that's ripped. <laughs> that's fucking. That's the Arnold of kangaroos. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> My name is Arnold. I fuck you up. Yeah. So the thing with the the thing with the dog, it had it in a chokehold or whatever. I guess they that's how they fight off like dingoes, but they usually bring them to water and they like chokehold them and drown them. Because there's another video of a dude that his dog was like in water with his kangaroo and he went out there to fight it. Yeah, is that the one that just like straight stuck a kangaroo slapping. and it just looked at him like really? <laughs> Probably. The kangaroos go to water to drown the dog. Yeah, because the dingoes will go after kangaroos or whatever, but they'll like they'll get the dingo and they'll like drag it in the water and just drown it. Wonder what happens when her pouch has fills your up. baby. Like, how do they empty out their pouch for the water? <laughs> for the wind. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> oh, don't, oh shit! No. Three dingoes will kill a full size bull. What the fuck? What's a dingo like? A hyena? It's a or do- like a wild dog, like a coyote, yeah, it's like a wild coyote. dog. Coyote, like a. Uh, uh, like Wiley road runner, coyote. like road, road runner and coyote. So yeah, so they hop in water, hey, and if a dingo comes out there, it'll it'll drown it. Wow! All right, so there's gonna be That's an episode, smart. people, where you have Alex on the Australian accent. Oi! Uh, I don't think Owen, I can do that. One. Owen is hawking, and I'll pull the old gangster accent. Yeah, <laughs> well, I heard. I heard in Australia they got them snakes that man, you take fucking like they bite you, and you fucking yeah. take two steps, and you're dead. Mate, you, you Dude, get bit by more... a snake down there, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> man, you see snakes, man. <laughs> man. I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Damn That's God. why I'm not going over there. You know, <laughs> yeah. No, you see, there's more shit that can kill me over there than I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they got them fucking them spiders that are like the fucking, like them fucking, uh, that fucking run like 20 miles an hour. Them fucking big sand Dude, spiders. Dude, they got the ones that are like, holy shit. I disappeared. He said the dingoes will take babies and shit. No shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, the dingo took Alex. The dingo took Alex. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Device is not connected. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, wolf spiders. Yeah, that's what it's called. Wolf spiders. Dude, I don't. I don't mess. Like I don't like spiders here. Uh-uh. I don't want to see. No, them fuck shit. spiders. Fuck uh, no. I have to see if I can find one. Holy shit. I think God just appeared behind Happy. What's my ring light? It's for my OnlyFans. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Pull that back down. Pull that back down. Look, y'all, it's the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There are two Aussies in the chat. We appreciate the Australians being in the chat. I like the Australians. Oh, Their drag awesome. racing is awesome. I just ain't yep. messing with their wildlife. Oh, I think it's awesome, man. Did you fight the dingo? Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. Nope. Fuck no. no. Uh, no. What is that? No. Out. Oh. Nope. That I'm thing has the same forehead as Alex. Nope. <laughs> 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 The thing got the same for as Alex. <laughs> the thing off the screen, don't want to see it. Uh, Dalton, oh, no. I don't know if I could do Australian Stephen Hawking voice. <laughs> that thing got a. I, th- that, I think that's impossible. <laughs> Oi, mid cunt. <laughs> I'll be damn, man. Its nose was bigger than Jimmy's. Oh, wow. Shit. Mike, what are you working on in the shop? Anything cool? Now you're um, back home? Track Hawk today. Tomorrow's another Jeep. I do a lot of Jeeps, surprisingly. Yep. Um, oh, shit. <clears throat> nothing really. A lot of streetcar stuff. It's mostly streetcar stuff here, to be honest. Now, it's people new Jeep. Been, right, like, getting, getting ready or, like, on a Yeah, I'm getting a lot of calls. Home. Like, yeah, like, uh, just generic <laughs> stuff. Putting in clutches, brakes, suspension kits, uh, some tuning work. <laughs> Mike. It's starting to ramp up. Like the weather just started getting nice here. So today yep. I got a lot of phone calls. Whenever the sun comes out, I get a lot of phone calls because I think people sense. start getting getting excited. I do yeah. have to ask Mike. Mm-hmm. So on these Jeeps you're tuning, mm-hmm. how many ducks on the dash signify a thousand horsepower? Oh, geez. how many ducks? Yeah, uh, four. Was well, yeah. it they gotta have how many of them little squeaky ducks? Was it four or five? Four. Four or five <laughs> dictates normally. Dude, I don't get it, dude. I see them all over. I it's can't a Jeep be on my, thing. I can't be it's on my Jeep. phone. Yeah, you can not... have a full full dashboard of ducks. So this is happy driving a camper. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. that's fucked. Those old buff out. <laughs> fuck, man. We seen that, Zach. Good job, buddy. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep, you that's told awesome, me about man. that yesterday. That's awesome. <laughs> I heard they're. Uh, I heard they're trying some stuff. Oh boy. Hell see, yeah. Now, see, that's the thing. When you hear, when I when you tell me that group is trying something. I'm expecting the most off the wall, oh shit moment. Uh, jet engine sticking out of everything. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, them well, trying some shit. It's a different definition. Than everybody else is trying some shit. <laughs> well, I think they get it. Like when we say the whole thing, work harder. Mm-hmm. I think they really understand. You know what? I mean, they they're always trying something 
just different. Them hard tires and motherfucker. Hell yeah. I'm all about, I like, dude, I'm telling you, that, uh, that gasser on hard tires was cool. As yeah, shit. that thing was cool. <clears throat> and it ran good too. Yeah, you could, it worked. Never knew it. That was Surprise a LS me. with twin turbo. Surprise oh, really? Surprised me. Couldn't even hear the turbos the way it gets on the two step and stuff. Like, but he already had all the travel right out of the gate. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Is that the guy that brought the stick shift white Mustang to the fall race? No. Oh. No. Nope. It looked He's like just... him. That's I look at him. That's why I was like confused. Nope. Just an old school dude. He's from Alabama. Uh first met him in Mississippi. And he had that car there on a hard tire. And he's really, now he said he's putting it up until Warner Woods. He said his goal is to make Warner Woods. He said, I may mess around by my house a little bit, but I can't afford to break it. But man, that car is cool. And, and Brandon, it works very and Brandon well. Brandon was over there on the laptop with him, wasn't he? Tuning it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what that, the guy that owns that uh, 57, he, he said it. He's like, man, I, I've raced dirt cars for 30 years. Now, I always wanted to go drag racing. And I went and I seen some guys doing the hard tire stuff and I felt like, Hey, that's where I can, that's where I can fit in. That's where I belong. And sure enough, I mean, hell the thing runs really good. So Beasley, are are you going strict hard tire racing now? I like it. I mean, I think there's a hell of a place for hard tire. There is man. We were talking a little bit yesterday and, he was asking some questions and I think he's, uh, I think he's ready for it. I mean, right now for my race so far, I've got 500 on top of hard tire. That's out of my own pocket. So we've got 27 committed right now for Ooh. butt naked 27 oh, yeah. hard tires. So I just got to ask, are we starting butt naked at like seven in the morning? Dude, <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a long day. <laughs> it is going to be a long day. I, I'm I asking just, just nonstop. In case, like, I'm going to bring my generator, I believe, for this one and just run massive power cords for all the cameras. That's probably what you're going to have to do. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. Is it Friday, Saturday, or is it just one day? I didn't. It's just one day because I started Ooh. out with only 64 cars. Ooh. And then, yeah. So it's probably yeah. gonna be Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> the old dog, the old dog gonna be squealing by that time. <laughs> yes, they are, man. Yes, they are. It's it's gonna be a long one. He's I'm going gonna 20, try twenty sixes. Eight thousand percent anti squad. <laughs> Owns is going hard tire racing. Damn hell yeah! The Blazer gonna be on a twenty six. Chevelle gonna be on a hard tire. Dude, Fucking a man. Oh, mad about that, dude. I love it. That's awesome. You know what that means, Mike? It's time to buy hard tires for the truck. For me? I'm you not racing some, hard tire. You, you Come have on. some, though, don't you? For what? My S10? Yeah, I didn't... can take 100 different pairs of hard tires from anywhere. It's a fucking S10. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> every hard tire race, though, I've been to, I've never seen half of these tires anywhere. Like, I don't know what that one tire is. It looks like the tread looks like a flame pattern. Arturo. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I try hard tire, but I just, I don't know. I can barely get down on a slick. So I think on a hard tire, I'm just going to vaporize those motherfuckers. No, you have a hard time fucking waiting on light. <laughs> well, that too. Lately. <laughs> <laughs> That's new for 2024. That's a new, new thing for me. I think Trevor's so. working a night. Guys that are asking about him. I think he's out in the shop. But we have that other Jeep now, that roller I bought. So we're going to do something cool with that. That's what I'm looking forward to doing. Oh, hell yeah. Or I don't know what we're going to race it as, but we're going to make one of those. I'd like to make, you know what? Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted like one of those Hot Wheels cars. What year Jeep is it? It's an 06 SRT8. Oh, hell yeah. Poster oven. Yeah. But we're going to get a, I'd like to, this is what I'd like to do is put a Hemi in it with a top mount blower, like one of those big screw blowers that looks fucking retarded. Yep. yep. And just have something cool for like drag and drives, car shows, nothing really like, it's not going to yeah. be very efficient with all that motor on the front, but it'll be fun. So you're going to, you're going to do a, a, one of like a Bill Sure used to, his Jeep. Yeah. Like that. 
Hmm. I want something with like just a ridiculous motor hanging out the front. So when you drive by people, they're just like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? That's cool. <laughs> That's Hell the kind yeah. of stuff I like. So the Jeep isn't because it's a Jeep. I mean, <laughs> let's be realistic. A square box is not ideal for any kind of actual racing. But it. it'll be a fun like promotional thing for the shop and just fun. You know what I mm -hmm. miss? I used to do a lot of like cars and coffee kind of thing and stuff like that. And the S10, I mean, I could do it with it, but practically around here, I'll probably get arrested driving it around. Like in right. Florida, you can, it's no problem. But here they're so stingy. And I, I just don't want to deal with the bullshit, to be honest. Right. So I'd like to make the Jeep more of like a cars and coffee or even uh drag and drive kind of deal. Just something right. cool, something fun. Hell yeah. So that shit's we're gonna do we're gonna do something cool with it. That's that is cool, man. Literally got pulled over by one of those SRT eights here in Louisville. Yeah, we got a track hawk that's a police officer, a red track hawk. Oh, really? Our interstate yeah. right here by my house. Did he uh did they impound it from somebody? They definitely impounded yeah. it. They said from a local pharmaceutical um personnel. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, those guys have the money for those things. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. They, they put it on Facebook. I want to be a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical person. engineer. It, yeah. Are they hiring? Pharmaceutical uh, uh, salesperson. Pharmaceutical salespeople. Happy used to do the pharmaceutical tr transportation, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A year or two. Fucked up. Fucked our ass. Fuck the RS. <laughs> Everybody, if y'all didn't realize, Happy has strong feelings about how he feels about independent rear suspension. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal oh, Phillips, it is at US 60 Dragway, May 3rd and 4th, Hardensburg, Kentucky. Undocumented pharmacist. <laughs> I That's like a good it. name for it. That's a I good like name that. for it. Damn. 392 Durangos and four cats. Four Hellcats. No shit. I don't keep up with the police that much, man. Sounds like you know way too damn much, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> the government is watching that. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew sounds like a cop. Oh, he's a buddy of mine. I actually know who he is. He knows way too damn much about the local police. He might have to keep him on the, in eyes reach. You know what I mean? Yeah, no <laughs> shit. What's up, Don? Dan Walker. Dan? What's up, man? What's up? I speed too much. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Imagine you're driving down the highway and your dealer's old track hawk chasing. No shit. Could mm -hmm. you imagine? <laughs> Fuck. You may lose you that on the highway, but you won't lose it light to light. I'll tell you that much. Imagine you're like happy. You pull up next to my very. It's like, let's get this my very runner here. <laughs> he pulls up my I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> How do they pull like that one that you built, Mike? The... I'm sure, like, from a dead dig, I mean, out on the street, that motherfucker's nasty. Oh, yeah, it was violent. Uh, it normally would be, like, a 138, 60 foot on the street. Fuck. But rowdy, like, they fucking bounce. They're, they're fun. I love those trucks. Let's just honestly. pull up and get it? Or is that doing burnout and everything like that? No, no burnout, nothing. Just fucking pull up pull to the up light and, and let her eat. That's fucking rowdy, man. That's badass. Because they're, a, they're a 70... 70, uh -oh. 70 40 split, 70 30 split, 70 That's 30 split gives the bounce. A little yeah, bit. so the back has 70, the front has 30. Unless you put it in snow mode, then it's 50 50. But they normally mm -hmm. chew themselves up like that. The front dip's not built for that kind gotcha. of pull, so the <laughs> rear end's a lot stronger. When you said 70 40, I was like, Canadian, I know. I, know. <laughs> I was I saying I didn't want to say nothing. 60 40. <laughs> I was thinking 60 40. My brain was catching up. <laughs> That's why I was there to help you out. To say it. Maxwell, not there. I don't to help know where out. Maxwell is, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. Oh boy, he better not he's be one, on drugs. He's somewhere sleeping on somewhere. Maxwell decided this morning at five o'clock it was time to get up and started freaking out in his crate for some reason. Oh boy. 
You got them night terrors. Jared, that's something. That's the same eclipse that yeah. We had that one in our group chat yesterday. With the ball sack. Oh no, yeah, that's a good one. I even edited it down to take that out. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck off, Jonathan. I know it was wrong. <laughs> Oh, damn, that's a badass truck. That's cool, man. Yeah, it's a nice little roller. Actually, a friend of mine reached out to me, and he's like, I know you like Jeeps. We've had this roller sitting at the shop for eight years. That thing is rust-free, like spotless truck. I think it had 40,000 miles when they tore it apart to build. It used to be a pro-charged uh, 6.1 like race truck. And then the customer couldn't afford to pay the bill, so they parted it out, and then they were just left with up. this. Sure, you can put it up. That's why I put it in the group chat. Okay, why didn't Damn, know. hell yeah, man. You want to go? Yeah, I don't you care. Know, I didn't nothing. know if you wanted it's going to be like some sleeper shit. No, this will be, like I said, this is, we're just going to build for fun. So it's already rear wheel drive. They took all the all wheel drive out of it. So it'll be a rear wheel drive, but um, it's clean, like clean, clean. They have an Fuck 850 yeah. cage in it already. All the dash has been gutted. So. Um, you need to make that thing fit a 33 105 w yeah i'm gonna put a different rear we'll probably put a nine inch in it it's got the stock jeep rear end which really isn't that great um but it's got good suspension in it they put a fuel cell already in it like it has the cage is nice that that's done i'll put another kirky in it so it's a two-seater and you know we'll make something cool out of it that's something cool for the shop when i'm not you know, working too much. Something to tinker with. Because I really don't want to fuck around with the S10 anymore. I've had enough of that fucking thing. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Poor oh, S10. <clears throat> no, I love that truck, but I feel like that thing's a bi-weekly money expense. Like, I don't... Uh, it's just, it never ends. It's race car. I know, but it's got to end <laughs> at some point. Like, fuck. Dude, Every like week a... is something with that thing. Dude, it's like I sent in the group chat. Even when in that scale, dude, it's constant. Just throw money at it. Yeah, it. but it feels like it legitimately, like, I don't get two weeks off where it's not like, oh, we need this. Oh, we need that. Oh, shit. That's because you're, the... you're trying to compete at the top level. When you're trying yeah, to be I number know, one. It's hard. <clears throat> if you were like just... even the the motor i took out just to refresh it and then the guy calls me and he's like oh crankshaft's bent this is fucked you need this you need that i'm like oh my god here we go again i thought i was gonna get two weeks of fucking actually having money nope <laughs> mike was like yeah, right. i'm gonna get to go to texas roadhouse eh, back to no. the ramen <laughs> <laughs> yeah back to fucking kd every day it's ridiculous and i don't know food here in canada Alex, you have never left, so you probably don't realize it. I thought Florida was expensive. Here, what do you mean? It's, it's crazy. brutal here. Crazy, dude. Me, and my mom, and dad went out for dinner. We went to Boston Pizza, and it's like cheap pasta night, and we all got pasta. It was still ninety five bucks. Holy shit! Yeah, no, like it's fucked up. I went to the grocery. Like, store I mean, we got, got margaritas back. too, but it was still. Yeah, it's crazy here. I went to the grocery store and grabbed some, like, just necessities. Milk, eggs, like, just basic shit. $165. Yeah, and dude, I, was like, I do, what the I fuck? do it every week. I do it every Chris week. Chris Lane, so you huh. want to be in the pharmacy, pharmacy industry. I got this planned out. <laughs> you just need Perfect. to fucking transport groceries from Kroger's to fucking Canada. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. You'll make a mint. Black market and fucking eggs and shit and milk. Like, I'm fucking in. Gosh. Damn. I'm telling you, and that's why, like, it's cheaper for me to drive to uh, Chili's, get a free for me, than it's good dinner anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been doing the same shit. Like, I mean, it's cheaper for us to go to, like, go sit down at um, uh, Olive Garden or something than it is to, you know, fix, like, a for real decent meal here at the house. Yeah, like, I, I try to, like, meal prep to, like, lose weight, whatever. But, like, I do it to save money, but then... I'll go out and buy, you know, buy some chicken, buy some pasta, buy cheese, whatever to make sauce or whatever. And I'm like 80 bucks in for six meals. I'm like, am I really saving money? 
No, no, you're not. It's not even cheaper to make sandwiches at home now. I go to the deli up the street here. It's six fifty for a oh, sandwich. Oh, you get a fat sandwich. Yeah, too. like a fat sandwich. You go to the grocery store, get the bread, you get the meat, you get all that that uh, that you need to make that same sandwich. It costs you like twelve bucks. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. understand. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah, don't get me wrong. You can do it for cheaper. I just, you know, I I go to the grocery store and I buy the nicer shit. And I go to the expensive grocery oh, store like an idiot. I used to be a big Uber Eats guy. I can't do it anymore. It's impossible. Oh, it's brutal. That shit is crazy. Now. Dude, a Big Mac's like $22 by the time it gets to your house. I looked Fuck at a blizzard that. last night because I had the munchies. And I was like, oh, I'd love <laughs> to have a blizzard right now. Then I didn't want to leave. Oh, uh, look at Happy's mouth. He's he's salivating like. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I tried to drop okay. Happy's name at DQ, but up here in the north, they didn't know who he was. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I did it on Uber Eats because I'm like, oh, they can deliver it. It's fucking, you know, <clears throat> dude. One Blizzard, medium or whatever, regular size, <laughs> worked out to like twenty two dollars after. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck that. I ain't ordering that. That's just stupid. And, and you can't even see them turn the cup upside down. No. So you don't know if they're doing it. And the guy's free. probably eating half of it on the way. <laughs> <laughs> see, that would be my nightmare with Uber Eats. Is I'd be worried somebody would like, take the top like off of the blizzard and just lick it. In the lick it or on dip it. their balls in it. Something <laughs> Zach, Zach said he found the Whitakers in, somewhere in Alabama. I'll have to read the deal again. but uh, I don't know if I did. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, a real man. If something's wrong with your woman and you talk about sex one time and if you don't fart it, I think you hear it again. That's a oh. <laughs> <family law>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a face you made too. Listen to this. You heard the <laughs> <laughs> he had to wait, he had to wait for himself to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question if he shit himself. <laughs> oh, and if you don't mention it again, then you're a man. My God, <laughs> I'm mentioning it again. So I'm a man. Homies out here just My cutting farts and smoking mother. darts. Yeah, <laughs> that's that dude that's on the starting line, always trying to get a five dollar bet. Oh my god. He believes uh, Big Chief is the fastest car. You in the can world. almost yeah. perm, perm that shoulder Whitaker's. hair. He makes yeah, me feel good with my hairline, that guy. Yeah. It was, he says, listen for the barking spotters. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, that the dude from Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> god. Oh, Poor guy. Uh, on tonight's of what meth did that guy get into? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't know. Banging it through the motor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he perched it once or twice. He had a little too much bottle pressure. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Oh shit. Yeah, that is the Uber Eats driver. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, every Uber East driver we have down here is just some of the funniest named Indian dudes you'll ever hear, like Suck Dish, Man Meat, Uterus. It's all some Man dude. Meat. <laughs> man Meat. Dude, ask the next time you see Tony, ask him about it. He's got them all like written down, all the good ones, because he orders Uber Eats every single day. No. He's got all the good ones written. Dude, man, all the good ones written down. Money, then. Yeah, anybody that can order Uber Eats every day lives on a higher tax bracket than I'll ever see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. None of them around here speak any English. I mean, Dude, none of them. I went to uh, I went to a show at the casino on Friday. Bad friends like Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee. They do like a live show, like comedy deal, and they pulled someone from the crowd, an Indian guy from the crowd named Suck Dish, and Andrew Santino called him oh Suck Dick God. twice, right to his face. Oh my! God. Like Suck Dick, come over here. <laughs> and then they reenacted the skit of a. Uh, from uh, straight out of Compton, where Easy E found out he had AIDS, it was oh. just—it was so funny. <laughs> oh my god! God, see, gotta see that driver list screenshot. Well, there's no Will, suck Will dishes on posted. there. Which one? The butt naked from uh, butt naked. That one. 
Yep. We were discussing about how number 70 is a sleeper in that field. Oh, yeah. He's, he'll be asleep, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he'll be a sleeper if I can. He'll get up early. He'll be long gone. He'll be at the 3.30 before they even lock in. <laughs> so, is this going to be another one of those Maxwell just looking like dad? Really? Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> he, meant the, he meant the Uber list. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think Wajdi's coming. He's not on the list, but there's a couple of people uh, that yeah, sent me messages today. Damn. Well, if, I can, if I can't make it, watch you can have my spot. <laughs> hey, hey. Now, Mike, I'm telling you right now, bro- broker a deal with Wadji on this one. Tell him he pays 50%. You'll keep your 50% in. If he wins, y'all split it. Yeah, I'm down with that. Damn right. That's a smoking deal. Yeah. I'll even give him my buy-in. He can take my spot. But we split 50-50 if he wins. Smoking deal. Damn, I should have bought a spot to this race and split it with somebody now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who didn't get a spot feels they got a chance. <laughs> I don't want to give up my spot quite yet, but I'm getting there. It depends on parts. Hopefully I'll have it together. I really want to come to this. Dude, that sucks, man. Parts right now too so hard to come by. Oh, I know. And expensive. Well, yeah, that's for sure. <clears throat> I'm telling that you, same crank, that same crankshaft I looked at two years ago has gone up seven hundred and eighty dollars. And I know it don't cost seven hundred and eighty more dollars to make it. No, it didn't. Like it's it's ridiculous, man. But when she told me the price today, I was like, "That's the same one, right? From hey, before." Yep. I gotta <laughs> ask you one thing: Who wow. typed up the names on the list, Kenzie? Uh-oh. Ken- Kenzie RAC one air number sixty four Joey Barini. <laughs> oh no! <Yeah. laughs> Jesus, damn! Yep, boy, she's gonna knock shit out of me. For that. <laughs> I'm about to get my fucking magnifying glass out so I can fucking read that motherfucker. That's crazy that you have 128 cars. Yeah, and so, then like we were saying, that's a you know, lot of fucking how, cars. How some of you know some of the events are getting smaller, but that's that was my thing. Like, why did this impress so many people to lock in uh, to come to? Is it the Virgin Concrete? I, I mean, it's, yeah, it's like one of those places. This is the way I looked at it. And I said it's one of those places. It'll never be like this again. It's a, it's one-time, a one-time deal. It's a one and done type. Once deal. you have this race, that surface will never be like that ever again. Seriously. I agree. George okay. Cunningham down twice, so that's Bad Apple, and I bet that uh, they're bringing uh, the S10, too. Which S10? Yeah. The one the kid drives? Yeah, the one the kid drives. Yeah, it's quick. Yeah. Pro Charger. Yeah, that kid was impressive. I raced him there at Dig or Die. Shelby Lynn, she got her runner-up this weekend. I'd say Dude, hey, Ryan will have hey, both those cars back together. Be... If Hate Take makes it for, through that first round, or if he if he's early in that first round and makes it through, dude, he's gonna be a weapon. There's another. Dude, there's a lot of people on that list that are weapons. There's another tough one. Well, right he ain't there. normally like a bare surface guy. He's just like a front side no prep. Yeah, but it's concrete, yeah. and there's 128. Yeah. Parts. yeah, if he's if he's later <laughs> in the first round, whoever's got him, like they got problems. Hey, 121. Car number uh, 121 on the list. That's going to be another one. Yep. He's a local guy to me, and that's that's a badass car. Mike Gunner. Who? Mike Gunner. Who? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I got to get Mike L. He didn't come to my race, so Mike Mike's on the shit list. Oh, yeah. He had a grudge race. Yeah. The Phillips. Yeah, it's funny because that list has a combination of all kinds of cars. Oh, yeah. Front yeah, side, that's... back side. That's but... really why I mean I'm looking forward to it, man, to see if the fat you know, some of the faster front side cars you one gotta eliminate down enough. You yeah, know, you gotta eliminate those first round. We got yeah. Justin Lee, so we're gonna see a good wheel stand. That's yeah. your only chance you have. <laughs> 
I'm trying to see. I'm looking for more. I'm see if Kenzie messed up on anything else. That number seventy, so we can see a good burnout. Yeah. Oh yeah. That guy's gonna <laughs> lay the rubber down for everybody. So whatever lane that is, well prepped. <laughs> Timothy, forty <laughs> first car on the list. Hey, uh, almost got a shot, dude. Yeah, Trevor. That car's always worked great. It does, man. Schoolboy. Hmm. I just seen Schoolboy and Mort. Yep. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any call? Do you have any open call outs already? Like any people called each other out yet? I know that the first two going down the track is supposed to be two locals. It's Josh Arnold. Um, he's got a Mustang out of the motorsports camp that's pro charged mm-hmm. against um, Lonnie Middleton. In his oh. true street style Mustang, I know that was the very first call out, and they had some money on it. Um, and then I believe Chris Kohler from New Jersey and Bad Grandpa the wagon, he's got a call out with somebody as well, second pair, second or third pair. Hmm. I like the call outs when when <laughs> everybody already sees the list and it's already. Yeah, I'm I thinking. think it's cool too. I need Kenzie number, can't stand it, but I like it. I need number Why? 72 to call somebody out. Houston? Yeah, and let's see who we can call out. Number 70. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Wadley gets it. No, no, no. Back mm-hmm. off. Back off. <laughs> yeah, you may be in for a big surprise. You call out number 70. Ta-da! <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if I was somebody that was really good at bare surface racing right now, I would do whatever I could call and see if the Prestons would take a call out. Oh, oh yeah, he tried. I know um, Chris on there from Jersey with the grandpa, uh, the bad grandpa wagon. He messaged and asked, "Did and I think no? the press, Yeah, did I think that the Prestons would take one? He wanted to race a big name guy because he's like, <laughs> well, yeah. Raised. I mean, it's great. Yeah, he's like, obviously, I'd have a better chance at you know going against a faster car right off the trailer, but yeah. to if we get put out early, then it's just going to be a hell of a show. Then we're just going to sit back and party and watch the race and enjoy. If I was a hundred percent locked in on this, I'd call someone out. Why not? It can't hurt. Right. The odds of me right. winning that, who cares? I'd rather race someone I want to oh race than first God. round. Yep. But I don't want to do any call outs and then not show up. That's even more bitch. Uncle Demon's Garage. No. Uh, no, Jimmy Dale. Now, Poland actually locked in a car, but that was Kraken. Jimmy Dale may be scared of that bare concrete. I don't know. We're going to have to ask him when he gets on here. They slacking, dude. They on, they on that Kentucky time tonight. Oh, motherfucker. That question, Happy. Happy, I have a chance to buy a car, but I'm unsure about the motor setup. It's a Regal built V6 with turbo. They're telling me mid nines and a quarter. Um, if it's a built, yeah, because that's a mid nines and a quarter. It'd be a mid six second or pretty low six second. It'd be a pretty badass turbo six owner then. A pretty badass piece. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Look at that head on this thing. Look at my face. <laughs> Dude, do that again. Oh, you look oh, like you're oh. almost taking off. Go, go, gadget feet. I'll be damned. <laughs> a screw chop. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I had to. Man. My face is as red as Happy's headlamp. Oh, no shit. I don't know if I seen Wadji in the comments. No, All right, Wadji, you're in the comments. Uh, Mike's car's not done. Why don't you? Why don't you and him gonna team up on a spot? Yeah, I got a message him because there's there's a couple of spots that are for sure open. So talking I know about- Kenzie, I think said something to him at Carolina Cash Days. I'll talk to him. I, I, I can give Will my spot to whoever them. I want, right? 
realistically. Justin Sears. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> he was it. about to say no. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. You didn't oh, like that man. idea? That's fair. <laughs> oh, you can't make it. Fuck that, man. Oh. I'm trying to stay married. Lame. That's fair. Every time he wins, someone, some other woman sitting on his car. Different Let one me, every you time. Said something, you said something earlier about the, about the uh, asking for I thought for you were going to say something else. <laughs> Better to ask for forgiveness than permission, man. Yep. Punch his sister in the jaw. What? Yeah. Rob Smith, Ryan Mitchell's on there. <laughs> he was one of the first ones to lock down. <laughs> Oh boy, kick a sister in the jaw in the in the, in the, in the chin, right? Um, yeah. Damn That's what it, you call man. an Arkansas virgin. I mean, a Kentucky virgin. The girl can run faster than her brother. Oh my god. <laughs> that be uh, damn yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Told me it's thirty-two thousand in the motor. Dino just under a thousand. Justin Lee, your spot isn't available. I need a good highlight for that race. Uh, I don't see. I think a car like his is, will be a monster on that type yeah. surface. Uh huh. I do. I think definitely, people are going to be surprised. in the beginning. Definitely in the beginning. Yes. Sure. Yes. Hundred percent. Happy if Pac-Man plays Beam G, little Carter on a mic, runs a badass Beam server. No, we haven't got him a PC yet. He only plays the video games that he can play on like a PlayStation 5 or on his phone. I seen him so playing I, that Roblox stuff, man. That was... One, yeah. How, yeah. Is, he, is he asleep yet? How come we ain't got that story yet? Yeah, it's about his bedtime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That piece of can't see a text message. Don't you bring Paxton? <laughs> <laughs> Did Shelby Lynn disembark from the JJ game? Uh, last time I spoke with her, she said she's still going to race the JJ arm drops. What happened to Who's, JJ? Who is, is that Lynn? dude? I don't know who that is. He does races all over the place. He just does he. I don't think he's I on never TV hear no from more. him anymore, or you don't hear anything about him anymore. On, they're on TV no more. Yeah, I don't think they're on TV no more. He's got what one is... this weekend in Crossville, Tennessee, I believe. <laughs> he yeah. just does those arm drop deals where he cons mm -hmm. you into coming Dude, and donating. He probably makes bank at those. Oh, oh no he shit. does. He makes huge money, man, because he he yeah. gets the tracks for little and nothing. Yeah, uh, most of the time he gets the local tracks for like I don't know ten fifteen thousand. So, oh boy! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Shit. Hold on! <laughs> All right! Oh boy! <laughs> Get the guardrail where? Oh him! Him! Tell us the story! Tell us the story! Tell us the story! What's the story? Oh, I I was riding with Sarah, and then um, I think I she heard. The guard, uh, camper hit the guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> and then, was anybody coming? No. <laughs> there's, there's two people that don't tell lies: drunks and kids. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> he doesn't want to throw his dad under the bus, though. So he right. Comes back. <laughs> well, he did it. He did it. The event. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to do it live. Good kid. <laughs> I about fell out of Happy's chair when he said. <laughs> yeah. hmm. oh, <laughs> Chanel, they lock you in here. Poor thing. Chanel. 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 All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here tonight, fellas. All right, buddy. Good night. Hey. Uh, See you, Alexander. Good, good luck to everyone that's going somewhere this weekend. I'm finally Thanks, going man. somewhere. Hey. Too, so I'll be back oh. next week with a bunch of pictures and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, yeah. I need to get on there and I need to make you a mod, by the way, on the live feed stuff. Yeah, do do whatever. Send me a message. Yeah, I got to ask Limpy how to do that because I'm illiterate. So <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be. Uh, what's this weekend? No wait, I got a race. What's uh, what's the first race that you're going to be live again? So this well, I'll be live this weekend and might be next weekend. Yeah, Wajdi, I'm going ugly. 
All right. Later, fellas. See you next time. Later, See you, Alex. Oh, boy. Ugly. And where is that at, Mike? Uh, Michigan, like uh, up Detroit area ish, like um, up somewhere in that area. Damn, I've never even heard of that track. It's a small track, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I get it. Hold on. <clears throat> North, no, North no, Michigan. No, no, there you go. To play this. Damn. Gotta check the cameras. North Michigan. I do need to send Jeff. I didn't. I gotta send Jeff North as normal. Michigan. This is pretty damn fucking good. All right. We ready? Yeah. Make Hold sure up. the audio is working. Hold up. I'm not ready. Okay. This is pretty fucking funny. I got hit sand. He wasn't That's... ready. I'm not ready. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Don't men go down on women the morning after sex? You know, that's a question I would really like to know the answer. Well, have you ever tried to peel a grilled cheese sandwich apart? Ew. (laughs) 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 Yeah, I mean, damn. Sometimes it looks like mozzarella cheese, too. (laughs) (laughs) Especially if you got a little seepage. (laughs) Mm. It's either either grilled cheese or, or cottage cheese, one of the two. Oh. 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 Too far. Damn it, Too man. far. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined oh, bread for Chris shit. forever now. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. that shit. <laughs> I'll be on the mic at Ugly. Oh, hell yeah, man. That's what's up. Oh, man. Spoiled milk smell. Nah, I'm not uh, even reading these fucking things. <laughs> Gross. Looks like you know a pack of pennies in the bottom of a mayonnaise jar, or yeah, that's what oh same smell God. too. I got it. Oh what this God. one is <laughs> loading the dishwasher. <laughs> 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 Oh shit, that's pretty good, man. That's you know why women's good. feet so small, right? So they can get closer to the dishes when they're doing them in the sink. That's right. <laughs> oh shit. Damn it, man. Run my thoughts for oatmeal tomorrow AM. Oh. Damn it, Just, man. Uh oh. Here we go. God almighty. Oh no! All right. So, how bad was Houston's car when he tagged the wall? I hadn't seen it. It just looked like in the pictures he had just scrubbed some paint. I haven't really got to watch his vid or anything. That's hard. Shit! Is that on the hard tire? Holy (laughs) shit! Brights be like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know what brakes are on the back of that thing, but it, they're oh, good. Shit. I tell you what, though, I bet it won't take them long to figure them tires out. Hell no. Fast, I've known Bobby and them a while, and when they go, when they get something, they they're they're on it. They yeah, got to they, they got to conquer it. They got to figure yep. shit out. I gave him some good pointers yesterday, and about treatment and stuff like that. <laughs> They're going to try it. Hell yeah. You're telling me people do not just come with a regular hard tire that's not been treated. What the hell? They swear up and down they don't, <laughs> but that's bullshit because I've seen some be on the open trailer, and when they unload them, damn near the tires rip the wood off the trailers. <laughs> so they, they got something. They Those fuckers something. been soaking for months. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no reason for a damn hard tire to be wrapped in saran wrap and shit sitting on the trailer like they've they got some shit on them oh yep, yeah i promise sure. you i've seen it seen it too That's many times 
<laughs> they're flying. I mean, some of them hard tired. We had a guy, I mean, he actually showed his time slip. He went five forties. Who on a yeah. On That's a quick on a hard tire. Cooper Cobra. I mean, it's it's a bad dude. And honestly, I've heard cars have been faster. They just don't want to show the times. So they're letting the guy kind of have his glory with his 540 pass. But there's cars that's actually been been faster on a hard tire. I they believe just don't want to discuss it. You know, the bad thing, Justin says, get a tester like the dirt track. We now have a tester for the RC dry tire and like stuff like that. Just we have to test. Can you test that's a crazy. real tire? I mean, what what type yeah. of tester would you use on a? It's a polar. I for, I, I'd have to send you the link on it. It's from hmm. Amazon. Zach got it, and the 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 key number is thirteen. If you're over thirteen, you got to do a simple green burnout to knock some of the stick off of it. If you're under thirteen, you're good to go. Gotcha. Now, see in the hard tire world, or even in small tire, whatever somebody's doing to the tire, that don't bother me in the <laughs> racing world. Like I like it. I think that's part of <clears throat> figuring shit out trying stuff seeing what works and Me if you too. got the if you got the money to soak a slick so it gets eight passes and then it's trash then all the yeah. power to you yep. <laughs> mike yep. said he soaked his and only got seven you bastards yeah. <laughs> i got four he's passes there, out of them when i soak them he said he gets four passes and three of them are jumps yeah <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start putting making my life a little more private. I think. <laughs> Love you, bro. Love you. You made a YouTube. That's not possible. I know. I know. I try to share things with everybody on YouTube, but it's slowly biting me in the ass. A girl I went to school with in high school. Her and her boyfriend like to use food in their seggies time. And I heard he like in that group chat mayo in there and then ate it. Oh, come on. Now she also didn't show that <laughs> fucking oh. gross, man. And that, I'm that, looking at my damn it, dog. I'm trying to eat. eat it. That kind of reminds me of like a tuna patty, uh, tuna milk, oh, uh, uh wow. right there, huh? It's getting worse. <laughs> we use simple green to soften our tires for I got a gallon part. jug of that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, they use it big time in the RC world, and it it works really well. Hey, Corey bought a gallon of that shit, and you only fucking he'll he'll have that gallon for fucking about three hundred and eleven years. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he goes through quite a bit. He sprays the carpet and everything with it. Dude, I got through a bottle, a normal bottle of it a race now. That's a test day. Wow. Race day. Chris, what you got Chris. in your cup up there? Mountain Dew. Mayonnaise. Did you hear about the mayonnaise in the uh in the old old cooter shooter? <laughs> what? This guy said a girl I went to high school with, her and her boyfriend like to use food in their oh, steak at the time. And I heard he force fed <laughs> mayo mayo in there and then ate it out. She also didn't shower daily. Oh. There was a rumor that uh, that a girl that I went to high that went to an opposite high school I was at sticked a fucking baby chicken in her coop. You soon? Oh my god! No shit. Hey, would that would that be called uh, tartar sauce or was that just? Oh Oh, my god! Foul. (laughs) Happy. When was the last time you had a bomb spread? Don't play this on. Okay. What's a bomb spread? Holy shit! That sounds like some bad nitrous shit. (laughs) Ah dang! Oh Oh, shit! (laughs) And to that kinky shit, he put tuna fish in there, and they didn't get it all out. Oh my god! Oh my (laughs) god! (laughs) What the fuck? I'm in trouble now. By the way. Whip cream. You're in trouble? Yeah, completely off subject. Traxxas' main ho- headquarters is 39 minutes from the gut. Uh oh. Load up time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I better grab a couple Whip. extra dollars out the safe. <laughs> said, what is it? Traxxas' main headquarters. Oh. Hard oh, is it, is it? It's here? Yeah, it's in Texas. Or around, well, it's in, I guess, in Texas. 
What's up, Mandy? Oh, that, yeah, big shout out to our one person on Twitch, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have more if I could go, but I get like three or four on Twitch, but you know, I don't know how many I got right now. Aaron, I never called them a bomb spread. I oh, we got two on Twitch. Nope. Everything I ever made <laughs> uh, was called a blow up. I just made a blow up eggs with hot water. Oh, shit. Here we go. Kenzie wants me to make one so she can try it. Oh, wow. Little, uh, little, uh, oh, yeah. That Mexican mustache is looking (laughs) fire. Appreciate it. Me and Brent got a bet. So after I'm going to shave the bottom side and I'm I'm bringing in the, I'm going to try to beat Brent at his own game. (laughs) What's the bet? 100. He bet, me gotta, he bet me a hundred dollars that I wouldn't grow my mustache out. And I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm going to take your money, but okay. How far, how, how far and long you got to let it grow. I, we didn't really come up with that. I think you just letting it grow. Cause I shave mine every week. I let it get to about this and then I shave it back down to, you know, about every well, weekend need, I knock it back off. Now you need like the seventies porn stash or what? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I need. Dude, get some handlebars going, you man. Twist that shit. Get some right. handlebars going, yeah. I, I'm in. Hey, look, Mexican as fuck. Yeah, this shit is literally 38 minutes from the gut. What? Man, man. Tracks us headquarters. Oh. You know, you know me. I, I hear RC shit. Person. I go nerd. <laughs> Happy, do you know anything about the no prep race at London, Kentucky this weekend? No, I don't, man. Shit ton of stick cars. If you ain't got oh, small tire gangsters, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you right. ain't shit. That's right. It, that's this weekend too. Yeah. Small tire gangsters is this weekend. We we like, no 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 no. That's oh. the, there's a big stick shift race, but I didn't realize that that was this weekend here in Kentucky as well. Yeah, apparently. Huh. Oh, okay. It's way down up there. <laughs> that's north. It's up by. Uh... Um, that's, that's on the sure. way. Chili ramen, tuna, hot fries, pork rinds, hot sauce, mustard, mayo. What else you want? Man, I used to put pickles in mine. I would put uh, beef stick in mine. I would what are you also... talking about a spread? Yeah, well, I called them a blow up. Like I used to make blow ups. You know, I, but it, mine was all in a... my noodles. I would yeah, use that's... cheese sauce, uh, a salmon pack, or a tuna pack, whatever I had that week. Yeah, but. Uh, Vienna sausage, since everybody knows I like wieners. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's we call spread as well. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. Sixty-four car stick cars locked in. Holy shit! Go yeah, small tire gangsters is going to be small tire gangsters is going to be the spot. So what's new with it, Poland? What's new? What's the happening word? What's everybody talking about? What what? What are we doing this weekend? It What's seems like fight? everybody that owns a damn race car is going to be there this weekend. I literally have been waking up every morning with fucking hundreds of messages. So I think I, it's going to be a banger. Uh, I don't really have anything that I don't think has been, hasn't been announced. Um, What's the breakdown on the pay? I know everything's added on top of buy-ins. I had a yeah, guy ask me last mm-hmm. night. I sent him the flyer, but if there's somebody watching that don't know. Uh, all of our stuff is no minimum car count, no lock-in, no anything like that. Small tire, there's ten grand on top. What's, what's anything on 28, 10,000 on top of the buy-ins. Uh, Little Gangsters is a 530 cap, 7,500 on top of that, 2,500 on top of True Street, and 1,000 or 1,500 on top of True Street and 1,000 on top of all the other classes. So we got 25,000 in payouts on top. It's huge, man. Now, Friday night, what's what's going on? Uh, Friday night, we got True Street, Kinka, which is a full-size truck class. That's Is that an index class? Uh, it's 6 to something, 6 to 630, I think. I have to look random, at this. Random yeah, draw it's just a, it's just a It's a random draw, yeah. And then uh, we're calling it Home Run Derby, but it's just a small tire shootout. $250 buy-in, winner take all. That's for all the small tire guys. And um, the modern class. So there's a guy named in Texas, I don't know if y'all heard, Boosted Lucky. Um, he does a lot of, I don't know what you say, like more grudge style radial stuff, but, uh, he's got a lot of followers. He does pop up events and all of that stuff. And he's going to be running the modern class. So 2010 and newer, I think it's 
2010 and newer, um, unless you have a stick shift car. That was part of our rules. If you have a stick shift car, it doesn't matter what year it is, you can get in on that class. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, just okay, add a any little pattern or, or, or just any stick shift, any stick shift. Is, is there, is, is there an overdrive oh, restriction in the rules? Huh? Is there an overdrive restriction? Like it has to be an AOD transmission or no, no glider, no 400. Damn it. That's how Houston leave the damn Zephyr at home. Let's run that. Yeah. <laughs> just um, the happy. Why well, have time to switch cars? If I double enter. Absolutely going to be 128 small tires. So if, if <laughs> that's what you're thought. talking about for butt naked. <laughs> Justin yeah, Lee will yeah. pair number Plenty two and pair number three. Or he's going to end up drawing each other with the two cars. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have plenty of time, man. Plenty, plenty. E's and B's podcast making the debut hey, of 2024 happy. Small Tire Gangsters. Happy Damn, look man, look at that. I oh, just shit. made that motherfucker the other day. That had noodles, chili, mayo, Beef Did you really? Pickles. Yeah, hot Cheetos, the whole nine in it. That was in a, made that in a trash bag. Dang. Now, see, I used to make mine in, in bags too. You know, that's, that's how we used to do it. It was a blow up. Day. Yep. Did you put so, ranch on it? it? That's what's layer across the top right there. Man, Kenzie wants me to make her one because I always talk about them. You know, like, fuck, yeah. I lived on that shit for a while. <laughs> hey, you got, she's you got like, for real? Like, are they really good? And I'm like, Why well, glasses you obviously, I mean, <laughs> I like them. Oh, you know, I mean, but, I I mean it, it's funny how now, like I said, when I was locked up, like I will never eat one of those again. I'll never do bro, this shit again. Right. You don't want and then to just, bro. Random urges come across me and I'm like, I'm, I'm, telling go buy, you, man. I'm yep. going to buy $20 oh. worth of shit at, at Walmart real quick. I'm going to throw yep. together a spread. Yep. <laughs> this motherfucker right here. You get fucking did you do stupid <laughs> shit, man? I, at least I do random yep. impulse. I don't need to have a phone in my hand when when I'm high at night. God damn, right. what's my excuse for doing everything? I gotta put now? my background over this because I'm. I tired put of tortillas, skin. man, on the bottom. You know, I've made big ass burritos full of new. I'm a I'm a big <laughs> flavor. I like seasoning. I'm a big season type of guy. I used to I used to all kinds of fucking. So when you the get little it, packets you'd get, yeah. So when I'd you put it, shit in them. you yep. put your packet in there, and then you take some slap your mama when you pour the water in there. You know, to get it all hot, take about two. Two teaspoons or so of slap your mama and throw it in there, and it changes the whole game. I would put the seasoning on top instead of putting it in the noodles. I put the seasoning on top like salt and pepper. Yeah. You know, so it was really spicy. It would give yeah. a bite when you bit into it. Yeah. Man, here we are talking about shit while we're fucking <laughs> locked up, man. Gosh damn. <laughs> <laughs> And we go from talking about small tire gangsters to being locked up. So yeah, this is the life we've had, y'all. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yep. Fuck, man. Uh, but yeah, we're we're ready for it. Uh, everybody's coming in Thursday. We're actually going to open the gates at five instead of seven on Thursday. Let everybody get because I've got shit. I probably had thirty guys today. Said we'll be there about three o'clock on Thursday. So yeah. I called Yellow Belly, and the earliest they can make it happen is five. So we're going to get everybody in at five, but the track still won't go hot till seven because that's what their EMS is hired for. And um, is, is staff allowed uh, to get in on Thursday night, or we got to pay? You're going to have to pay. That's normal Yellow Belly. Oh, I got a question. Why did you switch from tree or from limpy to tree, tree side? Um, last year, so my last race in April. I had almost five hours total of downtime from switching back and forth between limpy and the tree from, cause we take, you know, we're, we're moving all the shit around unplugging stuff. Yellow belly is on like a 1986 timing system. Like it's, oh, wow. it's super old school. Um, it takes forever to boot it back up. Once you unplug it and shut it all down, you got to reboot everything back up. Um, it killed me last year as far as downtime. Oh, and they, everything they, like that. they can't just shut off. The, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a two and a half hour long hour meeting. I told Tom the same thing. I got, you got a 15 minute timer, bro. It was, it was a combination of everything. We had and eight hours. Left. Right. We had, a, there was a lot of stuff that we cleaned up from last year. Um, and, That's and I, I learned. mean, right. And I, and I, I love limpy. I still want him there. He's a part of small tire gangsters. He was with us from the beginning. Um, it just made more sense to, we have more in-text classes than we do in heads up classes. It just makes more sense for that this That was event. my second, second question. How come you're leaning so much towards index now? I've got 40 and 50 cars in every class that index. I do when it comes to index. And I mean, bro, I, I was just having this conversation earlier. I will, I'm, you're going to 
I've got 10,000 on top of anything on 28. So there's probably going to be 25 or 30 cars in that class. And little mm -hmm. gangsters is probably going to have 80 to a hundred cars in it. So people there just like index better. <clears throat> I think it's becoming everywhere. I think me and Corey had this same conversation the other day. It was, uh, it's the index stuff is the car count is ridiculous on it. Look at this fucking shaky Johnson. Yeah, Pretty on. shaky. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we don't know if I, don't, oh, hey, I don't why is your name Jim Meh? Are you just meh meh today? Jim Meh. That's messed up. Right, that's, that's messed up. That's meh up. Meh, meh up. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my me, god. I don't know up. if I can change my name while I'm on here. I can change it for you. I got you. What you want uh, it to be. Hey, hey, so when what I come to the gate Friday, do I just hold oh, up a sign that says I'm that spooled media guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know what this is saying. Hey, and so this is this is the thing is that uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <What>? meaners. <laughs> <laughs> There's about a hundred clips now of Happy saying that he loves that. And I'm not saying Gosh. it because I'm not getting somebody's it. Somebody's gotta somebody's gotta play the video from last week, please. Oh Tom, terrible. Tom, funny. watch this. Limpy watch must this. still have it from our chat. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, they man. did they did happy so wrong last week, but it's awesome. No, it's damn happy. dog. Did you get up early? You tired down there? Yeah. Damn it, man. We had a storm come through last night that was pretty gnarly. Fucking A it was. Any yeah, damage or y'all straight? No, we're good. Yeah, no problems. It's just it was I ain't seen lightning like that since I moved out in the country. I mean, it was damn. wild. It, it was, was a light show for sure. It was a light show. And my Damn, living man. room's got windows all the way around. So if you're you sitting in the living room, room, it's just wilding in here. You guys got storms tonight, don't you? Yeah, it's it's literally raining right now. Sprinkling. Uh, it, it is in Wichita Falls, but it's I mean it, the thunder was what was crazy like yesterday. It knocked a picture off the wall. It was thundering so hard here. Jesus. What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> it's getting after it for sure. Yeah. Huh. Who's y'all's pick to win small tires weekend? I ain't gonna get into that like I did last time. <laughs> it cost me five. It cost me five hundred dollars oh, last damn. time. I ain't gonna did get it into really? that. Did it really? Yeah, because he he we made a bet that uh I, he put he picked somebody <laughs> and I picked somebody and uh Ryan Mitchell ended up winning the deal on a set of twenty eights and I had to pay him five hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. I think one year whole deal that it wasn't going to be one somebody on 20. Oh, because because Jimmy decided to change the small tire rules to 29s and let 29s in. And I said somebody on a 28 with somebody on a 28 one, I'd give them an additional 500 bucks. And Ryan Mitchell did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you proved yourself. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, getting naked at butt naked. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love wieners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love wieners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love wieners. Yeah. Dude, I love wieners. Yeah. Of wieners. Yeah. Of wieners. Yeah. Of wieners. Yeah. Of wieners. Yeah. I will be getting naked at butt naked. I Gosh damn man. <laughs> Trevor's yeah. 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 I love wieners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Oh so. shit. Right no, when you sent that, money. right when you sent that to me, Mike, I'd found it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, that one Somebody that one's good. Chief was coming on 28s. Is he coming? Uh -huh. We heard he, he he told us he was he would be there and that was what a month ago month and a half ago Tom yeah and I haven't heard a word from him since then so we don't know I'll text well, him right now matter fact. he said I'll be there if the weather holds out for me but I see. don't know what that really means but speaking of weather how is the weather looking seventy eight perfect sunny every day this weekend shit it's fucking gorgeous it's supposed to yep. rain up and it's supposed to rain up until Wednesday Wednesday afternoon it moves out and it is gone until the following weekend so hell yep. yeah man killing it so couldn't be more blessed about that seventy eight and sunny for three days straight yep. that's awesome uh yeah Houston you don't have to worry about that everything's twenty eights now. There was a lot of politicking going on in that last little race, the one-day deal we did, and I was just trying to 
you know. Let what name should I give let Jimmy? What name? No, let the fans, let the fans, let the fans decide what name I should give. Oh, there you uh, go. Let the fans decide. DSSR Outlaws, what's up, man? All right, we're talking about little gangsters. At Yellow Belly, the gut. Dude, you head so up how was little gangsters at uh, small tower really gangsters? Happy? Shit, more than small tower. First time ever, you know, never ran it before. I put it on the internet. We were going to try it. We had 11 small tire. We had 16 little gangster cars. Man, I love that. I, I do too. <laughs> we got to start somewhere getting these guys into the small tire swing of things. I mean, I mean, that was that was my push on the live feed this weekend. I had somebody asking, I said, and y'all wonder why we run index classes. Like these racers just kind of shit on happy. It's it sucked. Well, and that's what me and Mike were having the conversation before we were rudely interrupted by Jimmy. But it's 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 the car count, Mike. I mean, as a promoter, you you're one yourself. You make money at the gate. You bring asses into the seats. If you got a hundred cars, I get on the it. Property it just and... it just kind of sucks that that's where we have to go now because it's going we're far away from where it started. The race down. We're all and that's, we'll see, and that's the, the that's the that's the issue with the whole chassis cars and small tire, and now you got these fucking rail cars coming in to run what you brung, and it's there's it's it's a mess, and all the Talk. truck guys want to hide and tailgate. Uh, that's a whole other issue. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this truck guy's gonna see you in True Street at KD. I'm still holding you to it, my boy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I'm looking for. I know. To uh. Hopefully you're gonna Wait. you're gonna stay straight this year. Oh boy! Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is like watching National Geographic. Shirt on that Happy's got on today too. Y'all are matching. <laughs> Built in Kentucky by hillbillies. Built in Kentucky by hillbillies. Yeah, I do Hell, got yeah. it. Okay. That's right. If not, well, yeah. that's breaking news. I guess ain't nobody heard that. Jason Terrell's coming to drive the Nitrous Cowboy this weekend. Ooh. I heard yeah. that he was coming. Uh, Jeff, Jeff hit me up. Jeff's uh, yeah, Jeff with him. Too. Yeah. Jeff's flying in with Jason, and uh, we, we're we going to put Jason in the uh, the Nitrous Cowboy. They couldn't bring Charlie Brown. The whole goal was to bring Charlie Brown. They didn't get it mm-hmm. done in time. So he said, dude, I'm still going to come, and I'm going to support you. And I said, well, we, we got one better for you. We're going to put you in I the think, Camaro. I think they could have had it done. It was just the fact that that laser is supposed to be delivered on Friday. And, you yes. know, when business you know, business comes before racing, we all understand that. So no hard feelings there. And then Tess is going to drive Magic, which Magic's faster than it's ever been. You know, How fast did you get is the training it? fixed? Fast enough. Did you get the huh? training fixed? Yeah, we did get the train. Yeah, that's what he's been doing all day. That's why he had to get up early is to go get the car today because the transmission yeah. guy called him and said, hey, uh, you're a jackass. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Oh, I mean, it was the shifter. The, it had melted the shifter cable 100 years ago, and I've been running it with a melted shifter cable forever. And I guess it finally just got bad enough to where it wouldn't go all the way in first gear. So I had trans brake in reverse, but I didn't have it in first gear. And it would, uh, it was hey, tell us really it first. the truth. You, know, you, 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 you forgot. You really forgot. I bet. I bet you really forgot about that, that shifter cable. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm just, <laughs> if it works, then don't touch it. It yeah. works. Yeah. And then yeah, it ends yeah. up breaking like a few years later. And you're all, hey, oh, and you know what's bad, Tom, yeah, is I just thought like we were, both of us were underneath that car and changed the trans brake solenoid and that we were staring at the cable where it was burnt in two. Like we were literally having to move the burnt cable out of our way to pull out that trans brake solenoid. And neither one of us just, just let's let it ride. It's, it's, well, yeah. it's not like we had another cable at the track to be able to try to do that. And right. I swapped the whole shifter and everything. That's the same shifter that was in the car when Corey had the car in oh, 2005. Man. I mean, that shifter doesn't know nobody a damn thing, nor does the cable owe anybody anything. It's had thousands of passes on it. And Bruce. it is weird having a brand new one in there because it's so stiff. You know, it's all brand new and crispy. And the, oh the one There's that's been in it forever is all sloppy, but oh whatever. Boy. There's some good clips right here. People are sending us clips here, and y'all are just you're talking about stiffing and floppies. Here we go. Here's right here. That's yeah, I love wieners. Come down yeah. Yeah. I love wieners. Yeah. Yeah. I love wieners. Yeah. Yeah. I love wieners. Yeah. 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 I'm glad somebody got him back. I'm glad somebody finally got him back. 
<laughs> yeah. My You're muted. The truck. I always get something here. <laughs> Street's track. avoiding it. I just did a tour of the track for everybody that's never seen Decker Boys and showed them all the shut down that's supposedly not there and all that stuff. That's all I did for my truck. Hell yeah. How fast is Mike's truck? I, I heard it's been like 550s. <laughs> Who, me? Oh, damn. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah, you. My shit ain't been 550s. Oh, really? It did that one time you jumped. Yeah, that one time I jumped, maybe. All right. Don't That's worry. You got, you got plenty of Fox body to beat my little old shop truck. That's the truth. You ain't never lie. <laughs> Old small block nitrous deal. Get hey, it done. Tom, Rody just texted me and said, "What's the buy-in for little gangsters?" I think the, it should be two fifty because I'm not talking about twenty thousand. Well, I'm not small talk gangsters. It's two hundred. It's already been promoted as that. I'm talking about for the other deal we were talking about earlier. Two hundred's fine. Just keep running with two hundred. Okay. Simple, simple money is simple. You ain't got to make change. It's just bad. yeah. The fifty does make it more of a headache. <clears throat> oh yeah, fifty yes. always fucks it up. It does. Yeah, so just two hundred. Keep it at two hundred. I, I like the even number because when you do two twenty five or this and that, it just comp over complicates the shit out of everything. What is the camper situation for Thursday to Sunday? Don't be trying to park your camper in the front of the fucking parking lot. I'll be on Correct. your ass, boy. We're not charging. We're not charging to camp. We're just charging for the bands for your entry, but. Do not park your camper in the racer spots. Take that shit all the way to the very back. I mean, take yeah, it as far back as you possibly can. Last year we charged seventy five for camping. This year there's no more seventy five charged for camping. So we're doing some. You know, we're making some changes, trying to make it better. Trying, but don't pull your camper in there and fuck a bunch of shit up. Right. Don't like pull if your you, damn if, camper yeah, in there don't, and take up a spot that a racer should be yeah, in. Yeah, or a side swap everybody. Or long or ways. In the back as possible. Yeah. Watch or the guardrails pulling in. Yeah, swap yeah, side swap to everybody. Rail. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I took the last time side me and Poland were there. The, the last time me and Poland were there, the EMS come walking up to me in Poland, and they said, uh, you, boys, you boys pull us out of the mud. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> they had stuck the ambulance off in the dirt and were just spinning the tire. So I was like, shit. yeah, okay, sure. Free rides to the starting line from your camper <laughs> to the starting line of Poland Slap for $20. Yeah, sure, deal. No, <laughs> no. Absolutely. Hey, matter of fact, Jimmy Dale has plenty of experience in the old wheelchair here. Sign him up. He's he said he's in. He's done. I'll let him borrow. My it. wheelchair won't be there. My wheelchair won't be there. I'm bringing it. No, I'm bringing it. I'll be sure to get it tomorrow. You're good. Don't worry about it. I got you. You're tripping. You're tripping. Just imagine the content that could make. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, think about the content you could get from that. I'm just gonna be sitting there yelling. I don't care if you're built by like <laughs> Bill Goldberg. You ain't beating this man in a wheelchair race. That's there ain't nobody enough. gonna show up that can beat Michael Poland in a wheelchair race. Nobody. Damn. I don't care how strong you are, upper body strength, whatever you got. Sorry, it ain't going to happen. Man, who were you just talking to this weekend, Happy? It said you wanted to get Poland and him at a, at a wheelchair race. Yeah, it's probably Jonathan. Wheels. No, no, it's another guy. Um, oh. Crazy Legs. He's a local dude to me, and he's yeah. he's pretty badass too, man. I think y'all got to realize, though, that you got to put some – physics into this and my arms are probably a foot longer than anybody else in a wheelchair Shut the fuck yeah. up. it don't have shit to do with them long ass arms it's the fact that you got an eighteen thousand dollar pro mod wheelchair it ain't nobody else in the country got no fucking pro mod wheelchair that fucking weighs five kicker. pounds Straight okay up, camera, damn chassis car fucking chassis in, in wheelchair wheelchair. i knew it jimmy dale's been 489 in magic yeah, right. <laughs> Jimmy Doe's been 489. Just letting y'all know. Yep, at 157. <laughs> Damn it, man. Yep. Dude, to be able to pay $20,000 for a little gangster's class, that would be fucking huge. Like, that's Well, see, and that's awesome. the thing is, last year we had 5000 on top, and I don't remember how many cars there were. I can't remember, but it was 16000 to win. And this year we've got we've added twenty five hundred to it, so we got seventy five hundred on top. And uh, 
I think it, awesome. I think it's going to be pretty close. I mean, but on That's top huge. of that, you get <clears throat> relationships with Strange Engineering. You're going to work with Strange. They're going to get you your own hot boy brakes for your race car when you win Little Gangsters. You're going to work with Isky to have your own cam kit built for your next combo whenever that time comes. You're going to get uh, rear rear shocks from Jeff. You know, spec for your combo. You're going to open so many doors within the industry when you win Little Gangsters. That it's not just boom twenty k. The twenty k comes and goes. You know your wife's gonna fuck half that off. But companies yeah. like Strange, bro, Strange has stood up this year. Strange yep. has stood up and said, you know what? We believe in no prep, and they could be chasing Stevie Fast. Let's talk about something spicy here. They could be chasing Stevie Fast. They could be chasing Top Fuel. This out of the other. They said, no, let's let's go hang out with them grassroots dudes. You see, you see, Strange Engineering on the corner that spooled media coverage. I see. Yep. Him. <laughs> I see. But, uh, well, I mean, That's they they the they race. see the. Words. I yeah. mean, they see where everybody's headed to to go drag racing too. They they're yeah. not done, you know. No, nope. we had a conversation. We had a conversation with Jake at PRI with their kind of their reasoning and stuff behind it, and it made logical sense. I mean, he, they're on the right path. Yep. I'm excited. They're redoing their shocks this year, and I can't talk too much more about that, but. They're going to be redoing their shock stuff this year, and I'm excited to see what Strange can offer in the shock game because you know they have the ability of making badass shit. Sure. It's just let's get it to be on the level of a Viking or a Mincer. Like, let's get it up on par. You know, right now, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you, it's not on par <laughs> with the other, you know, the other companies. So right. let's get that part figured out. And if we're going to redesign it, let's make it fucking badass, you know? I, I don't think we bit. we don't need four way or three way adjustable, you know, for no prep guys. We don't need four way and three way. I don't think, but right. I dare you to show up with an electric wheelchair. I I dare you to. Like, can you can you Tesla slop a wheelchair? They they're gonna have to. <laughs> I'll run that go kart right over your bitch ass. Oh. <laughs> yep. Damn it, man. Yeah. What's my name? I like Poland wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we came up with. That's the best That's chat the, could come up with. That's the best we could come up with. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> I was pulling this up. So the small, the little gangsters will get a small tire gangsters chain. The money, strange engineering, hot boy breaks, Isky cam kit from Nolan himself, rear shocks from Jeff Thomas, uh, custom labels, uh, nitrous express bottle, and ten soldiers and pro charger swag packs. That's little yeah, gangsters. Yeah. yeah, that's little gangsters. Used to turn that bitch down to a five thirty. Tell them what small tire wins. <laughs> small tire will be ten thousand on top. A custom wrap for your entire car for, from BSG wraps. Uh, strange hot boy breaks. Isky cam. Shit, Not I gotta find bottle it. Chain. Not your chantress bottle chain. Swag Ten pack. Soldier swag pack. And then Pro we got soldier. something interesting. Since we're running it off of Pro Tree, 400 Pro Tree, the whole event will be 400 Pro Tree. Since we're doing that, it, it opens up an interesting way to do things. The person who wins their race but has the worst reaction time will win a quick draw trigger. Everybody saw the quick draw this year at PRI. I think everybody saw that. Yep. So that'll be a cool way, you know, for them to be involved. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, what else? Taco Lady will be there three days straight. Will everybody be getting tickets, being that it's ran off the tree? Mm, uh, probably a printout. <laughs> Most likely a printout after, like, Little gangsters, you're probably going to get a printout. Small. So what, we, so what we've done in the past is that no classes get a, a time slip. Um, we, I, do, I get a printout after the round of the indexes just to verify that every, you know everything was correct. If anybody has any issues, I can show them. Have, you know, proof. Here's your proof. Um, gotcha. That's the way we've done it in the past. Willie no contest. wheelie contest this year. I talked to Dakota about that. Who won it last year? I told him, "Hey, no wheelie contest this year." Well, and, and matter of fact, to win little gangsters, not do wheelies. Matter of fact, uh, on tilt racing productions hit me up just a little bit ago. He's doing five hundred on the wheelie contest. On top of the five hundred that he sponsored, we're good. 
All right, never mind. Wheelie contest. Go breaking news. Breaking news, guys. Breaking news. news. <laughs> Chuck is wilding. Chuck's yeah. gonna be out there cleaning it up when we have an oil down from a big <laughs> oil. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. <laughs> Oh shit, man. Uh, shit. Nah, if you do a big wheelie, you probably just missed your tune up. I don't think a lot of people are out there like I'm just gonna drag the back bumper and they're definitely out there, but not all of them. They, of course, Houston, I'm gonna put some wheels on my bumper. Oh shit. <laughs> you need to put some wheels on the side of your car after last weekend. Oh, oh. oh. wow. Ooh, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> savage. That was cold blooded. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, what was homeboy's name that did the? Hold on, we're gonna. I'm about to Google it. Oh boy. I love Houston. Thank you so much for making the trip, Houston. I appreciate the hell oh, out of that. Oh, big shout out to KOTV Motorsports for driving my ass down to Texas this weekend. Oh, when are y'all leaving? Tomorrow. Hey, Houston's yeah. new name is Ross Chastain. That's the dude in NASCAR oh, that ran into the wall and looked around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. We're calling now, we're going to... Hey, hey, I will say this. He hasn't topped our other buddy, Jamie, at that track that rode a wheelie, came down, hit the jersey barrier, went all four wheels off the ground, climbed the jersey barrier, landed back on all four, and then hit the gas and tried to win the race. Did y'all see the did y'all see the video from down in uh, Edinburgh? The dude in True Street oh, that shit. literally ramped himself onto his li- onto his roof? Yeah, yeah, bad. And they let that car burn that. to the ground. <laughs> Why'd they let it burn to the ground? <laughs> no fire extinguishers? There, no nothing. Just that bitch burnt to the ground. What's rapid transit bitching about? Should I ban Jimmy? What's what's he bitching about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's a mod on my uh, YouTube channel. He's a mod. Oh, he's the mod. Uh, yeah, he's just a joke. He's just joking. Hey, y'all come over to Jimmy Dale Racing YouTube channel and Red Eye Patriot will lock your ass up in a heartbeat. I told Limpy, I want Limpy to have a good time, bro. Yep. That's what my main focus is. Have a good time. I hope Pat McCrotch shows up. I hope Limpy is on an all-time mm-hmm. high of Limpy Boy. Hey. Just so what you called me about earlier, it's ordered and it'll be here Thursday morning. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that Pat McCrotch does make it to small tire gangsters. Oh shit. Could you who imagine else would Pat- you rather see live interviews in the pits from other than Pat McCrotch on spooled media or on <laughs> Limpy's live feed? You know what I mean? Wouldn't you love to see Pat McCrotch live at Small Tire Gangsters? Fuck. That's awesome. Talking to the tree and shit, you know? Well, I got like zoom to too. Talk to I might be in one yeah. spot, but I can zoom in on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. Actually, I need Pat McCrodge to have an interview with the tree about uh you know, uh normally we charge a pretty good amount of money to do this job. I don't know why you're undercutting me over here doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man. Oh shit. Can we get some commentating on the Spooled Media live feed? Hell yeah, man. I'll be over there with them. I've actually I'm got sure. every way that's going to be set up. Everybody can talk to it. Yeah, how many cameras are you going to have? Just one. Uh, well, I'm going to have think, I think I learned everybody about multiple angles at, at yeah. Yellow Belly. But no, no. Yeah, I, this shit got stolen. Ask, ask Poland. I have spent some money on some cool shit for this. He's got to, Corey got a good setup coming. I'm not even going to lie. Well, how is one camera going to be a great setup? I'm gonna have because to have I can zoom the whole stuff. way down, huh? Man, I yeah. could do. I got that zoom. <laughs> oh, Limpy, you gonna run? How many cameras are you gonna have, Limpy? One. I mean, I, I've got, I got, I got two, but I can do, I can do it on my phone. I can, I'm gonna be one of them cell phone media people, but I can do two angles. I could do interviews from the pits while somebody's in the uh, staging lines. That'd be great. Yeah, or or yeah, actually yeah. staging lanes, or I could be in the staging lanes and somebody could be filming the race and they can just bring bring your scooter, hey. Limpy. Oh, uh, it's fucking don't work. It fucking broke. Uh, oh, I could be fuck. down I could be dude, down that, in the uh dude, that scooter I could be down in the uh, has been down since. I could be down at the return road after the race and get <clears throat> interviews from the like, like that would be so NHRA. awesome. <laughs> That'd be that so would awesome. Be so cool. Pat McCrack on the big end. Hey, people are all trying to drive back to their pit, and you got Limpy out in the middle of the road with a microphone. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm going to need your wheelchair, man, or your, your backup wheelchair. 
I was gonna say we probably have a golf cart we could bring. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I got my scooter, and then Limpy's scooter just disappeared. He don't want that. I, I think the only thing that I can think of that's not working is that that big old box that converts it from 12 volt to whatever it is to for a uh, 50 52 volt. Damn, Dalton, no. <laughs> I'm not foot racing anybody. I ain't built for foot racing. I'll give you the hit, the back tire, and the clear. <laughs> You'll still win. Hey, don't win. <laughs> I'll bet against we, myself. <laughs> I want to know who's going to be dumb enough to run Lamont this year. Not me. Absolutely somebody will, not me. Somebody will be. Oh, yeah. It'll be some my guy boy, that thinks he's got it. My boy Snoop anymore. got Lamont covered, but Snoop always doctoring an injury now. You know, mm-hmm. he ain't as good as he once was. Well, and I've seen on Facebook, Snoop told uh, Lamont they could get it, but I think it was supposed to be a 1,000 or more. Really? Yeah. Wow. No, yeah, bro, Snoop they about Snoop, race heavy down here. Snoop, Snoop about that life. I think food, Snoop's at the age where he's like, if I'm going to make these legs work, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you some money. Damn, I like it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's the truth. I would have a time. I don't even know what this dude talk about. I'll, oh, wait. I can't say it. Never mind. I, I, I mean, what are, we supposed to, what are we supposed to do? Pay somebody $40 an hour to stand down there with the camera? Chris, to watch will. A camera? Chris, Chris will do it for 20 you can have that argue. You can you can talk to to. to I will give you the security. I had number. people. I had people down there watching mine, but after a while, they got tired and they left. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I just I'm, I I can't bring that much shit anyway. So I've got I've got everything down into one case. There you go. You could always put it in the trunk of uh, Houston's car. I'm doing anything for five dollars right now. Dude, I gotta I, turn I'm, the background off. Hold I'm on. telling you right now, when I'm riding with Houston, I'm I'm looking back to make sure the trailer door ain't flung open and all my shit's going out. <laughs> Why'd you turn the background off? That shit was cool. He's got to show his phone. We can't read that. Just tell us what it says. Hold up. Put, put it back up there. I got you now. It's not it's looking not great. It's not looking great. Big chief. Yeah. Shocker. Not surprised. <laughs> well, I, I was guess holding it's... my breath, so <gasps> glad I can finally take a breath. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> it's not looking good. Is a great way of saying no. Nah, oh, that's the time you didn't go down there, Matt. That's the one time that uh, you didn't go down there. I had somebody down yeah. there. I had Joseph running the lap feed, I think. I, I think need to Joseph probably there. stole it. And then try to sell it to Rob. No, no, it was the dude that's down there. That because they sold they they stole my camera and my tripod. They left my fucking and my Jackery box. They left my fucking HDMI deal down there. I was like, Whew. okay. I mean, even though it was a hot hot dollar camera and shit like that, but that fucking them uh, wireless HDMI dies are aren't cheap. And then yeah. the city got it back for you. <clears throat> Yeah, Houston. Houston has learned his lesson about leaving coolers in the back of your truck in Texas. <laughs> oh, that's oh, bro. That's the first thing people look for. That's like, hey, let's go cooler hopping. It's a real thing. A cooler hopping in Texas is a real thing, and they're gonna go get every back of every truck they can find. And if you got beer in it, yep, it's gone. Look, Sorry, when I was a kid, they took school. the whole cooler and everything. Oh yeah, that's uh, bro. Oh, with, like when we were in high school. When we were in high school, we used to drive around and we would literally go hit. We'd drive down certain blocks because we knew the alcoholics in our little hometown, and we would just go open their cooler. But oh yeah, take the whole cooler and take off. Oh, in high school, we would go to NASCAR, and there'd always be somebody. Well, let's get some beer. You know, we can get some beer from so and so. No, bro, I ain't buying no damn beer. Yeah. I'm going to NASCAR, bro. I just walk by until I see a cooler and just got me one. You know. Just keep it moving. Oh, dude, yeah. that's that's how I've got everything. Like it goes into the hotel with me. I no matter Jimmy what. <laughs> 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 well, no, not sure. It is another Jimmy. Another yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, TX two K. They took. They got into the back of his truck. Took his cooler and the and the floor jack. Y'all Those are a TX2K? bunch of mouth breathers, though. Oh, is NASCAR here this weekend? NASCAR's here this weekend. Fuck. Nobody cares. Dude, Poland. I mean, I didn't know. I I haven't been. I've never been, and I don't care to go ever. Yeah. So Limpy can sing. 
It used to be a good party, but I think all those people died by now. See, baby. Hey, I had a vendor tell me. What's he doing? <laughs> uh, look up. Is he is watching you... Kenzie bend over or what? <laughs> watching her try and reach down there and grab him. He's a fucking, he's a lard ass, man. He's a oh, handful. Oh, oh look what at a that. cutie. Oh, yo, kill. He, he's badass, man. Hey, what are you charging oh vendors for your race, Happy? Let's hear it. Let's hear what we charge vendors. Let's, I want to hear what the general consensus is on vendor charging. Uh, For butt naked, I'm changing it around. And I'm going to start doing 10% and just on a buddy system. If they, um, my that's 10% how Jeff, of sales. Yep. That's how Jeff does Warren Woods. <laughs> Jimmy and, ain't about that life. He's looking for guaranteed payout. Oh, shit. I, I, just, I this. just don't trust people on the buddy system. <laughs> I don't either. I'm on the buddy system. What are you talking like, about? I don't either, but I would rather. I mean, there's a lot of guys coming in that probably there's like a turbo company. He probably ain't going to sell any turbos. And for me to charge him three hundred bucks or something to come in there and set up, I'd like, say eh. between two fifty and five hundred is fair. That's usually the going rate. Yeah, if you ain't got five hundred dollars, stay your ass at home, man. Go to NASCAR. I just ask them how much money they got. That's how you do it. <laughs> five dollars <laughs> zero sold. You dream up. <laughs> you know the people with the food's gonna make a killing. You know, for yeah. whoever oh, yeah. set up as a vendor with food, barbecue, taco lady, I mean, all them people, I mean, they're, they're going to I mean, Barrett would kill me if I told you his numbers, which I won't, but bro, there's times if the sun's out and like, I mean, if hey. it's brutally sunny, Barrett will Some big ass. Hey, it don't, you can kick Barrett off the property this weekend if he ain't bringing me my spool media hats. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's already got them done. <laughs> you got spool media big I've hats been coming? No, I've been on his ass now for two years. Like, I've been waiting for hats to show up at my door for two years. Hey, squeaky wheel gets the grease, bro. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. And you might as well start squeaking right now while you can still make them in time. (laughs) I'm calling Barrett right now. We're going to put him on the spot. No, no. Hey, I got on him and Mikey's live feed last night. And I said, look at these two guys. And he was like, oh, I better have them hats this weekend at Yellow Belly. (laughs) I'm going to give him shit. Hey, I got a question. About them okay. spooled media well, hats. Well, media said that uh, you're not allowed at Yellow Belly this weekend if he ain't got no hat. I'm working on it. He said he's working on it. <laughs> you're on the live feed right now, by the way. So, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I still got some for his old big ass head. He said he got gotta it your big them, ass head. Got to have them two yeah. XLs. Yeah, he said two XL at least <laughs> minimum. Yeah. So if y'all need right. eight. If y'all need some, hey Barrett, are we coming to start line? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fire one up. Hey, that man sounded like he was dead sleeping. He had oh. no interest in any of that. <laughs> <laughs> he probably sunburnt from the eclipse yesterday. He was playing good husband. He, he was out there getting a picnic going on for the eclipse. And Dude, that. I shit you not. I shit you not. Shit. By the time it was fucking going off, we and old lady, and we're at Chili's. By the time it got dark as fuck, I looked in there. Me, the old lady, and Clint was the only ones in that motherfucker's place. <laughs> and I'm like, where's everybody at? And everybody's all, put your phone, this shit. And I'm like, fuck this shit. We could fuck our walker tab right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real. I got put really head on that guy. Damn welding goggles on. So here, son. I'm going to tell you, you got dark in this class. room real quick. Nah, they well, the right? Hell yeah. Corey's ready for Texas. Look at Corey ready for Texas. Except for the beard. That, that, that's going to probably lose about the time I get up in the morning. Oh, boy. You know what? You're going to shave the beard off? Possibly. You know, we people we call people that, that, wear, that look like transplants down here, we call them rope suckers. <laughs> we do? Transplants. We do? Uh, yeah, don't don't Glory look like a rope sucker with that hat on? <laughs> oh, boy, I ain't never heard rope sucker. Dude, I had that life, shit on over my say? hat and my uh, headset. A rope sucker is one of them. Uh, I've uh, heard a yeah. lot of names, but but the rope sucker is definitely I know, not. What the? You got a model agency over there? Like, is I this think, the second? Uh, is this the second on, version of Roadback Mackle Mountain? <laughs> what do we got going on, dude? I, can, I dude, I, I have stock in these hats. <laughs> If I, if a vendor has one of those that race, I buy it. No matter what. When is, when is FL2K? Dude. Uh, February. That's October. 
No, it's in I, October. February. Right, be, right before November. I had a good time at Texas 2K. I, I could see myself going to FL 2K. You should go. Really? That's good. I could it's see myself time. going to that. I hey, you know what? Texas 2K. I, I've been to like like 10 Texas 2Ks, and I don't think I've ever been to the track. Not one time. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. I didn't yeah. see you one time that week. <laughs> I didn't see you at the track one time. I mean, I mean, in the last streets? ten years, I've, I've never, I've never been to the track at any of the Texas two Ks ever. Now, I'm so allergic to police that I wasn't even thinking about going to see you on your home turf either. <laughs> I was not about that. Absolutely. Do they do any streets in Florida for FL two K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, do. Have, uh, how, where is it at? Uh, it's at Bradington. They do it at Bradington. Is that and that's the one that's close is like an hour from you or something like that? Yeah, it's from the further north from where I was. I got you. But it I'm gonna try halfway to go between down there. where I went and your and where you went, right? Where I went yeah, Sunday. Yeah, it's and... like it's like an hour and twenty minutes from where you were staying north. I'll go oh, pro okay. charger if we need to too. I mean like right hey, up seventy five there. <laughs> yeah, I got nitrous, some of those. You got nitrous express ones? I need to get on their ass about that. We ain't even got Nitrous Express flat bill hats, bro. Don't even talk about any other. That's Nitrous a good Express thing. Products until we got Dude, flat bill hats hat. suck. Oh, I, hush. And you know what? Uh, with my headlamp, with my headlamp and them them big big hats, they fucking been fucking killing me with that big box on the back of my head. So I've been swearing snapback, snapback. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, 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 of it. And, flat it, and, and man, it just hey, it's fucking perfect. Every time Tom walks in the office, he's like. See my new hat? Yep. Be a lot better if y'all made these. Like he he makes it a point every time he's at Nitrous Express. It's like y'all don't got flat bills and y'all ain't shit. Hey, hey, if it right. ain't bent bill, it ain't worth a shit, dude. You nah. look like you're playing third base line for a Pee Wee baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> T ball. T ball. Come on. Dude, I can't wear <laughs> dude, dude, I can't wear a flat bill. Love you. We know. I go. I I just <laughs> I prefer a flat bill because it's it's flat. Well, with the hat, I if I'm just wearing a regular hat, I don't give a shit. But if I got my headlamp underneath there, I prefer it to be flat. Hey, a flat bill will take about five years off of any of you crusty looking motherfuckers. Me, not me. Dude. No, no, look know. at all this chrome that I got. It ain't going to do shit for me. I look better with a flat bill. Trust me. I know. Tell them. Hey, me. Tom. I didn't even tell you. You know what we are ordering though? What? Sick ass sunglasses. Hell yeah! Sick ass sunglasses. See, I can't, I can't live that flat bill life. You could it's rock not it. Even flat, even <laughs> that is bend, dude. Because I look, tried to bend flat right there. You, you know? look like you're fixing. <laughs> you look like you're fixing to go to a Limp Biscuit concert in the early 2000s. You rock it, bro. Dude, you know what? That looked like a straight. That's flat as bill as the West Virginia you can get right there. <laughs> that motherfucker is like this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I tried to everything to bend this bitch. It will not bend. I hate it. Well, you're putting your thumbs on the middle and then bending it, and you're leaving the crease in the middle there. I roll. Oh no, I was the, doing that just pushing it off. My... Roll from the end up, end up, and that'll. Oh, that'll Cali style. Yeah. yeah. Where you got a little flip on it. What's oh, north Lord. versus south? They said I should be at north versus south. When is that? That's my in February in Where... Florida. Remember, I invited oh, you. Up, you said you Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show. Well, I get hey, about this it? shit all the time, but yeah, I'm broke, bro. I can't afford. I can't afford. Tom, it. that was your Tom, response it was, to me. I'm broke. It was. It was February. It was in February, <laughs> and I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it was right after you had your uh, facial reconstruction. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, baseball size, softball size, Chris. Damn. Yeah. Uh, we got a. We got a. Uh, uh, a uh, fan submission. Oh uh -oh. lord. Uh I don't know if it's gonna Oh boy. What is yeah. this? Are you gonna film our candy video doll? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh -oh. that app. Welcome <laughs> 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 spiders, man. What are you cooking right now? <laughs> Are you really scared of a film? Something on your head! Oh. Hey, oh, you ready? This is a video. Ah! What the? <laughs> <laughs> hey, go. What the? Bro, what do you mean? No, bro, no, bro, I'm not going to 
Oh my god. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Say cheese! 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 Oh! Jeez! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh my, oh my god. god! People oh, fucking whack the shit out of themselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. Wait, we lost delayed. Jimmy. We done lost Jimmy. Devices unconnected. I don't know what he... His phone probably died because that man doesn't do life at all. He don't know. Are you hitting him? Were we hitting each other? We're, we're... <laughs> Me and Limpy's on that same time frame when it comes to clicking shit. Hey, <laughs> the fact... The fact that Jimmy Dale, I gotta turn the background off. Hold on. Look at the shit. Drag Illustrator. Put me on the what big screen, it? whoever. The fact that Drag Illustrated is make you probably can't see. I can't see it. Well, get, Hold up. uh scroll down. <clears throat> Look who shared it. The yeah, tech, I know. Uh, the tech man. <laughs> what happened? West Buck Drag Illustrated 50 minutes ago said Tom Gunner, aka Jimmy Dale, joins tomorrow the West Buck show as co host. Tune in for Facebook and YouTube at 2 p.m. Central. Can't miss this episode. And it's you and West Buck in like a dude. I'm bombing the group chat for that. Hold up, play. hold up. I'm gonna send it to you. Let me here. Hold on. So you can just show it because you can't see shit on that. I I'm Jimmy Dale's big time now. Dude, I messaged West the other day, said, Hey man, I'm coming to Texas. You gonna be at this race? Nah, I'll be out of town. I'm like, what the hell? We Where's talked he him into it. Where's he from originally? He lives uh, close to Dallas or some shit. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Yeah, oh, he's shit. Yeah, yeah, he's I just, know just west of you, Limpy. Just west of you. He's your oh, people, Limpy. He's Dallas. Oh, oh, oh he ain't Dallas. He, he no, might no. be Dallas. He's Fort Worth. Uh, hey, Tom and Tom and hey, y'all back me on this. If you're from Dallas, if you're from DFW. Or if you're from Fort Worth, are you from Dallas or are you from Fort Worth? Fort Worth. Yeah. And you get a, you get offended if you're from Dallas. Yeah. We got told Limpy puts the D in DFW. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's a good look. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Shit. That's great. Hell Why yeah. do I have a coffee in my hand? Because that's what you that's all you drink. I mean, I drink some coffee. It's like you're gangster, but you're hipster at the same time. Yeah. It's a little too hip. Looks pretty hip. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact, what I'm saying is the fact Drag Illustrated's posting that when they're all professional and this and that, and then they just like, oh, hey, here's Jimmy Dale. Have fun. Oh, boy. This poor guy. I met Les before there was any Jimmy Dale stuff, though. So you got to think, like, when I met Wes, it was more organic. It wasn't just like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I want to meet you. I want to be blah, 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 blah. It was like, hey, man. I got this race car. You're going to be at the racetrack that weekend. I've got two race cars. I'll put you in the damn car, bro. You want to drive a race car? Like, come on. And I told him, I said, hey, I'm totally cool with you saying no. You can tell me no. It ain't going to hurt my feelings. If it's no, it wasn't meant to be, right? And uh, he said, fuck it. Come on. Let's go. And so he drove magic. He went 550s. That's all it goes. Five fifty at, at one fifty seven. At one fifty seven. Yep. That's fast. It's getting it. I, I one eighty five to sixty. I, I really can't wait to get Wes and them to like a grimy OG real real deal no prep shit. Because I want to see how Wes so is going to act. Get, I'm pushing so hard right now to get Racers Club at War in the Woods, Racers Club at your race. Because Racers Club is the merch line for, you know, Drag <laughs> Illustrated. It's supposed to be the Fighters Club of UFC. You know, Fighters Club was all hot, was, for the douchebags. But, you know, we don't we don't really have, like, a, a drag racing well, merch line, so to speak. Well, here, here, here's the one thing they got to do before they come to my race. They got to make 4XL shirts. I've been on Wes's ass since he released them. I was like, there's no 4XL option, man. Five. I'm fat. Come on. <laughs> hey, I, I just quit making 5XL shirts this week. 
<laughs> no more five X, no more six X. I mean, you got to think about like this. Sorry. You should make Ford, Ford and bigger Sorry. because Sorry, two Wimby, reasons. Two reasons. We're walking billboards. That's a fact. And two, we, you shouldn't charge us as much because we're we're the best advertisement. You don't see nothing like when somebody's got a smile on. You can't read that small print, but can you read the print on a four to six XL? Yes, you can. <laughs> I mean, you could look at something that is small that <laughs> looks good, and and you could really see it. I don't yeah, know. I've dude. had I've had sponsors that reached out and sent me merch, and I was paid, but it's like a, they're like, "You're a rolling billboard, dude. Here you go." Like same thing. You make a better door than you do a window. Yeah. I mean, boo boo, drive us, <laughs> break, break us, us. <laughs> D boo. I mean, I, that's my thing. Like nobody makes two XL hats. Why? Come on, it's bigger print. He knows. More he advertisement. Knows. God knows. Except for Chris. Two <laughs> X hats. No, I don't. Shit, do, I, I don't sold do hats that. at all. Some guy from Australia just bought a five X hoodie yesterday. You want to know how much that bitch was to ship? Woo. Yeah, yeah, hundred bucks, hundred and eighty-two dollars. Yep. Hey, is that mill? Uh, is that is that liters too? Milliliters. He, he paid it. Yeah, fuck, he paid it. So he got two hundred dollars for a fucking. He want. He had two hundred dollars for a fucking hoodie. He paid two hundred dollars for a hoodie. Yeah. Yes, sir. He sure That's did, insane, bro. That's insane. <laughs> Tom had Jimmy Dale had one of those, and the dude was like, "Yeah, I don't want to pay the shipping." And he said, "Well, I'm not shipping it, so <laughs> here's your refund, buddy. Take off." No, right. I had I had people who did pay the shipping. That's what it was. They had uh, paid the shipping, and then I went to take the merch to the USPS, and they slid me that customs thing across the board, you know, across the table, and they said, "Do we need you to fill this out?" I said, "Okokay," and they said, "For every order." I said. <laughs> Hell no. I went back home. I refunded everybody their money because I live out here so far in the sticks. We don't have UPS. I had this dude the other day. He said, do not send my order USPS, bro. All the stuff on Jimmy Dell Racing is free shipping. He said, do not send my stuff USPS. You must send it UPS or I won't get it. Refund. Boom. Refund. Refund. Refund this dude. Dude, I'm doing that. With the way you Jimmy Dale celebrity. Been, holy shit. <laughs> Dude, what? Dude, USPS shipping has been pure shit here recently. What are you talking about? I got like a 99% success. Rate. No, no, it's not. Doing. No, no, no. It's fine with you. It's after it leaves your hands. Hell, I've ordered shit here recently that is literally two hours from my house. I see it in five to six days. Yep. Hey, did you get it though? <laughs> it shows up to the it? hub. It sits there for about four days, and I'm like, "What the hell?" Yeah, they're hey, trying Mike, to find Mike. You can be a celebrity too. You just got to get on YouTube and play jackass every now and then. You know? Fuck that! I, I got to go and hug Billy's nuts for a bit, and then I can be a celebrity too. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. Say that do. again. Say that again. <laughs> 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 S Tim, yeah, that, that got, motor ain't never gonna be back get fixed because fucking your boy down there done heard you talking about Billy now. And he's fucking no, I got Terry, car. I got Terry loving on Billy, not me. That's not for no, me. No, that no, ain't my life. He's talking about he, you talking about Terry's gonna be mad at you. He ain't gonna do it now. No. Who's Terry? His boy. Terry's my buddy, my boy. <laughs> Bye, carrier pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No, your videos are entertaining, Jimmy. You do a good job. I'm gonna tell you, and and you can Thanks, pull this buddy. off because it's your type of YouTube, Jimmy. Just for one order, somebody orders something, you, you don't ship it, just hand deliver it. <laughs> that will make content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then tell them I really had a hard time with my shipping, so I'm just, it's taken me a while because I hand deliver every minute. <laughs> hand deliver <laughs> every shirt. <laughs> I hand deliver every single just one. Just hold on, wait. <laughs> We will make it to your part of the country at some point. It'll get there. I promise you. Just don't know it when. It take a year or two, but we will make it. Everybody yeah. that's ordering close to Carolina, meet at Shadyside on March. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. There's a Jimmy Dell box outside the gate. Yes. <laughs> take a number. Uh, yep. It's numbered. It's numbered from 1 to 26. Find your number. <laughs> How much money's on top at Shadyside for little gangsters? Or how much uh, were we racing for, little gangsters? 
I'm supposed to have the full thing hopefully by the morning. See, here's the problem when it comes to shady side. I love Seth to death, but it's like I called him. I'm like, hey, I need this finalized. I've got everything done. I just need your. All right, I'm going to check with it tomorrow. Well, tomorrow (laughs) might be hopefully by this Friday. Is that oh, a, is that man, is that a Kentucky brutal. is that is that like is a that, Kentucky fifteen minutes? Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. He, he he he's pulling in the lot. <laughs> I mean, you could, Corey. It could be like a like Jimmy Dale does. He like asked me, "Hey, are we good to post this?" Or we're like, "Hold on, I'm waiting on confirmation on this." Like, give me just a little bit, and then I get a oh. notification and it says Jimmy Dale racing <laughs> posted, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Like. <laughs> You don't wait. It was on my mind at that moment. That's why I posted it. So what Watch are you it. planning on paying for Luke? Hold up, Angel? hold up. I'm calling him right now. Hey, go put him on the live. We put him on the what spot. What are you planning on paying? What's the idea? He said, hold on. He said, fuck y'all. I already know what's up. He's raising his mic up like he's muting it, but that man don't mute shit. Yeah. <laughs> They've learned nothing from me. <laughs> 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 Tom, did you not see that? Did you not? So check this out. So Steve gets on here, Kraken gets on here, and he's explaining the whole deal with Hadley and his daughter and all that, right? Uh-huh. And all you can hear while this man is in like the most important part of the story is Corey up here has his microphone on, and all you can hear him is pissing in a toilet. <laughs> no. It was that, fucking brutal. That man. video is somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like looking at the phone. I'm like. <laughs> Who in the fuck's pissing? Is he fucking Lippy, pissing? Fucking Lippy Trevor's says fucking, it Trevor's Trevor. fucking losing his shit. So Seth, so Seth said he'll call me back tomorrow to confirm. Yeah, heard that before, Seth. <laughs> Dude, this is my life. <laughs> so what are you trying to pay for your little gangsters at your race? I'd like to see at least a thousand on top. Oh, that's not at least. Sexy. That's at least. not even that sexy. Well, you're running for fifty grand. Yeah, you know I am in it for fifty grand, but I'm more focused on that, on that thousand on top. You know what I mean? Let's talk about <laughs> shit. I got a chance of winning here, all right? Well, it's like I said. Was it two hundred a car? I get thousand on top. Hey, look, I'm thinking, dude. I've had easily sixty, seventy people message me about running that class. Bro, that's it's one of the hottest classes in the whole country right now. So it could end up being a pretty good pot, and then again, you could probably get some good draws and. I'm gonna put it this way: if if Jimmy wins the fifty grand, I'm quitting promoting. I'm done. <laughs> bro, if Jimmy wins the fifty grand, bro. We're going straight to Disney World. All everybody <laughs> on the table's going to Disney World. Any of my homies, we're gonna fuck off Perfect. ten grand going bro, to Disney I, World. Immediately. I, Corey, just be prepared. This man wins. Just pan the camera to me, and I'm gonna be like in the Super Bowl. Dude, we're going to Disney. Dude, I'm, World. T- I'm telling you, the shit he told, like. <laughs> He is 100% dead set. He's working on the menu for it. Like, whoever wins, he's talking about the winner's crew. As soon as we're done with the race, he's going to cook them, like, tomahawk steaks and shit. And, uh, who? Who? Beth. Who? Like, if you win, like, he's going to cook you dinner afterwards. Like, he's going to have a grill out there, all this who shit is? for the crew. Seth, the track Owner of the track. Oh. Like, he's not like, the guy that goes out first round and drives all the way across the country. Fuck him, huh? I mean, I'll buy you a bologna burger. No. Okay. That's just fire. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was that? What, what? Where, where, where he was peeing. I'm about How about to the guy who gets the most Wait, amount of yeah, drunk people in his pit? Does that guy get a tomahawk steak? Well, that's going to be a competition between you and Billy, I believe. That's a good point. Yeah, you got a good point there. If you put a brick here in front of your trailer, you might get more. Do what? Free beer, free, free beer. T-shirts, you might get more. <laughs> if I put free beer in my trailer, hey, Jimmy Dell would be the one to put free beer on the front of the trailer. And when they walk around the corner, he's like, Kanye, gotcha, bitch. Like, <laughs> gotcha, <laughs> Nobody sees that slow, fine print while supplies last. <laughs> yeah, <Wow>. Exactly. <laughs> Shit, if Gary's there, Gary's about free beer, bro. Gary will probably be like, hey, yeah, let's do it. It's Gary. Gary was in the comments while ago. Gary, you still in here? We'll see if we Gary can get Gary. The, Gary. Gary's the type of person that can make free beer happen. See, I don't drink. I know. Y'all are good. I know one thing. I, the the Nitrous Cowboy is going to be a little bit more dangerous come May. 
Should, oh, should, get, more, should get more of them cubic inches in it. Get a lot get of eight them. purges on that motherfucker. Just... <laughs> I'm gonna put it this way. You, if you don't roll to that line and bang it through the motor like Bad Niner used to, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Well, see, the problem is the more cubic inches you get, the more expensive it gets to fix that, Johnny. And then you're like, well, maybe let's not bang it through the more the motor. <laughs> not this hey, time. Corey, do you know who Bud Morgan is? Yes. Have you ever seen the video of Bud Morgan banging it 37 times before he makes a pass? Yes. I love that shit. Where he rolls it through the water box and he bangs it in the water box to spin the tires. He's got it in first gear. I think we've talked about it before. He's got it in first gear and he bangs it to blow the tires off, you know, to spin them around and get them wet. We, we need to play that video because that's the coolest shit that's ever happened. Yeah, that like man I'm, sat there and just wow, 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 just just let's repeatedly. Watch that video. Like I'm saying right now, you wanna you wanna you want the fans to go crazy. You bang it like five six times before the burnout. You do the burnout where you stop your burnout at bang it five six more times. Uh, yep. Just leave that shit neutral. Have people pushing you back, banging it as they're pushing you back. Yeah. It's usually what Stefan does. Idea. He's on the start line. And you're here like. You're like you're like you're gonna hit at least five of them, for sure. I love it. Yeah, it's, that's good stuff. What the hell was that? Paul, I'm, I'm looking new porn. No. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm trying to find the video of Bud here. The two coolest things a racer any you can do is uh, either bang the nitrous through the motor, or the little blip of the throttle that the screw blower and roots blower guys do before they pull up the stage. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's hurt. pretty cool. You know what I tried to do the other day that actually shouldn't have worked out, but it did, was the Stevie Fast throttle lump at the end of the burnout. You know, yes. ah, yeah, like that. Yep. It shouldn't have worked. My car don't make enough power to do that kind of thing, but it worked because there was too much <laughs> prep on the ground, and it was still pushing <laughs> a puddle in front of the fucking tire. Oh, shit. Or the prep. I don't want to talk about it. That's, that's Poland. It wasn't Poland, though. It wasn't Poland. Should have been. Somebody did. It wasn't me. Is it pour your own prep this weekend? Hell no. no. Hell no. Hey, Tom. Next time, yeah. if you if you do a a, a ride along with Poland, we make we need an in car video of Poland. Uh, make sure you don't strap his legs down. When you do a pull, all right. So well, they're Tom, talking about no dead in the window, in the looking at him. Tom, Tom, we really do need to do that for the YouTube channel because, like, what he'll, I did it. Oh, he'll Blender. fold like a lawn chair. He'll fold like a lawn chair. <laughs> and magic <laughs> is so much more like weight transfer than Joe Dirt is. So it's gonna be like it. It would be hilarious. We need to do it with magic. I'm down. I ain't, I ain't never I ain't never had a problem with that. I'm down. Uh I'm just trying to think when we're supposed to do it, bro. We got so much stuff going on. And we can do it in testing at Radio Roundup. All right, there you go. There you go. That's a good idea. When is that? Next That's week. The following following weekend. Weekend. Dude, so we've got Small Tower Gangsters this weekend. We've got Radio Roundup the following weekend. We got Futch's race at WRP Wichita. $40,000 to win or something. Uh, the, that, the last week of April. And then we go into May. But naked. Yep. Then we go into that. Then, then, then I don't. Even, I can't even keep up at this point. There's so much shit going on. What's after butt naked before Corey's race? Nothing. Camp uh, Wars is. Uh, I've got a radio race, race at uh, Shakespeare. Yours is that's in that's in June, yeah. isn't it, Limpy? What? No, that's in May. Oh, I'm May thinking. second weekend of May is the Paris race, the team deal. Uh, yeah, no. that doesn't. I don't have anything to do with that. No, it's so, the third weekend. If you want to come radio race at Shady Side, it'll be hardcore radio prep the second weekend. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. Okay, bud. Just put uh, radios just, on the back of the cowboy. You'll be all right. Well, no, oh, no, I agree. It'll already have radios on it from Radio Roundup. It'll be fine. But the fuckery is. It just. <laughs> when, at what point am I supposed to go home? At any of that? You just don't go home in May, right? That's all I heard. Pretty hey, much. Well not. I did. I did. It. I did it. I did it for a while. Hey, hey, you like to fish, right? Yeah, but I got a ten-year-old and a hot wife. Well, uh, bring them with you. There's well, a nice campground right beside the river. She owns a business, of course. She owns a salon. She, 
Sorry, buddy. It don't work that way. I wish. But I mean, our our schedule for May and June is literally every race is up y'all y'all's way. Like, I mean, it's it is. Where well, y'all staying up, up, here, up here? Between um, King of the South and Warren Woods. I, I don't think there's any option. I mean, fuck, we drive back to Texas. It takes us two days to get back to Texas. We're here for a day, and then we got a two-hour drive back to War in the yeah, Woods. Like now, a- my game plan is to leave King of the South, take the cowboy to Ten Soldiers, leave it there, fly home from Kentucky, or, yeah, yeah. fly home from Cincinnati. Ten Soldiers, Cincinnati, and then fly back out. Um, yep. Fly back out what Friday? Nope, Thursday probably. Thursday, Thursday. afternoon. Yep. And then drive Thursday afternoon from Ten Soldiers to War in the Woods. And yeah, see, here's the other Friday. fuckery on that. The other fuckery is <clears throat> now. How fast y'all think True Street's going to be at War in the Woods? Fours? No. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. I, just, I don't think I mean, so either, but I mean mm. on a radio? 399. 399. 399. I say five O's. Yeah, I, think really think five, so? five, five, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a high four or low five oh. I think Damn. so. I, I was thinking five thirties, five twenties. Just, right. I don't know though. I was, I'm where close. Mike's at, but if it, if y'all really think it's a four second race, I'm not going, bro. I'm not taking magic. If I'm, Jeff, I'll either, if but I'm Jeff not taking magic. does, Jeff said he was going to do some stuff to the surface there. It's the first race of the year. I don't think it's going to be in the fours in True Street. I, don't I, don't I think it's my buddy that, like that was in year. the finals with YG and Small Tire Carolina Cash Days with that white S10. Mm-hmm. I honestly think. I mean, he was on here watching earlier, but I think, I, without a doubt in my mind, he can go four nineties at Brown County. Yeah, you think but see, nobody. Has, no, time, out. time out. Has anybody ran a radial at Brown County? No. Well, not in recent years. No. No. Is that is it? Is the True Street going to be I on have, a DOT? Thir- yeah, oh, yeah, it's got to be yes, on it. Has to be on be DOT. DOT. I on it. My honest opinion is the the radial on that surface with the transition is going to be really hard to figure out. So I think I'm, I'm the fastest motherfucker to ever go down Brown County on a radial. Believe that shit. You're the only <laughs> motherfucker on a radial. <laughs> Justin Lee, not to get times out of you, but what do you think your car can run? He's in the comments. He said he's coming for True Street. What do you think you can run on a DOT at Brown County since he's been there before? What's the, I mean, depending on what the run or, especially if small tire goes first before True Street. I have my limiters Dude, that track's on gonna be Street last year. The truck will be good. Yeah. When it, when Tom raced that first round against Mo, it, we had the limiters on, it was on a radial, and we didn't have the draggy on. We don't know exactly what it went, but we, we had pretty good draggy. idea. Fuck a drag. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> Justin Lee said he'd go 515. <laughs> I'd be curious to see what shows up. I call There's gonna be today. some bad motherfuckers. <laughs> I called I somebody told me today that three guys that used to run small tire in our area are converting over to True Street this year. Guaranteed. Now, those cars, one particular car has been consistently four seventies, four eighties in small tire. So I'd be curious to see what he does on a radio. Converting over to that trim. Depends on yep. what radio they're on, but mark my words, True Treat's going to be the biggest class in the next year. True Treat will be a massive fucking class. Oh, if the rules, been saying that. we've already been yeah, saying if, that. Before. If the rules are correct, it it'll be it'll be massive. I mean, look at H Town Throwdown. Every single year, they've got fifty to sixty cars in that field minimum. I, I can't wait for H Town Throwdown. I'm coming to fuck H Town Throwdown. I've been saying that for the last five years, but I'm coming to fuck you. Damn <laughs> well, and the rules are different. Like their rules at H Town's a little different than the rules we run up this way for um, True Street. But I think one, keeping methanol out. What the fuck well, is wrong with that guy? Who? Chris. I fucking just need you to sit on your ball. Death. I need a fucking desk. Oh, I was going to say, I look like that Jeez. when I sit on my bag. God damn it. 
What were you saying, Happy? I think keeping the fuel and everything up this way, and I believe being on a DOT will keep it in check. But on some of those tracks and some of the cars up here that are converting from small tire, like my buddy's truck that was in small tire at Carolina Cash Days, he was in small tire on a radio and he ran True Street. He won True Street <laughs> and he, he went to the finals against YG from Canada. Well, that truck can go. I mean, it's it's fucking fast, but it meets all the rules. It's steel doors, steel fenders, roll up and down windows, two seats, factory dash. Like it has all the shit, but that truck can go and go 470s on a DOT. I got, most I got front booted. Sides. What was the final verdict? On what? What did you think they're going to run at War in the Woods? Uh, well, nobody ever can go a 5-teen at War in the Woods and True Street trim. I think cars will go 5 O's. I, I think, and by the end of the night, I don't know. Depends on the dude and everything else. But I, I think there will be a point in the day somebody can go 5 O's. I agree with Poland. I think that surface, because of the amount of transitions on it, on a radial, is going to be a tricky surface to get down. I think you'll be in the low fives. I don't think anyone's going to run a 4. I agree. And I've i I've raced there a few times now on slicks and we went rounds in small tire running five fifties. You know what I mean? So sure, sure. I don't I don't know. I think you're scaring people by telling them people will run fours well, there. The thing radio. is the thing is is like I the, don't the think first it's gonna happen. The one that happened last June, I mean, it took them a while for even small tire to get into the to the high. Yeah, but that was five. June too. June was you know the track was good. The springtime one is always the hardest one at Warren the Woods because it's been sitting all winter. They yeah. haven't done all that bracket shit. Yeah, right. I and that's the thing fine. is, like, we went we went to the first one and it was tricky. It was difficult. And then we didn't go to the second one. But watching all the videos and everything, they were going fucking two tenths faster off the trailer than they were at, in the June race. Yeah. Justin Lee's got a question. What do you guys think they're running in small tire there? Oh, they'll be in the 70s. fours and small tire by the end for sure. Seventies and eighties, high eight or high seventies, low eighties, probably. No, I think they were doing that off faster the trailer, than that. Right? Yeah, faster than that, Poland. No, these Damn. people that are, are yeah, saying four eighties at Shady Side. Shady Side is not worn the woods. It's very different. No, it's all right. Yes, surface. It's like, it's like one quarter war. It's like it's like war in the woods. But I mean, no it's like the drag racing. Not. No, that's too fast. <laughs> that's nobody went. Nobody it's, went four forties. It's the, the same crowd. thing at Yellow Belly. Like I think this weekend we're going to see some stupid fast passes down Yellow Belly. And yeah. I mean, Cali Nate has a track record there. He did it in the Black Mamba and the Mamba car, the Nova, uh, when it was pro charged. And he won a four seventy four. Unofficially. I'll put a two hundred fifty dollar bounty anyone who shows me a draggy and true street in the fours at Warren the Woods because I'll be there. How much? Day. How much? Two fifty. Two fifty. Cash. Cash Ooh. money. Damn. I'll put a Dr Pepper Zero on it. Jimmy, you ain't yep. gonna be in the fours. You don't gotta worry about the bounty. No, I you can't go fours on a radio track. You ain't gotta worry about me, bub. <laughs> I'm dead ass. <laughs> you think I'm bullshitting? I'm dead ass. Yeah, Justin Lee said they were going 470 third round last year. I do know somebody went faster than that. I do yeah. too. This yeah. is the only I'm, thing I can say about. I mean, do you want me to call Ryan Mitchell right now on the phone? We'll find out. I can Hold on. <laughs> Ryan Mitchell may not have been the fastest one there. And I love Ryan Mitchell, but he may not have been the fastest car. Just saying, just because he won doesn't mean that he was the fastest car. Thank what are we are what are we arguing about? How fast it was in small tire? Tom, take yeah. that. What's everyone who's, saying? Four sixties. The red fox, the red uh, red Mustang. Homies that helped us oh, load the trailer. Boy, yeah. Yeah. No. Why would I want to race Dalton first round? <laughs> no. That's a smart move because Dalton's pretty fucking fast. Dalton's fast and his brother's fast. I don't yeah. ever want to race either one of them. Small Plus, Tire Gangsters is this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Testing Thursday, yep, Thursday, Friday. Friday, and Saturday. Let's talk about Small Tire Gangsters real quick. $20 to get in the gate on Thursday, $50 to run. Slicks and radials only should make it badass, bro. You ain't going to have no Tequaches leaving their Silverados in the pits and just walking off to get some tacos and snort some keys in the – in the trees, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna have none of that. <laughs> so, it's about the, the, the lanes should roll pretty good. 
And then Friday, uh, we got racing by 7 p.m. on Friday. And then Saturday, we got racing by 2. Hopefully before 2, but racing by 2, for sure. Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah. Limpy, Limpy asked earlier before you came on here, are we going to get an hour and a half driver's meeting again? No, two and a half hours. No, probably 15 minutes. As, yep. Put his probably ass on a 15 minutes. minutes. How are y'all doing, chip draw? Do all the drivers I put a lot of all their chips? That race last year. I was nah, we're that. gonna do so. Shannon Morgan, uh, Morgan and Sons Racing Engines, and Bud's wife actually. She's gonna run all of our chip draw and everything. It'll be the names on the chips. Perfect. That's, that's the, plan. the only way to do it nowadays. Good Come idea, on, man. man. Yeah, you, there's you, no you more drivers know. drawing chips. I that's think the only the that's only two over. ways you should be doing it is if you have numbered chips. If you signed up first, you're number one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Yeah, you sure. are that you were that number through the whole entire race. And we, you know, write it on their window, one, two, whatever. If they win, number one goes back in the thing. If they lose, it goes out. Like you could there's yeah, two different ways you could do it. it. Yeah. Justin Lee said, Real talk, how fast is yellow belly belly? I'm trying to get old pressure. I'm gonna say four seventies, four eighties. Yeah. Right, he's talking yeah, about I, no prep or no prep. Fastest, he's talking about fastest, fastest. No, but he said, "Real talk, how fast is Yellow Belly?" I'm trying to get. The, the, like I said, Nate, Nate had, Nate had I'd the unofficial. Say, go I'd ahead, Nate. 50s. I'd say fifties. Yeah, you're gonna have good. to go some high fours to go rounds out there. If you can go, go a four, if you can go, go, if you can go a four eighty or four ninety, there's a ninety percent chance you'll make it into the final. It's small tire, I mean, but uh, it's small what's tire. the other one? Uh, the, the five thirty deal, yeah. You can you got all different kinds of classes, all kinds of index. And that's what that's yeah. the only thing oh, we've been trying. Index. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. And multiple locals will tell you this: a five thirty at Yellow Belly is like a four eighty anywhere else, bro. That Yellow Belly like got it's, tons of transitions, and they're fucking brutal, bro. The transitions aren't smooth transitions, so even though the track can get really, really sticky, like it'll get radial level sticky. It'll be sticky as fuck. But the track yeah, has yep. a bunch of bumps and shit all yep. the way down. So. so it sits in a riverbed. That's what people don't understand. The yellow belly sits in a riverbed. It's an old riverbed right there. And so uh, every time it rains or does anything, it changes. It, it's never the same. That that surface, literally, if you if you lay it on the ground and look down it, it does waves all the way down. Yeah. And I'll be yelling in my Shooter McGavin voice, you got to play the ball as it lies. <laughs> Damn. Now, hey, now is it little little bumps like this, or is it like Twin River where we had the bacon weave? No, it's, it's little. little it's bumps, not Twin River. No, it's not Twin River. Hey, and they actually, and a lot of people say the shutdown's horrible. They actually did get the most violent part of the shutdown taken care of, so it is better. All but, the bumps in the shutdown's been fixed. That's a big win. Don't say that uh, it's been fixed. It's better than it was. <laughs> Yeah, been fixed better than it was. Same thing, bro. Same thing. Let me like out the seen hold a draggy up. down there of somebody that went real fast. Remember that? I did. Mm -hmm. And it was it was faster than what you're saying, Poland. Oh, and I and so I've y'all know and I run with Can Two. It, it's a Protar's car too. Y'all yeah. know I run with Can Two. Can Two's been fast. Can Two has been faster than that number that I was saying while I go to. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that too. I remember. You know, but and, and but the deal with Nate, there was a bounty on the track record that night, and he broke it and he held it. You know what I mean? That that's gotcha. the whole. I mean, that right. was the whole deal on that. Just watching the videos and everything, I don't see why Yellow Belly probably couldn't be four 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 fifties easy. The shutdown. You better have your parachutes out when you come through that fucking finish line. I tell you that. I know that Brent Self said he went 170 miles an hour down Yellow Belly, and if you went 170 miles an hour, I don't care what way you fold that motherfucker that is a low four second pass all right that is a 440 450 i've seen this is this is i've this seen is this no draggy it was faster okay. than that too because no, i remember i remember a mile an hour and i'm not gonna say no name, time out i, I there literally was a called, draggy that was faster than that hundred i don't like that it, the motherfucker's off because i'm telling y'all right now i talked to brandon sandaline last night with the big tar studebaker he went 394 down Yellow Belly at 188 miles an hour. So you're telling me Brent Self went fucking 10 miles an hour slower than a big tire fucking wheelie bar? 18 miles an hour slower. 18 <laughs> miles an hour. That goddamn That's bullshit. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. 
don't get me into this heated conversation. It's about time for me to get off here. I love all you guys. <laughs> I look forward to seeing all you guys in Small Tire Gangsters this weekend. And I appreciate y'all letting me get on here and yelling and hooting and hollering. Poland, I'm going to let you do the rest of the hooting and hollering with the boys. And I'll see you guys Thursday. All right? Love you. Later, homie. Later. <laughs> see ya. See ya, Jimmy. Bye. <laughs> Poland just saw a preview of his weekend. Oh, leave it for Poland. <laughs> That's that's been a preview of my life for the last month and a half. Two years ago, we did see a draggy that was faster than that. Seen it. Seen I mean, it. it's it's possible. It's that's that shit's wild though. And it was pretty consecutive. Like right. it never it was, it was multiple. And I was He showed me the time away. and the date, and I'm like, motherfucker. Wow. I'm gonna tell you, dude. Stu Two Baker D's, motherfucker. Going, dude, Studebaker Baker <laughs> going three nineties there. Hey, and his his. Uh, they actually somebody posted the video. His he dropped his shoot, and it just fell out on the ground like a ball. That man went around, so there's a curve at Yellow Belly that kind of goes like that. He literally was drifting around that curve, and his willy bars got into the hay bales, and it bent his willy bars almost a ninety degree angle. Like that's the only thing that stopped him, slowed him down enough to to make the curve. Fuck. Damn. See if I can hey find bells, that video. Man. Some place they're hated, some place they're loved. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the only option at Yellow yeah. Belly. If, if you go through them hay bales, you're in for a bad day because there's a forty foot drop off into a creek right behind it. Holy and, shit. And then there's railroad tracks on the other side of that. There's there's railroad tracks on the that's other like, side of that. Well, that's like uh, what's oh, his look name? Look at Maxwell uh, chilling. What up, Max? Chilling all right. Luke Glass making that save at Brainerd. That's my dude. <laughs> He's yeah. having sleep. Dude, dude, them guys were fucking. Now now that's over with. Them guys are fucking stupid. Which one? At, at uh, Brainerd. You want to go back to sleep? To fucking drive into the fucking fog. Right. Oh, into the mist. <laughs> Oh I'm like, yeah. and they're like, oh, I'll, go, I'll send it. And then, and I asked the dude, who was, oh, that's Chris, uh, the dude that won this weekend. Yeah. I said, I said, how bad was it? He goes, I ain't gonna lie, it's fucking stupid. I could see shit. <laughs> dude, you weren't stopping Brandon Rattler from making that pass, no matter what you said. Oh, yeah. You like, you just, I couldn't see shit. Went through the finish line and like, it was like, into the midst. <laughs> Cause you could barely see the finish line at the start line, and and I asked Matt, I said, "How bad is it?" And he goes, "As long as there's some space, you can actually call it. But if it's a close one, you ain't gonna be able to fucking call it." I just, I just uh -oh. wish. Was there ever a video at surface? Because I was curious. Because Luke, they said his ass I need that. I need to ask him for. He got a video of because I think he runs a GoPro. Oh, there's audio. I was like, I don't hear audio. Uh, Oh, wait. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> Screw charge of life, son. There's, he's he's going to he's gonna try to make the turn there. He went That's... as far right as he could to swing it left. Yeah. I'm going to this picture somewhere. I had pictures of him down in the middle. <laughs> and he was and he was already, he had the shoots deployed way before that, but they just yep. didn't go. How many feet is it before the turn? Uh, I've measured it before. Don't uh, get me lying. I think it's eleven. Uh, is it eleven seventy something or is it? It's a. a 10, it's like 10, I, I think it was right at twelve hundred. Yeah, okay, like so eleven like seventy. Not bad. Yeah, it was like right at twelve hundred because Limpy measured it one time and I, I, I it was eleven sixty, eleven seventy something like that because we just I mean twelve hundred foot. I That's couldn't remember if it was not as bad as I thought. Ten seventy or I knew it was something seventy. I couldn't remember if it was ten seventy yeah. or eleven seventy. I think I think it was eleven seventy. I'm almost for sure. Natural Bridge has less shut down than that, and I've seen cars on ten five Ws going up through that bitch at four twenties, four teens. Yeah, you could always got that one that's curved. Uh, you know NASCAR shit. Where's that at? We used Nobody. to have a curve at Shady Side. <laughs> got driving into an embankment to scrub your speed off. Every time we'd have Outlaw 275 before they straightened it out, they said uh, they laughed at, and, and they came up and they said, we just always have our spot picked where we were going to hit when we didn't make the turn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, God dang, guys. Yeah. Scary.
And that's but what Brand, Brandon said when he, you know, when he, he was like, dude, so much shit was going on in that car. He said, I was grabbing everything I possibly could trying to get to shut down. And he's like, last thing that came to my mind is swing this motherfucker as far right as I can. And we going for a ride. Fuck, man. I'm honest got surprised when he swung and tried to drift. It didn't grip and roll. I am too. Yeah. Kennedy had a lot of fucking bank to it. Like oh yeah. Kennedy was lot. bad. What's a uh, God Knoxville. Like it shut down. It's a, got a hard left turn and the way that place is laid out. I swear to God, it used to be a NASCAR track. Really? Probably, that's in Tennessee, isn't it? Yeah. Knoxville, yeah. Tennessee. So yeah, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. The NASCAR folks up there. That's another one. If you don't get shut down quick, ooh. they got room, but it's quick. Yeah. Well, the thing with Yellow Belly is, is it's there's 1,200 foot, but there's probably I about had a shop right down the road from there. You're probably you probably got what Lippy? What do you think before it goes to one lane? 750, 800 foot? Uh, no, I've measured that before. Uh, shit. I think it's like it's like 900 feet because it's like 170 or. It's either 170 or 270, you know, to make the curve. Before the oh, turn. okay, got you. Yeah. yeah. But so it's either it's either 870 or 970 before. Or well, and I tell I, uh, I tell all the guys in the drivers meeting, like depending on who you're racing, be prepared. If it's a side by side race, y'all need to know who's going first and who's going second because you can very well run into like y'all can come through together and very well merge together if you're not careful. Yeah. Houston should be fine. He's he's trained at Twin River, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I we try to make everybody aware of that. That's why Thursday we're let you know you test. Everybody kind of gets a feel, stuff like that. And then I we I encourage everybody get on your golf cart, go check that thing out. And then when Hell you know yeah. who you're when you know who you're racing, even if you think it's going to be a get, you're going to get gapped or you're going to gap them. Still, be talk to that driver and y'all be prepared to you know if if it does go side by side through there and it, you know every you know be prepared you know hey I'm going to go first or I almost wanted to make a rule that the left lane should you know if you're in the left you lane got, I got the, you got the right, right away. you got the right away yes if you're in the left side you got the right away right lane be on your brakes because the left side is coming over yeah unless yeah. unless the right lane just fucking blows the other one yeah out I'm good right. yeah. They got a race coming up this weekend. I'm letting them talk. Them and Jimmy Dell. I'm fine. I got to poop. But oh boy. <laughs> Besides that, I'm oh all right. Boy. Don't yeah, take your right. headset in the bathroom. You'll never hear the end this, of it. This no rap done went through me. <laughs> hey, oh. I done, we done seen the flaming dragon. We don't need to hear it. Fuck, man. Ooh. Ooh. That's a Should we hurt him Friday night? Trust me. <laughs> oh boy what did it sound like chris oh it, i mean it sounded like uh, he was wearing a diaper oh shit he might have been <laughs> he knows what i'm talking about <laughs> damn wait. it man wait what i miss all those lizards. fucking happy fucking about which sound like he shit his pants when we were going to roadhouse <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah that's right <laughs> What it smell like? Walk over. Yeah, on the walk over. We're like, God what it, damn! What it smell like? Could you smell it? It didn't smell. It's it. It ricocheted off every building that we were walking. Oh, shit. Echoing. <laughs> was you trying to smell though? Hey, I was. Shit. I was in the front. I didn't. I uh, wasn't. Was all right. All right. Have you ever who's been? In, have you ever been in a dragway that's in a valley, and the sound echoes off of everything? Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. We so it's like a tradition every Friday in X. We all go to Texas Roadhouse. Like that's that's the thing. And last Friday we're in there and Brent's sitting beside me. Brent Alberry's sitting beside me. And he's like, I can hear him kind of giggling. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, just watch. And this chick walks by and he said, Hey, you want to hold my nuts? And she like looked at him like sideways, like, what are you? Th-? And this man hands her a bag of the nuts that they give you. When you walk in the door, and she's like, "Oh, I love this stuff." <laughs> wow, I'm on my I, phone, people. Uh, we see that. <laughs> we, we see that. <laughs> Anything interesting? No. Fill us in. What's the four one one? Just trying to clear out my damn messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Nonstop. Jesus. Now oh, I'm it's gonna get myself. even worse. Crop dusting. 
<laughs> that's why today i was like man at two three hours and not having the phone not doing nothing i'm like i gotta enjoy this because here in a couple of weeks it's not gonna be good it's gonna be bing 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 question, this, job, question that. i don't miss all that shit it's full-time job poland how much your phone been off the past couple of days about the race how many Too dumb much. questions do you have you Dude, got? the amount of people what times the gates open I don't yeah. even know. Uh, what's it? Figure pay? it out. Figure it out. What class do I fit in? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. I don't have <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? I want to come race, but I don't know what class I fit Dude, in. Dude, it's the, the one I, that got me. The, bro, I woke up at 4, 4.02 this morning. My phone goes off, right? And I usually put my phone on Do Not Disturb, but it's been a long week. I just passed out. You know what I mean? My phone wasn't even plugged in or nothing. Uh, 4.02, I get a ding. I hear my phone go off, and I look over, and this dude said, I know King Cuss says that it's supposed to be a full size truck, and I would love to come race my S10. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, it's four. I literally said it's four o'clock in the morning, and this is what's on your mind. Oh my God. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> hey, let me take a picture of this because when the owner of Nitrous Express asks me why my email is full of bullshit, I can say, I can tell him why. <laughs> wait, wait, I, was doing that. I say, can't go fast. At the hey, car. this guy right here ruined the fucking daily class. That Jonathan Bailey single ruined the daily class. There's people out there that can. That man. Last year we had a we called it Outlaw Daily, and it basically was a true street class, if you will, um, but dumbed down as like as as dumb as you can get it. Um, the man pretty much put a 10th or two on everybody there and then goes to the fucking finals against Ryan Mitchell and small tire. He bought into small tire. Yeah. And yeah he did messes. like his outlaw daily and he was in true street and fucking he tripled entered. Tire. He tripled entered one outlaw daily went to the third round or something of the other class and went to the finals with Ryan Mitchell and small tire. <laughs> that wasn't a good look. No. Horrible. I told, I, I'm giving him his money. And I was like, I just want you to know the outlaw daily class is never going to happen again because of you. Yeah. You ruined it. it you, it's done. Like, yep. yeah, no shit. Oh no, no, don't. <laughs> Hopefully Olympia reacts. At, uh, I just want you to know, Corey, I'm going to go to every insurance website I can find and put your full media email in every. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to have them insurance people going to be have ready to sign you up. Dude, I get bombarded with that shit anyways. It's nonstop. Like, it never, never stops. Usually 100 Appreciate to 150 card. messages every morning. Yep. Uh, it's been it's nonstop. It's it's literally it's just nonstop. nonstop. Yep. Some of them are some of them are valid questions. I, I mean, I'm 100%. not saying that if, I'm yeah, not 100%. saying every single person asks dumb questions, but it's yeah. You know, uh, I would say it's fifty fifty. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> lots lots of bread. <laughs> lots of oh lots of lots of buns. <laughs> lots of buns. Rolls. Lots of buns. Dude, I will say Rolls. this. I did look over once because I went to grab a roll and I was like, I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna get some cinnamon butter. And I noticed Chris had already cleaned the cinnamon butter completely out. It was dry. I was like, he probably licked that motherfucker. Damn. I sent oh, yeah. <laughs> no, matter of fact, I sent Corey a Snapchat Friday of everybody at our table. I said, What's this called? Roll, 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 roll. I, I asked the damn waitress, hey, what do y'all call these? And she said, A roll. That's it. Nah. We saw a on Paxton's hamburgers were rolls. Yep. Yeah. They were they, buns. They were yeah. rolls. Yep. Kinsey shrimp. They brought it out on rolls. Yep. Oh. I'm gonna tell you though, and and, and you're probably gonna give me a sideways look, Chris, but that bread from raising canes, I mean, it's up there if the Texas Roadhouse rolls, it might be a little bit better. You're high, no, bro. No, no shit. No. Dude, Hell it was no. good. You're fucking oh. high as kite. I, I hit that had... shit when it was fresh. I don't think I it, was it was good. Canes. Shit, it's good, man. They're they're. I mean, it's chicken tenders. I've but... got a raisin canes like raisin... five minutes from the house. I don't think I've ever had raisin canes before. Raisin canes is good. Hey, raisin canes is good. 
but it's disrespectful to say their roles are as good as Texas Roadhouse. It's okay. disrespectful. Motherfucking speaking facts. <laughs> like I know, good, man. I had eleven of those bitches Friday night, and trust me, they <laughs> were fucking good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do a blindfold test one night on Chris and having like the different breads from a restaurant. He can tell us which one's the best. Yep. Oh shit. Out. Oh. Bring it. Out. Oh. Bring it. I've always wanted to do one of the drink right ones yet. where they where you have all the drinks and you take a drink, you know what I mean, and you try to figure out what it is. But my friends are fucked up, man. I I couldn't do it. Is that Pac Man? I don't know. If it is, you better get your little ass to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get up a couple hours, dog. No, that is no way. No, no way. Chris, the bread from Raising Cane's reminds me of the damn Texas toast that you can buy out the frozen section at the grocery store. That's no, what no, it's better than that. That 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 frozen Texas toast is joke. my fucking Texas toast. It's not even toasted. Tastes better than that shit. <sighs> you can't freeze Texas toast. It, it messes it up. It makes it, it throws off the taste somehow. I think how many do you make a post, uh, Mike? And I swear it posts like nine it times. Does. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It goes viral. It goes viral right away. <laughs> Boom. It's all them porn bots. He's been watching too much of it. Okay, now ask me this. Finger washers. Ask yeah. me this. Uh, who has the best sweet tea? Oh, God. Canada. Nest tea. Now. Uh, did that know. man just say Canada had the best sweet tea? All right. All right. Yeah, hey, it's far, different. 100%. It, it's but not, it's not, not sweet. sweet. That Roland, nest tea like is it's not, good. It's sweet it's tea. Sweet That's tea. what it is. It's good it's, tea. It's not is it tea is. with sugar in it? I drank yeah, some this sweet weekend. Tea. I still got some. I've I've been, never heard of Nest Tea. Yes, but that you said Canada, and it just didn't didn't. Oh, no. it just didn't rub you right. I like right? Chicken E, man. Chicken E. That's where I'm at, Limpy. Chicken Express has the some bomb sweet tea. Man, I really? Can tea. you buy it in a gallon? Yes. Yep. Any place that has a about taco, a gallon. Taco Casa. Taco Casa. See, but uh, Taco yeah, Casa, you, Taco Casa to me is hit tea? or miss. The yeah. line? So taco. It depends on what taco casa you go to. Sometimes I go to taco casa and get a sweet tea, and you know, like when you drink too much sugar, it upsets your stomach and everything. Like you get, it fucks you up. I get that from my taco casa, or it's not sweet enough. <laughs> I still ain't <laughs> even ate taco casa, but uh, I want it so fucking bad, man. The I, last I still haven't ate it yet. The last sweet tea I had was <laughs> so Bud Light. Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like his name too. Did you see his name? Chris, Chris moist, moist. moist. <laughs> extra moist. Or if he likes mayonnaise up tea. in his uh. What's up? You can buy a half a gallon on ice at Chicken Express. No Golden shit. Yeah. Well, when y'all buy, when y'all go to good too. gasoline, uh, when y'all go to the stop and go or whatever, the convenience store, come yeah, get the come and go. I bet you how do I know. Uh, <laughs> do y'all get sweet teas? Do you, or, or do y'all get do y'all get done sweet teas? No, I I'm like. I'm a, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. So, I'm an Arnold Palmer type of guy. Yeah, I like so, them too. I mean, if I'm going into a gas station, I'm either getting a peace tea or an Arizona tea. If I'm getting that, mm. usually it's just Dr Pepper. But I, I'm going to say this on stated on fact right now: whoever the fuck is running peace tea and Arizona tea. They've kept that shit 99 cents for fucking 35 years. They need to run our country. Yeah, that is true. Everything man. else yeah, in the legit. country, done sky, they've done everything else. McDonald's is charging you like $4 for a McDouble, and it used to be a dollar. I mean, I miss my, they're still yeah, sitting at 99 cents. I miss yeah, my Arizona uh, Arnold Palmers. Those are the best. We need like to let who, whoever's the president of those tea companies, we just, you can be the president of the United States. You that's just, a, that, that'd be a, uh, Cor uh, Corley question, probably. Oh, yeah. I like it. Whiskey I like ginger. Bourbon. Ryan Gingers are the best. Dude, whiskey doesn't go like I tried it with Mountain Dew. No, no. no. Only thing I'll drink it with. Hell no. I had a no. guy no. that used to drink Crown Royal and Mountain Dew. Ew. Bro, they but that's what Mountain Dew was literally made for back in the day. They put a bunch of sugar in it and that's they mixed it with the corn liquor and stuff like that to basically water it down. Then it gives you the sweet taste. Canada Dry and Crown Royal is the only way to go. Cream soda and Crown Oil, Crown Royal Vanilla. Can't, oh, that, can't miss. that could be good. That could can't be good. Can't miss. Wieners, that. you worse oh. this week. <laughs> one big one, Tyler. 
<laughs> Warsh. The Warsh. See, Andy P knows. Whiskey in Canada dry. That's the only way. All I know is uh, Corey tried to disrespect me this weekend and give me a doctor. Oh, pepper. look at this. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No shirt. <laughs> Hey, that man is ready for small tire games. As he's sitting on the shitter, as he's on the shitter, look at him. And he's on the shitter eating. <laughs> he's eating the cereal. He's eating. Yeah, he's he's eating his breakfast. I'm eating he's chicken. Packing. I'm eating chicken and rice, boys. I just got back from the chicken and rice. rice. Late. Oh boy! Protein, gang, protein. Gang. What I had for dinner: chicken and gang, rice. gang, gang, gang. What's happening, fellas? Not oh. shit. Chilling, chilling. Crown, Crown Royal, Royal has gotten the black. Yeah, I haven't I've tried it yet, but I want on to. It. I've heard it ain't good. Hey, they so they the came out very and lemonade. It's supposed so to I seen I seen one in specs today. Um, I was gonna grab it, but the, the, this dude had got the last one. They're supposed to have some more tomorrow. I'm gonna go get it. They got Crown Apple and it's got cranberry. It's a cranberry mix. Really? I, yeah, I love cranberry that. juice. I love the shit out of it. You know yeah. my you know my kid works for uh uh what's the one up here by my house Andrews. Uh, yeah, she goes yeah. to all them, all them stores and stocks them all up. Oh no shit! Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, Have you seen shit talk with Jeff? It's shit talk with Jeff time. We'll do what? So he said, "Shit talk with it's Jeff." Shit Thomas. talk with Jeff Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that gentleman's implying. <laughs> he's about to, to watch the show a time or two. He might have. What I miss tonight, guys? Uh, Not shit. Small tire gangsters mostly. Oh, hold discussing on. it tonight. Did we missed anything uh, in the group chat. Uh, no. Are you coming to be? Are, are you coming to help JT crew or what? Yep. Bet. <laughs> Got to tell Jeff and Paul in the mayo thing after Jeff gets to Much of my car, they want me to wheel. Preferably somebody that's not real concerned with the paint job on it. Oh boy, <laughs> Houston Payton, <laughs> let him drive. <laughs> you can do. You can be my other camera guy. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. Happy got us flagged in the first eight minutes. Yeah. What'd you do? I missed that. What happened? Oh, I'll show you. Hold on. Oh, we, no, had a, we had a. We uh, had the trophy uh, picture. The picture of your ass. Uh, yeah, we had the full moon. The second eclipse that we saw in a week. Yeah. He needs, he needs to get someone in there with a waxing going. Clean that mess up. Hey, I, I, just, today. I got it all the day, man. I heard it. I heard the Red Dragon got a little suntan. Yeah. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Corley says you need to get somebody in there and clean that mess up. I got it. I got it today. Got everything trimmed up. We're, yeah, we're I got to get that go. cleaned up. Yeah. You're going to be posting pictures. Everything's that, hairless. Dude, that that shit was so white, it put such a glare on one of my cameras, it damaged the lens. There you go. <laughs> Look. Did Kenzie handle all that? Oh, my God. <laughs> I had my, my pants down behind my knees, too. My whole bag was I, out I thought face. you were peeing for a second. Oh, my you know, God. No, that's why you pee. Oh, he got... Oh, boy. Full works. I got oh, full boy. works. Hey, does she use the head trimmers? On them things, or they get a little extra. <laughs> I went no guard this time. Oh boy! Oh, you had to get. You were getting prepped for vacation. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> what you uh? What you pack in the shaving kit for this vacation, or do we even want to know? <laughs> yeah, my makeup right. bag. Then Just hope you don't get. <laughs> the, hope, hope your trip don't go like Jeff did. Oh shit! Oh no, man. That's one thing I'm actually friend. nervous about. Like, I don't know what to really drink and eat. They definitely say don't drink the water. So, no, definitely not. Like, I, I'm nervous about the ice cubes and everything else. Did they filter all that water when they? Dude, they, they, told us, they, they told us in uh, where were we? Dominican. Yep. They said don't even eat the salad because of the water on the it. Water. Yep. Yep. You got to thank the water. I mean, hell, lettuce is nothing but water. Just eat everything that's been fried. Then you're safe. And you know what's that's crazy true. is all the locals down there, they're immune to it. They're used to it. So they drink the shitty water. I got all the parasites. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's why they're all skinny, too, because you got all those worm, worms inside <laughs> of you eating everything. 
<laughs> I still remember what color it fucking thing was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm normally not shirtless, fine. but I didn't I was sweaty as hell and I didn't get in the shower yet and I didn't want to put a clean shirt on. I don't so blame excuse you. Excuse my nakedness. Don't blame you, man. Jen likes what are you me working on? be like this usually. Right. <laughs> She just threw up her mouth a little bit, didn't she? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what are you working on? Anything? I got uh we got a special customer in the shop this week. Hell working yeah. On the, working on one, the one of the coolest names for a car. We got Danny Popwell's car in there, the dirty disco. Oh boy. hell yeah. Yep. I know what hell, you're I talking thought, about. I thought Peter Fitzwell was the best fucking name, but shit. <laughs> That's a good one too. Dirty Disco is kind of nice. He he messaged me. I sent him some pictures of the progress, and he messaged me and said, "Looks like Dirty Disco is about ready to dance." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yep." I told uh, Tom if if Pat McCrotch comes Pat McCrotch comes out at Small Tire Gangsters, then I need Al Dickum, and that's Tom's alter. Oh my god! And it's it's fucking hilarious. It's been a running joke. I haven't got it on camera. It, it's hilarious. Al, Al Dickum is Al Dickum media or what does he do? Weatherman. <laughs> Al Dickum is a he's a reporter. He reports on it all. Oh okay. He's a journalist. Oh my god! So, What's the weather look like for the weekend down there? It's killer. supposed to. It's supposed to be killer. Uh, when rain rolls Ooh. out tomorrow. Thursday, oh. it's supposed to be. Let's see. Thursday it's lucky here, it's been kind of split. Us the weather's kind of split, yeah, it's, split here so far. Yeah, uh, we're not showing any rain. Uh, high on Thursday, seventy four. High on Friday is eighty one, and the high on uh, Saturday is eighty three. All three days sunny. What's the low temp that night? Low sixties. Yeah, sixty one, sixty two. Oh, that'd be perfect, won't it? Fuck yeah! Yep, be nice, man. They had wind. They had a race, not racing, but I'm going. Well, we appreciate the support. We'll be on the start line. Hey, huh? Huh? Have have you ever been out there, Jeff? No, I haven't been there. Oh man. Hey, go ahead and just go ahead and go to the bank tomorrow. Get you some money out because there's a lot of gambling to be had. Hey, you know what? I might just bring some money and buy me a fucking car while I'm down there and race. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, oh shit! Look, I'm gonna make a post on Facebook right now and say, "Is anybody willing to let Jeff Thomas drive their car this weekend at Small Tire? We're gonna find Jeff a car. Let's see." There you go. Are you interested in a roller? I, I don't really want to push that fucking thing down the track. <laughs> Damn it. Dang. Well, if you need a, if you need another car, let me know. No, I don't definitely don't really thing, need another man. car, but I just can't imagine going. I, I've been, I've been racing for my whole life. I never went to watch. <laughs> right. You'll have a good time. I, oh yeah, you'll like it. That's a badass yeah. place. Hey, I can always use some security on the starting line if you're interested. I'm too expensive. You couldn't afford it, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Just send, the bill, send the bill to Houston Payton. He's come. Uh, he'll get. He got it. Yeah. Mighty, I'm selling my car. If you're interested. What, what the fuck? It ain't eating nothing. Yeah, but I have to buy a new daily. It still ain't eating nothing. It's not, but I gotta have money to fork over. How do you gotta buy a new daily? What happened to it? Can't figure out where coolant's going. Hey, guess it. that. It's a, it's a, Chris, uh, the first rule of a racer is be financially irresponsible. Okay, <laughs> promise you, that is not me. <clears throat> You're never yeah. going to be a good racer then, so I'd sell it. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> look, look. I said, does anybody have a car they'd be willing to let Jeff Thomas drive this weekend at Small Tire Gangsters? He's coming and wants to party, but his car isn't ready, and they got his nuts in a wheelbarrow. Let's go. <laughs> There you go. That's <laughs> it's nuts in a wheelbarrow. That might not make anybody really too apt to let me drive their car. <laughs> well, 
It, it's definitely attention getting. Let's find out. Yeah. Let's My see. Phone's for messed. the roller, Chris. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how much to even price it at. Uh, is this a city? Am I posting this to see new shit? Hmm? In, the, in the group chat? Who, me? Hmm? What? 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 It's in the group chat. You just it? confused the whole. You just confused the whole panel. Oh shit! That's way the fuck up there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I think I posted that fucking earlier today, just as a conversation. I know, but I was sitting there looking for something earlier, and I fucking <laughs> and I didn't realize. And I'm like, huh? What the fuck? Where did that fucking come from? Yeah. I'm back. It's the Audi for sale. <laughs> Everything can't yeah. be worth nothing. Lake and water. What do you want for it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, the is only it in way... the oil or is it in? So far, right now, no. And it only does it when it's towing. It's so under heavy tow load, with the it's only when it's Probably heavy lifting load. the head gasket a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I'm. That's what I'm suspecting. Is that? That's. So we'll fix I'm, it. Uh, it's at the um, mechanic shop. It's at the. It's been. It's still at the Audi dealer. They're is not they willing fucking... to put a head gasket on it. Audi don't know how to fucking even... can't figure out. Paul, they can't, they can't figure it out. Thank fuck? you. I needed that because Facebook just flagged me for mine. Oh, really? Yeah, because it had Comedy Central fucking watermark on it. Oh, it's geez. a Mustang. It's a hatchback. I can't imagine if you take that to an outside mechanic, it would be that expensive to do. Head gasket on. I don't know. I wouldn't take it to Audi. They'll just sell you a brand new motor. <laughs> right. That's what all dealers do. You should see what they do around here. The customers I get, I see hear some shit. Oh my god! There we go. That's that's the updated <laughs> picture. That's perfect. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh jeez. I got some other shit I gotta do. Like I'm I'm struggling this month, and I'm not gonna be able to eat made ends meet here by the end the middle of this month. So I'm kind of yeah. It's more it's more than it's more than just the car. I got gotcha. you. It's about time to start that cooking operation. Right? That's why I'm trying to deal some drugs here. I'm I can teach you how to cook crack. Yeah. <laughs> if you Bro, ever want to learn how to cook We can even crack, brew some we can even brew some shit. I'm ready to come I'm ready to come oil. I seen one earlier. This dude is a little opposed and he said, I done learned how to cook crack in the air fryer. The city is mine. <laughs> Air fryer. You gonna show me your butthole on OnlyFans? Holy fuck! Oh shit! At this point, five bucks is five bucks. <laughs> gonna have to get it bleached first. Somebody was asking if if Happy don't get his butthole bleached. I said, fuck no, they have to bleach all the way to the back of his fucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better get some good snapshots of that since you got her all cleaned up, Happy. I yeah. might be able to scoop up a couple bucks on the OL. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I think Happy would be OS, only sharded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what you can do? You can collab with Sweet Tips. Oh, no boy. shit. That's know, how the rappers do it. You know, they collab yeah. with other people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Collab. Oh, hey, funny. we need to collab. Oh boy, <laughs> she doesn't know what collab means. Yeah, she oh, she knows. No, what? She, knows. <laughs> she goes, I don't know how to make my mouth like that. And we we're like, Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. That's too much. Gonna have a huge turnout down there, you think? Pulling? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Weather I've had a good. lot of. I've had the weather looks good. It's one of the bigger races of the like first. I don't want to say the first race of the year, but it's a bigger race. Um, weather looks good, and it's just there's a. I've had a lot of people reach out. A lot of people reach out. So Thursday, I, Thursday will be a good indicator because there's. I mean, half the people that are coming for the weekend are going to be there on Thursday. So yeah, right. Did uh did you all talk about uh the low car mm-hmm. count so far this year? That yeah. was that yep. a topic. What what did everybody yeah. have to say about that? I, I hate reiterating. Just give me the high points. Mm. Don't really know. So many, so many, so many events going on. I Too many know. events. 
You and got that's the thing is it, it's so you got you got say you got 50 cars and you got 10 events so you're gonna have to split the fucking car count yeah, yeah. what happened with the uh the luck of the draw deal i saw they canceled that wasn't that's, that the same weekend as that was sports? um that was a uh an issue with the track as far as the ownership transferring from the old ownership okay. yeah there's some back taxes and stuff like that that's owed that's not been paid. Yeah. It was the same weekend though as Corey's event too. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yep. That was that's why the uh event was or canceled. Well, and I and I asked because that was like one of the first events that was posted for the year. Like not I want to say first, but it was one of the the bigger ones that was I think Corey yeah. was, wasn't it? Yeah. But I didn't know. Corey called the IRS. I did not call an independent <laughs> research center, damn it. Speaking of IRS, where's Trevor at? They said he was working tonight, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I don't know. Like, um, I was shocked this weekend to hear that Ozarks had six cars and guaranteed 10 grand. I couldn't. I mean, I'm talking about in general. Between your race, Ozarks. Yep. And what Jackson, was it? Jackson, Tennessee had, I heard, 13 small tire cars. 13. I mean, that's scary, man. And then where else was there? Um, there was another one that had, I mean, you got to figure that's oh, three it. Oh, Block. Yeah. Block was in Knoxville, Tennessee. He guaranteed six grand and got four cars. Let me tell you something. When are people going to learn? I mean, seriously. Why are you guaranteeing pots? It, it, there ain't no race that shouldn't be this. 100% buyback. Then if you want to guarantee some money on top of that, guarantee it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then if you got sponsor money, add that too. You are a thirsty fucking promoter to put 10 grand <coughs> of your own money up on the line and then not not do a very apparently not do a very good job promoting your event. Right. I mean, I have nightmares about that. I can't imagine putting X amount of money up guaranteed and having four cars show up. I mean, let's see. I've talked, I've talked to a bunch of racers. I've talked to a bunch of people about this and that's why we've been promoting small tire gangsters with no minimum car count, no lock-ins, none of the, like people are tired of the fucking, it's like going into a goddamn casino and you get, you put your money in a slot, right? You see the, you see the big number at the top. You see the 50 grand at the top. Well, you got to hit every progressive along the way to get to that 50 grand. They're fucking people are tired of doing that shit. Like, I just, agree with you. But what? Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. What does lock-ins have to do with that? Well, I'm saying it's just another. Like I'm just saying it's another aspect to the to the to the to get to this number. Like to get to this number, we got to have this many lock-ins. No, so I understand that, but I'm saying if you don't do that, well, there's I'd find nothing wrong with lock-ins. I prefer it because then at least I know. Okay, for example. If I was traveling to Happy's race this weekend, no offense to Happy, but I'd be pretty fucking disappointed to drive all that way to four race for, for four cars. Like, yeah. or True Street had two, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Like, if I drove from Canada to Kentucky thinking that his race was going to be, you know, at least a couple grand or whatever, whatever the travel fee may be, and I show up there and there's two cars <laughs> and he's not putting money on top, I don't know what they got paid, but it's definitely not worth the trip from Canada. But if I, I see a lock-in list, lock-in if I... helps promoters, except for a lot of racers don't like it. Well, no, that's but it thing. helps I, I racers. Can... It doesn't even help promoters. It helps racers because no, then it... at least you can see and say, well, there's 30 cars coming to this event. It's so not it just a racer. It does help promoters because right. then you can promote a certain amount yeah. of money for sure because yep. you've got X amount of cars locked in. I know some yeah, no, guys okay. that – I know right, some. I guess. I know some guys that will not go to any race that requires a lock-in just for so the sole reason uh, because the way it was explained to me, and I asked, I asked why. I asked one guy, a pretty bit well-known name. I said, why will you not go to races that require a lock-in? He said, dude, this shit is it's abusive. It's rough. I don't want to send somebody a $500 lock-in or, or a $250 lock-in, and then I go to start my trade car to put it on the trailer, and it window the block or something come apart. Or this or that. Like, there's so many yeah, variables. I have, that... I have the solution to that because we do lock ins in Florida, but we only ask for 50 bucks. It's only to just get an, a feel of how many cars are actually going to no. be on the property. That but, but does that not, but my, so Biden, does, that not run... put you, does that not put you out of liability if you say, okay, a $50 lock in and you say, okay, yeah, there's 72 cars coming mm -hmm. and then half of that field falls out? 
because they yeah. only paid fifty dollars. It was chump change in the bucket, and then you got just same example you were saying. You got guys that are thinking they're coming to race for this amount of money with seventy two cars, and they show up and there's forty two. I get it, I get it, but what's worse? That's the yeah. thing. I'd rather see a list of seventy two cars and half of them fall off. At least there's still going to be thirty two cars. When you go to an event where you have no idea who's going to show up, and, and it just got... happens to be like Happy's event. Now you're going to show up and there's two cars and you're like, what the fuck? I just traveled eight hours to come here to race for this event. I'm not and saying then you got I'm half just... the field to half that 50 to add to the pot too. Yeah. And that right. 50 goes back into the pot and it gives you also, it gives me a general idea as a promoter, what classes we're going to run. Because I tell people, if we don't <laughs> lock in the minimum amount of cars, say, let it be eight cars for that or class whatever. or eight, oh. no we normally do eight because an eight car field is still enough to run a class right but if i get a class with only two cars for example our big tire is always like two three cars we don't run it anymore because there's no point nobody locks into that but we don't have a problem with lock-ins now if you're doing lock-ins for 300 or 400 i can understand that that's a big investment but if you do smaller denomination lock-ins 50 bucks isn't gonna make or break anybody let's be honest it's fucking 50 bucks you spend more than that go going for lunch some days with your friends so if you're crying over a 50 dollar loss because you windowed your block like you probably shouldn't be in racing i'm not saying but i honest. think to me to me a low dollar lock-in is i don't want to say it's pointless but to, to me that's pointless though because it to, gauges to, to, the interest I understand it gauges the interest, Mike, but you don't know for sure if they're coming. With a $50 lock-in, You never know if anyone's for sure. 90%, yeah, correct. It's a gamble that you take as a promoter, as a racer, you take that gamble. But with a $50 lock-in, 90% of these guys piss $50 when they wake yeah. up in the morning. Like, well, I guess like with our experience, we got lucky because most people don't want to donate that. Oh, even I, that agree. $50. I agree with Mike. He, he's, kind of, he's right. Yeah. But I, also, I also think that it's real easy to blow off a race for a 50 for 50 bucks. So, no, you are, I mean, but you can blow off a race at, with look, nothing look what, invested. Look what happened at gangster's paradise when we chipped drew before the event. Oh yeah. yeah people bailed. <laughs> they all bailed. You, a bunch yeah. of people bailed. I learned a big lesson there, but well, you know, yeah. the other thing would be this is, you know, obviously people guarantee purses because they're trying to get car count. Oh, for sure. Okay. But yeah. that's a, that is a uh, if you're promoting your event and putting a good and, and doing things the right way, you don't need to do that. You you better not need to do that's not the right way to do it, is what I'm saying. Now look, I'm I'm guaranteeing five grand on top of the purse at the purge right now, but I'm doing it for one reason because it's a new event to get people there. You know, I, it ain't no secret. I'm not no, and I res I respect the money put on top. I really hate, and I think a lot of racers hate that fucking guaranteed money at x amount of cars oh, like, that's just that's stupid. Stupid. stupid that shit's stupid there's no if guarantee you... in that no hey, let's talk about that's basically, that's basically let's, let's talk about it there's a race right it now is. and i yep. I, I, I cannot I, I cannot i cannot find the flyer right now but there's a race right now it's 128 cars or some shit and it's a hundred thousand to win but you do the math on the buy-in plus 128 it's a hundred one thousand dollars. They're they're literally making a thousand dollars just simply off of the, the the aspect of it. They're gonna pay a hundred k. I heard about but you no, got but they won't they won't pay the hundred k. That's the thing because if those cars don't show, there is no hundred k. Yeah, I, I have to it? find the flyer, dude. I can't find it. I've been looking for it everywhere. But that's the problem with Before these you events. It. You look at those flyers and you're like, oh, sick! It's ten grand that's, to win, and then you read the small print at 64 cars so if they get so, 10 cars the, there is no 10 grand there was one this the back end of last year and it caused a lot of confusion the day of the event because it had fifteen thousand dollars to win for small tire right fifteen thousand mm -hmm. to win then you start getting to the bottom and it was down in a little box in the corner and it had a it was fifteen thousand to win for small tire but they had a second chance race that twenty five hundred dollars of that fifteen thousand went to the second chance race, and then twenty five hundred went to the winner to the runner up of the event, and the winner got ten thousand. So the winner showed up expecting when he got they walked out with a check for ten thousand. He's like, supposed to be fifteen k. What the fuck? And they're like, they had to literally pull the flyer out and show him the breakdown. And he's like, well, I won't be back here. Like, it's the shady shit has got to stop. Like, like, I'll say this. Like, I've had luck with the guaranteed free entry did that but that's our region we've got cars in here that i know is going to support it i i'm Always. never worried about that but you know it's kind of 
when I did the lock-in style stuff with the back of the track, you know, I did, I took a hundred on the lock two two hundred on day of 300 total. And if I was going to do more, I was actually getting ready to bump it up to 200 on the lock and a hundred on the day of. Yeah. Just but see, that's, I the part, of, that's the part people don't like. Well, the problem was I had so I had more people coming from out of town and probably I had locals, but I had probably two thirds of the field was 10 to 12 hours away driving to the race. And they said that hundred's good. And they were thankful for it. But they said at the same time, that's only 6,400. I think we should bump it up to this. And I was like, you know, more I thought about that because I was seeing who was coming. I was like, it makes sense. And guys were willing to pay it anyway. So Some you know what? Once your event is established, yeah. there's zero reason for lock in. Hey, Justin I, I, Lee, like just, I said before, yeah. if I get 106 cars at War in the Woods, fine. Yeah. Small tire. If I get 48, fine too. Yeah. Like I Justin was, Lee said, he made a valid point. He said, no point in paying a lock in if there's no cap. Yeah. I would thousand do, percent agree. I would do 64 cars and we'd sell out anywhere from 20 minutes into opening up lock ins to an hour max. We'll see. And what I, I don't, think Jeff would sell out lock ins too for War in the Woods because hmm. it's a staple event now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I could if do you're that just if a I promoter, do that, but I don't want to do lock ins because financially it's an issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. A big issue. Well, check this out. So uh, for Outlaw Armageddon, I'm working, with Bi- I'm working for with Big Mark on Outlaw Armageddon. And we're on Thursday night during testing. I did it last year. Um, it's going to be a $1,000 buy-in. It's a $500 lock-in. There's, it's capped at 16. There's 16 cars, $1,000 buy-in, 500 has to be sent on a lock-in, and it'll pay 20 k This is on Thursday, but on during testing before we even get to badass. the other stuff. But, I mean, like that one. It's 16 cars, and there's probably going to be 40 or 50 small tire cars that come. We cap it at 16. I have to take a lock-in. The first 16 to pay me that lock-in, I'll take two alternates. Well, it's alternate. the, that's the exact same thing. Is that there, here's the difference with what you're saying there. You only you have the select elite few that want big buy-ins, mm-hmm. big buy-ins, yes. and big pots, okay? Just like Gangster's Paradise. It's 500 a day to race, two separate races, 250 lock-in. The reason I do that is... I'm trying to guarantee myself a 64 car field. Yeah. When they've yep. got 500 invested in lock-in, I'm 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 pretty sure they're going to be there. Now, here's the other thing you do. I have an alternate list, so I tell them if something happens and your car breaks and you can't fix it the week or two before, the sooner you tell me, the sooner I get an alternate on the list, and they send you your 500 back. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So they got a way out to get their 500 back. You know what I mean? That's the same but, way I do. But you're, the, the problem you're always going to struggle with is this, and every promoter deals with it, okay? You got a bunch of crybabies out there that whine about a $200 buy-in, okay? You got guys that want $50 hat races with no lock-in. You know what I'm saying? So as a promoter, you better draw the line in the sand of what you, what kind of event you want to put on. You want to put a bullshit $50 buy-in race on, or do you want to have a race? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, That's the way I look at it. Now, now, don't get me wrong. You don't want to price yourself out of racers. You get what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. right. you know what I'm saying? You need to, you know, like if you talk to the, and I'm not trying to cater to what you would call the faster guys, but as a promoter, you want the fast guys there. That's what sells tickets to put people in the seats. And what brings fast guys there? Big pot. Money. Money. Yeah. Money. Okay. That's just the way it is. Whether you whether somebody likes it or not, that's how it is, and that's how it's always gonna be. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. NHR doesn't, also... doesn't put fans in the seats with some unknown funny car driver. They do it with John Force. And that's what I'm saying. Like even the the NHRA stuff, like the, the pro stock bikes and stuff. You watch the stands when like the pro stock bikes come up. Yeah, it's cool, but most guys they're there to see the top fuel cars and the funny car cars. Like oh yeah, nobody cars. cares about it. Right. I'm just saying you got to, you, you know, define what you're going to do with your event. You know what I'm saying? And, and like you guys just said, I I think, you know, and I'm not hating. Like, I know Corey does re-entry. I mean, I personally don't like that at all. But everybody's got their something. If something works for one person and it doesn't for another, great. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not trash talking it. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a college educated person. I just look at things with a tremendous amount of common sense. And I don't think anybody expects to race for free. You know, you know what I'm saying? I know that I can't walk out the door of the shop and think I'm going to go do anything without paying money. 
<laughs> you well, know, that's the like, thing too. Is like I try to take it into consideration. Like if it's a ten thousand to win, right? You're it's a ten thousand dollar to win. Whoever wins that, depending on where they traveled from, their expenses could be different. If they traveled 17, 20 hours, they they really only made eight thousand dollars. You know what I mean? And by the time they get home, that eight just turned into six. Like you add all the fuel and the cost and the stuff to travel to these events. That's what I try to take into consideration as to a lot of this stuff is. I will say the, this though, free entry does work to get car count there. That's that's a given too. That's a fact, right? right? Well, the you got a big local that, local. The problem with that is this: you do, you still don't generate any of your ten grand. You get what I'm saying? So if you don't have that money guaranteed in sponsorship and you and you get a small gate, you're coming out of pocket. You know what I mean? That's that's the problem. I mean, that's you know that's not an opinion. That's a fact. You you gotta you gotta generate money from somewhere to pay these guarantees, right? I tell you, for a while I didn't have sponsors, and that's why I'm glad I do. They do pay a good portion of it. I still come out pocket some, but that's mm. just me. I'm, well, I know I, I know I'm going to promote and make it, buddy. Every I, and here's the other thing: if you're promoting a race and you're not coming out of pocket and adding that purse, you need to reevaluate what you're exactly, doing. Exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's for sure. You know, I'm not saying you got to put ten grand up, but. I mean, if you're promoting your event and you're getting spectators through there, you gotta you need to take some a little bit chunk of that and give mm -hmm. it back to the people that put the show on that bring the spectators then. Yeah, Have a little, you know, a little appreciation for the racers. <laughs> you gotta pay your workers. Yeah, the they, racers I mean, are yeah, the workers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Some races uh, can, some races you can't do that. Man, mm -hmm. I think everybody sh should be really concerned, or at least I am, with those small car counts. I mean, that's, that's, it, that's, it, that's it, a it's serious weird. indicator whether you want to buy into that or not. I mean, there's, there's something to that, you know? And yep. I think in a sense of Deckers this weekend, you had so many people that have this misconception of that place. And it's just yeah. showing them again this weekend, that place is safe. It is fine. It's just, you're trying the bad thing we were to, I was talking with somebody else and they said, the, if I mentioned Decker boys to you, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? That the first crashed up cars. Yep. And it's not well, yeah, it had a different anymore. set of obstacles to overcome, yeah. but yeah, you know, it would be interesting to have the promoter from Ozarks and Jackson and see what their opinion of their of their their flyer. Yeah, that's that the problem. Everybody's yeah. races were yep. the same. It wasn't just Decker boys, so I don't blame it on the surface. <laughs> I think people, it's just too much. Well, Jackson There's last year used to do ten thousand, now. and now it's five thousand. Seventy five. Used to do, was it seventy five? Seventy five. Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, well we learned was 10,000, now it's 7,500. Yep. Yep. What we learned down in Florida was if we had a race every month, the car counts would dwindle because guys would say, well, you know, I'm going to wait this month out because you got another race next month. So sure. then when you made less races, people came to all of them because there wasn't oh. a next race next month. They were that, like, okay, this is the last race I can go to, so we're going to make sure we're there. And that I was think something. now you're running into the same problem where guys are like, well, I don't need to go to Decker Boys this weekend. Next weekend's a race. The next weekend's a race. Well, every one of these tracks or promoters that started running one a month or, I mean, even one a month is too much. It's a lot. Oh, I mean, it's it's a dirty person on the street track. that one has one every other week. Every other week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, but you know what I'm saying? Lower. Every one, what is every one of them tracks that's running on no prep every month or twice or three times a month what do they all have in common somebody tell me uh no, low, they car, don't. Count. low, low car, car count, count. yeah low spectator count yeah uh, because uh, people get tired of the same thing every week watered down it's not watered cool down, i agree you know i think one of the one of the crazy i know it's gonna sound crazy but one of the things i'm happy about going to uh small tire gangsters this weekend i'm gonna see cars that i've never really seen before it's something new it's, a, it's yeah, a and plus you've never been that far uh west. south west south or west before. Huh. Yeah, I mean this is a this this could be a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. You, you oh, I'm know. fired up to go too. I mean that's a bucket list track for yeah. sure. I'm just bummed I'm not racing, but I mean that's I know it's going to be a cool play cool track to go to for sure. I think a lot of people are going to get burned this year, and then we're going to lose that saturation because I, guys are going to be like, "It ain't worth it." What did we're I? We're already on the downhill it? slide. We're already on the downhill yeah. slide of uh, Limpy's right. You know what? The the best thing that can happen this will, and some people will take this as offensive, is the cream of the will rise to the top, 
and the shitty ones will fall off because oh, they, they're, because some half ass promoter ain't putting 800 bucks in his pocket from the race. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's really what it is. Hopefully it comes down to, you know, that's what I mean. You'll have your pinnacle events, which are still the biggest ones like yours, for example. Uh, KD is another big one. KD cash days. I'm sure there'll be a good car count for that. Yeah. Like all the OG big events will still be there. It's all this other little bullshit that takes people. Because a lot of guys too, if you're going to travel, right? If they have an event right in your backyard or that you have to drive to Indiana to go to a different event, some guys are always going to choose the one in their backyard just because it's more convenient. Oh, yeah. 100%. So but you then know you what? lose yeah. those cars from the bigger events. In the perfect world, you know how things would happen? All those promoters and tracks that are running too many events a year. I mean, in my opinion, three events max at the same track in a year. Yeah, I agree max. with that 100%. I mean, anything more than that is ridiculous overkill. But so if, 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 if they all cut it down to, say, two events a year, and then somehow you could get all the promoters together Good to luck. work on the schedule. <laughs> I know you can't. I've tried to do it before, too. But with common, once again, common sense. If promoters would geographically schedule their races, it would take care of the problem you just said. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 100%. Like for, for example, like I think Corey's $50,000 race is a really good example. That race really doesn't encompass a big percentage of the guys that we normally race with. Like if you right. look at the, the car lit count on there, right? <laughs> like really if, if, uh, if I was, let's see, like if let's say Chris was running a race at Magnolia, Chris would still have a good car count. Yeah. And it wouldn't be any of the people. That hey, Jess, right. Jess, time out. Hey, I got somebody Whoa. on the phone. They said, <laughs> how fast have you been in a car? Tell them who you got on the phone. It's Mr. 470. It's, it's James Fudge, Mr. Whipple. Hold on. <laughs> Tell him he ain't got nothing too fast for Jeff to drive. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, nah. but yeah, like you're saying, I, I agree with that. And I told there was a promoter that canceled his race that was in that area. It was a no prep. And I was like, I don't understand why you canceled. I mean, I'm not pulling that crowd. There is yeah. no prep people, but it's not the people. You know what the other problem area. is too? Everything is a fucking no prep now. Every flyer says no prep. It's not even a true no prep. It's it's front side races. Those aren't no like every flyer I see on Facebook now, everything says no prep, small tire. No prep, small tire from these random tracks I've never even heard of, but everywhere now is just no prep, small tire on every flyer. I'll tell you, it's hilarious because I started thinking about that. And I remember back uh, in 2015 when I did that first one at Shadyside and all these tracks around there said I was stupid. It was the dumbest thing they ever heard. It'd never take off. Fast forward almost 10 years. Look at it now. Everybody's down there trying now to have everything it. is a no prep. There isn't a track you can go to that's not a no prep. And they, they're fucking sticky as shit. <laughs> you, you know, Limpy no. said to me the other night on the phone, though, that was interesting that I, I wasn't aware of. Like, he said down at the gut, they'll, they'll come watch Honda Civics make 15-second passes. They'll, they'll pile the people in there. I mean, now, it's so, you crazy. know, things are, things are different at different places. Yeah. Some places can actually get away with something like that. But I know in the mid, up here, whatever you want to call it, the Midwest, you can't do that. I mean, you just point. I, I mean, honestly... If I wanted to, I could run more in the grounds than the wood where it would be lucky to get a thousand spectators. Hmm. Right. Well, you're smart. You know, got common sense. Well, I mean, also, I'm, yeah. you know what the fuck you're I, doing. I, I wouldn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, the, yep. <laughs> I, I mean, that would happen. A lot of people would yep. go, you could never do that to War in the Woods. Yes, you could. Yeah, you could. I also I personally like events that are two day events. I do too. Because when you're traveling that far for a day, it blows. Like, yeah, you go right. there, you race for the day. I'll stay at a hotel just because I get tired and I can't drive all the way back after racing. But it still sucks. It's like you spend the whole time driving there and back. Especially You know another thing that a two-day event helps? You can run more second-chance races. So yeah. if a guy does travel and goes out first round in any class, you can run a buyback. You know I mean? Like me, I want to see everybody get a race. I'll run a buyback. I, if, if they want a buyback race, we try to run it every time. Yeah. No, I know. And it is, it does make it a lot better because nothing's worse than, okay, you just fucked up your tune up first round or whatever and you're out. Yep. And then that's it. You drove 10 hours for fucking six seconds of fun. And now you're, yeah, like I like watching racing, but I prefer to race. 
obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I brought my car not to sit on the bleachers and watch other people race. So that's yeah. why I like all these. Like, I like your race. I like Happy's race because even KD is like a weekend for me. Like, we go yeah. there. We're there early. We hang out with you guys. Then we race one day. Then we race the next day in multiple classes. I, I love that shit. You know what? I don't understand that. And I've said this before. I know to Happy and Limpy talking bullshit and is, is – when you, it's pretty obvious to look at the events that are really successful, right? Like you just said, the the Cappy and Limpy's race at KD. You know what I mean? Why aren't mm-hmm. other promoters copying what obviously works? I mean, I don't, I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, if a fast guy changes to a Hoosier tire in ten minutes, everybody's got a Hoosier on. You get what I'm saying? Why don't yeah. promoters have that same level of common sense to do what's working? I don't get that. I think, I think a lot of people are just looking for. for- quick payday too oh i think they don't want to put too. they don't want to put the effort into all of it they just want to you know make bigger quick than that you know what they don't want to do mike they don't want to spend the money to promote well, that correctly. Too. yeah that's the problem they don't want to get in their pocket and invest in their own race that and that's what you got to do 100 percent. and at the end of the day it's entertainment like the good events are good because they're entertaining yep it's not only about the racing. Yeah. Like what I like about War in the Woods is the atmosphere. You guys have the stage there. It's a it's a production. It's not just the race itself. It's all the bullshit around the race. You know, it's you just have more vendors. Fun to hang you out have with all your buddies at War in the Woods for whatever for, for some reason, right? Well, yeah, it's <laughs> just it. it's an it's an atmosphere, right? And yeah. you're building that atmosphere though. War in the Woods could be trash if it was just the fucking racetrack in the bottom of the woods. There, you had no vendors, no food, no nothing, and you literally yeah. just came there to race. In the bugs and in the heat, fuck that. Yeah, no, you're right. But, but you make it an atmosphere. You make it like uh, it's a it's an event. That's all I yeah. can say. It's a true event. Where some of these tracks you go to, there's nothing going on. You literally <laughs> just go there and it's disorganized. It's a mess, and you fucking race and leave. Chris, I think you guys should have a two day event at Magnolia. Magnolia is an awesome track. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that it would benefit you guys up there to. To maybe have a few, a couple less races, but have a couple that are, you know, you really work on trying to guarantee some money on top of the pot with a two day event. You might be surprised at, at how much financially it would benefit you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like two day well, events. I mean, are key. Well, I mean, so like with hopefully with us getting the track next year, um, that's going to be something that's going to be discussed just because. Having a two-day event there and then happen to get the track ready for the next day because of Sunday bracket racing, that sucks. Yeah. That absolutely fucking sucks. Stay but until you know, four you know why I say that? Because I really like that track too. Like we were saying that one day, you know, you know what I'm you remember we were talking? Um, you know, it's the tracks like KD, Magnolia, Brown County, uh, what else is a good example? Um, you know what I'm saying? That they're, they're yeah. those tracks where even if you can go 470 on it or something, it's very, very difficult to do it five or six rounds in a row. Yes. And that really makes the racing good. I don't think yeah. a lot of people realize that. You know what I mean? Um, in my opinion, I think that's a, I think that's the, the, the diamond in the rough about those places, you know? It is. Yeah, I agree. And, I, and you know, I've told the guys multiple times, like, dude, I said, I want to have Meg like Warren Woods. That's my goal in life. Like that, if there's any goal in my life I want, I want to have an event like your event. Not yeah. saying my event sucks now. No, but... it's, it's, it's good. That's why I say I think there's real potential, you know, to do it there. You know what I mean? And, and it's not something that happens overnight, obviously. War of the Woods didn't happen overnight. But right. if, you, if you have the right recipe there, you can do it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You know, a big yeah. thing I think that's a big deal is you have, like, we have two races a year there, right? And they're yeah. at the same time every year. Like, people don't even need to look at their calendar. Like, when the end of May runs around, rolls around, they know when it's, they know it's coming. They may not know it's this weekend, but it's one of the next two weekends, right? They don't even need to yeah. see an advertisement for it. Yeah. You know, that that's a big deal. We've had to change our dates before, but that's just obviously because I take very good care in making sure that we don't have races on top of anybody else. Yeah. You know, because I, I fucking force it. I, I've been down both your guys' throats the first of this year trying to get schedule out just because 
Yeah. Don't want to do that. But yeah, I, I hope that like, cause like a lot of people don't understand that like, you know, we have to stay till four or five o'clock in the morning to have that place race ready for our bracket race the next day. Yeah. And like with a two day event, like dude, that would be absolutely impossible. Couldn't do it. But hopefully with. Never us said being, you couldn't do it. You could do it. You just need some extra help and a, and a plan to make it happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. But hopefully, like with us, you know, getting a hold of the track 100% next year, that that's something that could possibly be done. I'm going to be running the track. It's already it's already been set up. It's already done. Um, and that's that's kind of like where we're at right now. I'm just kind of like in the waiting game at this point. You know, Happy, something I think that probably hurt Decker boys is you went from one extreme to the other with the surface, right? And then I think some people probably were like, man, we're going to be able to fly there. And I think some people were scared off by the big end of the track. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it like you, you, you tried to fix the, the one problem, right? Which I don't even necessarily think was a problem to be honest with you, but I'm to, to the, to the right. math that was right. And then the guys are like, well, shit, we're going to be able to fly. And the big end was a little, it's a little sketchy down there. Right. <laughs> going over that bump. Yeah. It's, is serious business. So, I mean, that could be part of what happened. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if it is or not, but. I've told nope. him multiple times he's going to have to spend some money down there. Got to spend some money on that track, on the shutdown, do some things. And I think he could build it back up. I mean, I think last oh. time I raced there, uh, we had to split at three cars. And I think the Prestons tore the rack and pinion plumb off the car going over the top. Yeah, they ground it off. Yeah. Yep. I mean, if that happens, that, that means that you pretty much know you got to do something to the track. Yep. You know? Because I think the place is cool, man. It bummed me out to see you guys only have that kind of car count. I mean, it, you know, them guys put a lot of work in down there. It, it needs to be made successful. Right. You know, and the, and you know the, the problem with that is, like, it takes the right kind of, you know, a guy. it takes people like us to make that happen. Those track owners... You know they can build a track. They can they can spend the money. They do all that. They they'll straight up tell you, I can't get the people in here. I need somebody else to help me. Right. <laughs> oh my! Any cars ever rip their shit going up the hill at Katy? Now there's definitely been quite a few drag. Ryan did some grinding on the way. On the There's, rear of the car. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ryan Tolley last year ground off the bottom of his four link brackets. So there's definitely been some cars drag some shit going up that hill. Um, Just made the car lighter. It's all needed. It's definitely different. Uh, fucking Maxwell is snoring so loud right now. No, that's I awesome. Can hear it, I can hear it over the <laughs> <Yeah>. headphones. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, don't yell at him, man. You scared the fuck out of him. That is impressive. <laughs> Go put the microphone up to him. I don't know if I'll wake him up. No, Limpy. the microphone won't go that far. Are you there? Check, check. Yeah. All right. I took my dog to the vet uh, on Tuesday. She's got her shots and they got her heartworm. And. We had to take her to the vet, fucking vet today. She fucking, she hadn't even eaten. She ain't doing nothing. Taking the medicine? Uh, no, I mean, she, she all she did was get her, her rabies shots and her heart guard shot for the six months. And fuck. Fuck. And then they wanted to charge her $600 to do fucking tests. And I was like, fuck, we just spent $350 in here fucking four <laughs> days before. Oh, fuck. They we gave her some give, medicine. Uh, you got me a ride lined up? Now he's talking to Fudge, and if there's anybody full of shit, it's Fudge. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking fact. That's Can you hear him? Uh, uh, I don't know who he's talking to now. Ain't no telling. <laughs> Y'all, I got motherfucking Jimmy Dale and Fudge on the phone in a three-way call. I'm trying. Oh, Send oh, help. That call sounds like a one. lot of this. Hey. <laughs> There's a lot of dicks touching. 
Blink once if you can talk. Uh, blink twice if you can't. Hey, look, I can just get on with y'all and watch. I bet you they talk by themselves for a good 10 minutes. Oh, my God. It's muted. I got it muted so they can't hear us. Can y'all imagine? Can you imagine what them two would, would sound like if they were in the same room with each other? Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine eating dinner with both of them motherfuckers. Got one full of shit. The other one's a lawyer. I mean, there's going to be... It's his son. I mean, the dude's like a brother. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all straight. He's, he's trying to talk him into letting... Jeff Thomas dropped crackhead, put crackhead, take it off radios, put it on slicks, and run it at the gun. And I'm like, I'm like, Fudge, I don't think I'm comfortable with letting my homie Jeff in this situation. Like this, that car just went fucking, I don't know how fast at XRP a couple weeks ago, and y'all have no testing on no prep, and you go put a slick on it. And he, because that's what he has. He said, "Can he drive a car?" I said, "Motherfucker, drive a car. Will it come back in the same way you got it?" Yeah, that's a baby. Hey, nah, I'd be willing to say crackhead on on radios has been. I know it's a grudge car, but it's probably been super fast. I bet it's been two hundred. Super fast. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, it's definitely probably been out of the four second range. I mean, it's, fast as fuck. it's super fast. What is the car? It's a. It's a. It's. It's actually. I believe it's Mustang Mike's old. Mustang and they redid oh, the cage on it. They redid it's got a big block, it's big block twin turbo. It's it's a it's a badass it's, car. I'm not gonna it's lie. It's badass. It's a radio car. It's a bad bitch. Straight up grudge car. It ain't got nitro seeing in or rested. Yes. Jeff's, Jeff's got turbo and and pro charger cars and nitro uh, yeah. cars. I mean, that's what happens when you're living the life, you know. You got you got the best of everything. No, I don't know when when uh when Jason Terrell sees the Nitrous Cowboy, he's probably gonna be like, "Yeah, this motherfucker's raggedy," and Jeff's gonna be like, "I mean, I mean, who built this beautiful motherfucker?" <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> I can tell you right now, me and Jason are pretty good buddy. And and Jason's idea of a beautiful car and mine are two different things. Two different 100%. cars. <laughs> hey, I, so I didn't tell him. I told him. I said, "Hey, man, it's a pretty nice car. It's, it, it, you know, it, it's got cage in it. You're good." I didn't give him all the details. So when he sees this, he may be like, "Yeah, I'm not sure about this." Yeah. Probably a dumb question, but has Frankenstein been 200 plus at the eighth? Not on a bad surface, obviously, but. Um, well, I do know that they grudge race that car on radials, and it's been fast. Hey, put Jasper's comment up there because he, he made a valid point. Another part of promoting is the T-shirts for the event. I have to buy 15 shirts that were worn in the woods for friends who couldn't make it. Plus, telling sponsors you're on a T-shirt, people wear for years helps too. 100. percent well, and, and that's it. I'm, I'm doing I've, I've that said, this year. I've said merch can be your biggest thing. You're that you can make a living off of merch alone. It's a you're it's a billboard. You're you're literally selling a twenty dollar billboard instead of paying hundreds of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars for a billboard space. Oh, no, you're putting it on somebody's back or on and their then, chest. Hey, hey, and, and the then thing, we go back to that statement about you need four to four XL and bigger sizes. Hey, uh, shameless plug here. On that note, uh, the War in the Woods website will be up soon, and the Thomas Racing Service with online stores for merch. Hell yeah, man! Uh, good yeah. shit. Yeah, dude, so rich he bought a track. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my media email in, or Jeff won't let me in. Hey, so you guys, tell tell them the truth, Happy and Limpy. Y'all been you all been to my house? Am I rich? You oh, don't have as many, <laughs> hey, you don't have as many. I mean, you're not happy, happy rich, but, but you're not happy rich. <laughs> but, you know, but you know, good, neither one, neither one of y'all, good. neither one of y'all scrounging like I am. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, he lives next to Papa John, and you lived. Uh, you live in fucking downtown, Indy. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell old Butch, let's turn that twin turbo big block loose. Uh oh, here we go. I sent a, I sent you a video of it. This is the car in. Oh no. No wait. No, that's oh. Jasper. Oh damn! I mean, that's a dope ass shirt. That's a dope ass shirt, dude. That oh, is. Yeah. Fuck. No. That car is fucking nasty, dog. 
Hey, you know, oh, yeah, it is. Hey, dude, with all uh, in the background. I, mean, a picture since we're, we're, I didn't know we were unveiling shirts tonight, but I'm cool with it. I'm going to send you another one that's badass. Wait till, wait till you guys see this. So I got shirts being made for Brown County Dragway right now, and they are badass. Well, let me Here see a picture, Corey. Or you want me to send you or Limpy or who? Send it to me, and then I'll show you a video of the crackhead that you're going to be driving. Okay. <laughs> Bad yeah. motherfucker, man. Bad bitch. Well, Jeff's gone. I don't know. I'm waiting, waiting on him to kill. Oh, that's that. Uh, is that Doc Holiday in the other lane? Poland. Mm. Uh, is that the nitrous Doc Holiday car? I sent it to you, uh, Limp. All right. Can you see this? Yeah, I see it. The red car is the uh, crackhead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she gets down. Oh, it's a bad motherfucker. Motherfucker's right. disgusting. Uh, let me get back. Oh, here we go. Uh, KW, I always wondered what Happy does for money. He's bawling. Never heard the story of Happy. Yeah, fuck the oh, RS. Right. Right. Damn, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh, that's like sick, cool isn't that? That's cool as fuck. Fucking Dylan killed it. Yep, Dylan did that. Yeah, I'm glad you said that, Chris. Give old Dylan Large a shout out. He he does a nice job. Yep. Damn, man. That's badass. Yeah, that picture, if that don't explain more in the woods, I don't know what does. Yep. 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 Jeff, who do you get to make your shirts, though? I got a guy local literally five minutes down the road from my shop that does all my shirts. He does Are they going to be a little, little better quality than the Warren the Woods ones were? Because I'll be honest, well, we those have, ones shrunk like a motherfucker. Well, we have the we have the at the last War in the Woods, we had the new material, the ones the ones oh, I okay. like, like the 50 the 50s or whatever. Ones. Yeah, but not the real thick ones. You know, I kind of like those too, but they got them new ones out now. That's kind of not that dry fit or whatever. I hate those things. Whatever you know the yeah. what do you call those? I don't know what they're called, but. Mike, uh, was it the shirt shrunk or was it the Florida living? Was it? No, it was <laughs> <Yeah>. the shirt. <laughs> Did one get smaller or the other one get bigger? bigger. <laughs> they both, some of both. But I know when I put the shirt on the first time, it was good. And the second time I dried it, and the motherfucker was like a wetsuit. That, that do you dry, was good do you dry your shirt or do you? I've never dried a shirt. I haven't dried a shirt in probably 20 years. Uh, yeah, I, like, I try not to. I, mine's always. I put I'm them in the dryer, that. but I put all the shirts in there on low heat, and they seem yeah. to be fine. It was just that one year I was like sad because I really liked the shirt. Hey, like, are you guys, oh. uh, you table members, ready to eat your tomahawk pork chop at uh <laughs> at the table? You fucking oh, yeah. right. That's You've what got they my mouth watering now. Had. I've never had. Yeah, I've never had tomahawk. I've never had. I'm telling you, you guys are in for a treat, boy. Oh, I just, I've had a tomahawk, but I've never had a tomahawk. Jeff Jeff actually beat me to the punch, and his race is still weeks out, but I just sent Lippy y'all are first ones to see it. It hadn't been released. Can I actually have a tomahawk steak instead of a tomahawk pork chop? You may love it. Oh, those are That's sweet, too. Small Tire yeah. Gangster shirt. Do you and have four XL? Yeah, that is <laughs> going to be... That's you have fat boy sizes. Yes. You have fat oh, boy sizes. Man. Damn, man, that, and that bottle label's dope. So that'll be the bottle label on all the winning bottles. Did you do all your shirts black, Poland? We got some gray. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Dude, so we, we Tom did the, uh, Jimmy Dale, did the uh, heartbeat of small tire shirts. Night and day oversold everything else. And everybody's comment on it was, the, it's it's not black. It's not black. It's not see, black. Like, see, and, and it opposite. sucks because. That's I mean in our world you wear black because everything like it just shit just you get covered in shit but um, people like different colors they do yeah. yeah I like I like the black shirt just because it makes me look a little less fat <laughs> yeah that's why the black is good agreed <laughs> agreed look at everyone here everybody's wearing black 
<laughs> crazy. Oh, yeah, no, all I Jeff. used to wear was white t-shirts. Except for Jeff. Yeah, except for Jeff. It, it, Jeff over here, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> bro jasper killed me earlier i don't know if y'all seen that comment but he said i didn't know y'all had the goldberg on tonight yeah <laughs> maybe i even brought the i even brought the comment up but nobody said nothing oh i, I put it, it up i put it up before and nobody didn't say anything <laughs> you, you guys would laugh. Wait, listen we all got to take a vacation sometime to mexico or somewhere you guys will laugh your ass off I ain't going anywhere on vacation with Jeff. That's for you, you think I was some kind of celebrity. I mean, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm in. I'm down. Ah, hey, fuck it. You Jeff me just rolls it. her eyes like it annoys the shit out of her. I go, I, you should have thought twice before you decided right. to marry a famous dude. <laughs> <laughs> what does what Goberg say? What's his little line? Do you ever say it? What's his line? You're next. Do you, do you ever say that? <laughs> Jeff, hey, I swear to God, Jeff, I swear to God, I swear in a chip draw, if you don't hit anybody with the, as soon as you draw their chip and find out, and you don't hit them with the, you're next. I'm going to dis- yeah, I'm, I'm be so disappointed. I'm not really, honestly, you know, the funny thing is, I know I probably have a big personality, but I'm not really that good of a shit talker. I don't not, not I don't really ever talk shit like the other guys I'm racing. I seen on. the I seen the racing videos. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean motorcycle racing. Oh no, that was different. I was a little cocky then. Now I'm kinda of not like that. <laughs> Plus, you know the real reason why? I'm just smarter. Every time you watch somebody talk a bunch of shit, they usually get their shit. Yeah, they get fucked and up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, that's true. I've noticed a lot of people I've learned too. They they there's not a lot of shit talk before the race. I just I like Limpy was saying, if you could get somebody down there on the finish line when some of these dudes get out of the car, it would be literally content gold. Yeah. No, it would be. Or I'll like, be standing even, down there in the I'll have to find somebody that does that can do live on my one phone and I got my trap phone and then I can just have them and I'll have switch. like an earpiece. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm I'm coming over here. Go ahead. Yeah, yep. but I mean, look at how well all the uh, the in car camera stuff does. You know what I mean? Like the in car camera stuff always does really well. Um, I think it that's it would be it would make good content. It'd be hilarious. You would get to see a different personality from some of these guys. So Fudge putting that weak motherfucker on a slick or what? They they <laughs> they talking about it. I don't. <laughs> From the talks of it, I talking about yeah. talking shit. Let's Bro. fucking go. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Too bad Raska ain't got his stuff going. He'd probably let you drive his shit. He would. Yep. He hundred yep. percent would. Guarantee it. Hey, no, I don't know. Both y'all, both y'all have bad track records with Vegas, man. I'm just saying. That's true. It's about yeah. ready to go, though, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, Bill just built the headers for it. They just got done today, and. Uh, I got a, and that now the front end's got to get painted and the piston ship Friday. I mean, I, dude, I was, I was a week away from, you know, yeah. being able to have a car there. You know what I'm saying? That's what sucks. Yeah. Or it's gotten. Hmm. Grudge talk is all show till it's really personal. Yeah. That's most of the grudge shit though, is to get underneath the other person's skin to run the pot up. Yep. It's all about the money in the end of the day. Well, it, it's a mind game too. Racing's a mind game. If you can make the other guy on the other lane get after he does his burnout, if you can make him second guess or think, you already you, you've got most of the win done there. Hey, how how fast are they gonna you gonna have to go to win small tire at the gut this weekend? Previously, it's been it's been. 470s, 480s, somewhere in there. This, this, I think this year it's going to be, it's going to be kind of like War in the Woods. You know, it opened a lot of people's eyes. I think it's going to be some 40s and some 50s. Yeah. But it, it's also a suspension time. They're the, the strongest guy, the fastest dude there may get knocked out first round because the, the transitions there are just like War in the Woods. They're random spots and it's right in the middle of the group. You have to go over them. So your suspension shit. I, that's why I like small tire, like the the war in the woods and the and the small tire gangsters, the gut type stiff, because it's not only just a tuning game. Like, I'm not saying I don't want to discredit anybody, but a lot of people it, is just you turn you push an air, you turn an arrow up, you put so much power in it, you think you know what it holds. Let's do this. You know what I mean? You have a good idea on your suspension. Anybody goes to war in the woods, stuff like that, these transitions and shit. It's got it's a suspension and a tuning game. Sure. 
Well, it's it the makes same old thing. It's just way harder to be consistent at those kind of numbers. You know what I mean? Right. And that's why, like, we say it nonstop. You know what I mean? That's why there's cars that's been in the finals at War in the Woods that's never been in the fours. And there will be car. There will be a couple cars that go deep into the next War in the Woods that's never been in the fours. I'll take any yeah. bets that anybody wants to. That's what I was saying earlier. Just consistency. It's you know it's hard. I mean you know are are there guys out there that are putting laying down some licks down there, some serious numbers? Absolutely. Are they able to do it five or six rounds in a row? That's hard. <laughs> That's yeah. real hard. Yeah. That's a good question, Logan. How many of you have totaled a drag car at the track? Yeah. I totaled one on the street. Jeff's definitely wanted one or two up at the track and street i've never wrecked anything you've never, never wrecked, wrecked anything not not at the track no i've 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 wrecked uh not a not a drag car but i've wrecked don't ask me big for car. advice because you're liable to end up just like me big time <laughs> hey you remember that meme from the last show with him naked yeah. yeah, that definitely wrecked some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Facts. Justin Lee, yep, yeah, he's wanted one up. Jasper, he's definitely wanted one up. Did y'all see this? Uh, I got, I got sent this. Apparently, uh, uh, I did nah. see that on Facebook. Oh shit, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yep. Yep. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Uh, play it again. Bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What is that? Oh like shit! That's, that's that's Billy and, and uh, boys, boys. What you gonna trying to little. What you gonna do oh shit! Oh, oh so hard. Right. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. So check this out. That was from Back yesterday. In, I'm sure. Kraken went to Ohio, and their plan was to do the street race during the eclipse. eclipse. I don't know if they got it done. I haven't talked to him. No. Um, no. But, yeah. That's, Not during uh, the eclipse. They were going out afterwards. Yeah. Hey, Happy, look at your look at your text messages. Man, don't Popo, send me no Popo more dick pics. Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit really oh. <laughs> yeah is that me who is that that's you in you, the middle that's that's you knocking out somebody for 15 dollars oh shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> y'all y'all motherfuckers don't realize the value of 15 <laughs> right Limpy? right these motherfuckers don't know they don't call they they didn't they they weren't raised on the poor side of town like we were Not, exactly yeah, they were originally going to. They were originally going to come up here because I'm closer to the the uh, like darkness, and we were going to knock off a street race when it went to total darkness. And after everything that happened Sunday, they decided they probably shouldn't do that. Was it bad up there for cops with that shit? Oh, by me? Yeah. Uh, down there where they're at, yes. By me, yeah. no. Yeah, I can Holy attest shit. Columbus is not a good area for the police. No. Chris, you got a calculator? Yeah. I got one. Let's do some math real quick. Okay. Got a race flyer pulled up here on my phone. Okay. Do three payments of $265. Okay. Times 128. It's 101,000. Seven hundred sixty. Damn, man. One hundred one seven sixty. That's crazy to only guarantee a hundred grand at one hundred twenty-eight cars. <laughs> so they make it. They make it seventeen hundred. That's so they, pocket, that's so a they bracket. pocketed a thousand dollars. That's that bracket life. Seven hundred something. Bracket. bracket. Yeah. These motherfuckers. Like, I don't I've know heard. who this is or anything oh, about holy it. Shit. I've got it on my phone. Limpy, I just sent you two pictures. Look, this was exactly a year ago today. Happy, you're right. No way. This, this was a year. I don't know. I've seen some shit like that. 
<laughs> exactly one year ago today. Damn, man. Whew. That's, that's a lot of money. That's a nice pile. That was last year's small Jason's car Jason's arm ain't big enough. <laughs> His arm ain't big enough to hold all that bread. Limpy right there. I'm pretty sure we was we was over it. I might have been. Yeah, it was a long day. How what much did, did he win? How much was uh, that then? It was like seventeen thousand or something like that. Fuck it. Fives and tens and twenties. Yeah. yeah. A lot of fives. <laughs> a lot of it was one. There was like six grand in ones or something like that. Oh, and we gave shit. it I gave it to him. I told him I said, go straight to the strip club. <laughs> oh, Jasper sent me something. Uh oh. There's oh, Buddy boy. Burnswell. Buddy Burnswell. There's uh I thought I seen Pat McCrotch in there, but I guess it didn't. This is hay bale, I bet you. Is that Noah Stein in the far lane? Yep. Looks like it. I think so. Put your body down, Jasper. <laughs> oh shit let me get that back let me get the back to the to the fucking i forgot what he said at the end <laughs> look at it right. what did he say turn the tot what something hey, something Jasper. mother yeah What'd you say, Jasper? What'd you say? I think he Something said take, motherfucker. I said he. I think oh, yeah. he said take. I think he said take that motherfucker. I like <laughs> it. Because we just had them on uh, the show uh, last night, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Apparently, Noah Stein is a is a, is a um, uh, straight arrow Gennaro. He's never done anything bad. He's uh, let's fucking party. He said uh, he's never done anything bad. He didn't have a bad story about it. They, well, he, he kind of ran somebody off the, the road with his trailer a little bit. <laughs> Dude, that was his worst story criminal. ever. Yeah, that was <laughs> right. Story. He oh, is, man. I mean, like, I could see that though, because like, he's just, he's just a nice, like, That's, he's just generally nice. He's Noah, a good dude, though. I like Noah a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Noah's from Connecticut, not, uh, yes. or, yeah, that's why. Yeah. He, he, yep. he, 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 he avoided the New Yorkness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely yep. ain't no Tabor. <laughs> well, you know, maybe I can play the maybe I can play the 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 video. Oh, here it is. All right, here it goes. Like I say they want Billy. Have watched him for a long time. They have boatload of evidence compiled on Billy. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. I finally got it to play. I had to unplug all my fucking side monitors and everything. If they this, want to make it, my God, good. this. Dude, if y'all if y'all fucking can't laugh at if y'all if y'all can not laugh at this, y'all have got more fucking stones than I do. I'm I'm telling you here. I'm telling you. All right. Oh my god. Do you have video? Do you have the audio? That's yours and shit. You got audio? (laughs) Oh my god. I've already seen that. That's yours and shit. Shit. Fuck that <laughs> <laughs> He is ripped. Hey, have you seen the one where they he's on the second story of I don't know if it was a house? Or I got a bunch of videos. Up. Oh yeah. my god! I think that was in their their compiled video of just craziness that they. Yeah, because we played a bunch of videos last night, and I was like, God dang, these are fucking go, dude. These hey, guys live the fucking life now. If you can outdo the the spoof of the Hoskinson deal it, i'll i'll kiss your ass because i literally almost threw up laughing at that you know who frankie is frankie rappa yeah he was on the show last night oh my god you see him in that one have you seen that happy no you've never I seen I, it i can uh-uh. see if i can find it i can see you if I can will find fall it. out of your fucking chair it is the funniest <laughs> shit you've ever seen. Well, that was uh i mean it's beyond it's funny it's, it's good. good i don't think i have See if you can find it, Limpy. We got to watch that. Uh, I remember I even said something to me and Billy T- Hoskins, and we're talking, and Billy even said, That's hilarious. Maybe Devin's on. Maybe he can send it to me. Maybe Devin's can send it to me. Uh, Wait. Wait. 
Is that the New Jersey thing? Is that is that what you're yeah. talking about, Jeff? Yes. Oh my God. That was Tell me there's great. a better one. There's not. That's no. Really funny. No. <sighs> Dude. God damn, I forgot all about that. And Frankie is hilarious in it. Oh, Frankie. Oh my God. Didn't Frankie oh, yeah. in his underwear? I don't remember. It's like oh, a miniature happy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where you'd even find that at. I can find it. It might be on YouTube. Hold on, I got I got a whole bunch of videos that they sent me last night. Oh boy. <laughs> Them dudes are wild, man. Yeah, they're hilarious. Oh shit. Patrick Billy was driving the uh the pace car. The pace car. It was right oh. in front of the truck. Oh shit. Here's a good one. We already getting fucking banned anyway, so what the fuck? Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. That's badass, man. You know, though, they remind me, and I see the one dude on there skateboarding, but they remind me of like the wild ass skateboarders that you see all the old video, like just living wild and free and don't give a fuck and partying. It's like being 20 again. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, I actually I got a funny story. Up. I got a funny story about that exact video. So Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Here it is. Are we ready? Are we gonna tell your story yeah. first? Go ahead. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. I was around the net. Oh my god. I ain't doing it. You like this idea? You try to use all these scare tactics on me like you're a big bad bear. Stupid <laughs> 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 fucking bitch. You don't know nothing about this goddamn turbo mullet. You come around here, you don't know shit. At least I'm not like those other girls that just run away. Well, I wish you were. You said it. God damn right, I said it. What is this all about, right? <laughs> it's a fucking day. No, it's about you looking like a goddamn slut every time you come out of the house. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> hey, somebody answer me something. Why is Haver wearing a grinding mask? <laughs> <laughs> so, so check this out. Oh they, my God! David David Tabor had raced with Kraken in the streets of when they went up to New York and all that, right? And uh, David Kraken told David to hit me up. He was wanting some Nitro stuff, and I worked with him, got him all situated. And uh, I went and asked the owner. I said, "Hey, you know, can I do these guys like a, a racer discount or whatever? I think you know, good marketing, got it, because they were going to make some content for us and all of that." And I'm like, "Good or bad, it's content." You know what I mean? And uh, He's like, yeah, sure, whatever. And mind you, the owner of Nitro's Express is like in his mid seventies. Like he's he's an older guy. And he asked me the name. I tell him Dirty Dollars Race and all this, blah blah blah. This man comes in the office next morning and said, Polo, meet me in my office. I'm like, okay. So I roll off in the office, and he said, I watched. I pulled up their stuff last night. Why do I feel like I just watched a pilot for Jackass, and we just gave them a bunch of Nitro's? There you go. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to call like we didn't give it to him, you know what I mean? But we helped him out and it was like, dude, it was insane. Like 
the owner was like, I'm scared. Like, I'm nervous for what's fixing to happen. And I was like, I think they'll be smart about it, but I, there's no promises. Right. It's either going to, it'll make, it's going to market one way or the other, good yep. or bad. <laughs> Blevins, hey, have, you, right have you guys seen the video where like... David had the Zephyr? Did you ever see that? So he had a, he had a Mercury Zephyr that had a nitrous LS in it. And it had no cage, all a factory original interior. And they did a video of him. Uh, he was like bang. They were partying their asses off and he was banging it through the motor on like an 800 shot. Oh, shit. Oh, and they sprayed God. it on the, they sprayed it. I can't remember if it was six or 800 on the dyno. I mean, he was, he was pouring beer down the carburetor when it was running. <laughs> oh my God. They're wild. Oh, where's David at? Where is he at? He need to be in these comments. Well, he was on, he was on the show last night for a little bit. And then yeah. I think he had to go to, there's a midget, uh, midget um, Monday nights at the down at the beer joint. Jesus, yeah. man! Terry not gonna be happy with y'all. Making fun of <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that video. I've never, I've yeah, never, really? I've never, I've never seen that one. That's Dude, that's I've great. Seen. That's fucking great. Oh man! Yes, Logan. <laughs> yeah, you're on it there. God almighty. Hey, they so I have like I don't say insider information because I think it's all out now, but that fucked Asian up. That oh, shit was chair. serious. Yeah. The chair with the nitrous, somebody yeah, mentioned it in the comments. Up. Hey, that fucked him up. Didn't it like spin him around and he fucking got Oh, spun him around all right. He was like a rag doll. It's so he would. They said that he they he went to the hospital and so like he was spinning at such a speed it was literally flowing all the blood to the top of to his head. Like they said he could have had a heart attack doing that shit. Oh shit! Wow, (laughs) it was rolling. Oh bro, that was (laughs) (laughs) it was funny too. It was. It made great content. Oh yeah. I think the, the the content with you in the passenger seat getting folded up like a lawn chair would be great. It's got to happen. Doubt. It will make good. And with Tom's car, the way it travels, uh, shout out, shameless plug, Jeff Thomas down there. Uh, <laughs> it's going to, it's going to, it'll All throw so travel. far. Dude, it's going to be insane. Like, hey, Jeff, we put those, uh, so we, we sent you his and we put Brent's spares that he had, which are. Who has my shocks or who has my struts? I got a new set for you, Limpy, because okay. I I hooked up, helped Brent out. Yeah, there okay. you go. I was I gonna do. say, don't get me in the middle of bullshit. And get I, was me like, I, was, I was like, I know I got Brent, but I can't. I was like, was it Brent or was it Jason? I can't. Well, though, hey, we put these motherfuckers on Tom's car to make the race, and Tom's like, bro, my car's sitting like a monster truck. It's got like a Carolina squat. He's like, what's the difference in these shocks? And Brent was like, yeah, I forgot to tell you, those got few extra inches on them, like. No, you probably ain't ever heard that, but it's got a few extra on it. <laughs> and bro, Tom, let's go of the trans break at Nakona. And I kid you not, you could see it in his face. He thought he was like, you know, when you fall backwards and you, there's nothing to catch you. That's how his face was. You could see it when he let, he was like, he got scared. Like he was fixing to fall over backwards. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. How much long, how much fucking longer before you have a car running? Hopefully in the next two weeks. Oh yeah. Justin Lee said who coming. has his shocks? I'm I'm messaging, I'm replying to Justin right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Sorry, didn't mean to open up Pandora's me, boxes. He sent me two pairs of destroyed struts that have broken parts <laughs> everywhere. I've had to machine everything. I, I literally I don't even know how many hours I have. Right now, today, I probably spent two hours on them, and so far out of the four struts, I've got one to work correctly. I I didn't even know why about it. You know, sometimes you run into something, and it's just like, it's a disaster, honestly. Damn. Is it the ones from Dig or Die when it slammed down from the Willie? Yep. Damn. It made good content, though. (laughs) Right. I'm sure Justin just heard that. I, my, <laughs> thing was taking flight, man. Whenever it happens. 
Hey, Poland, I got a, did you read that? I got a question about yeah. this weekend. What time will first round of 530 be Saturday? Sometimes. What are y'all starting with? Small tire little gangsters will be off the trailer. <clears throat> don't right, know which one. One is your biggest one? Yeah, I mean, I, we, you know what I mean? I don't have a list or anything or any, like, I don't, I don't know who's all going to show it. I, be, I base it off a of car count. And then, you know, obviously little gangsters and small tire, I want to separate the two because there's a lot of small tire guys that run the 530 stuff. Right. Uh, and what all classes is Saturday? Anything on 28th. Little Gangsters, um, Foot Break, then Cheap Street and Quick Street. And what's the indexes on? The- Quick uh, Cheap Street uh, is pretty much full interior, like uh, street car, 650 uh, to 690. Uh, and then Quick Street, uh, 560 to 590. Uh, and then Foot gotcha. Break. I mean, literally Foot Break is anything that you can Foot Break. Oh anything. <laughs> anything. Justin, I am trying. Trust me, buddy. Trust me. So if you see somebody else's stuff go out before yours, it's not because I'm not working on them. I'm just not going to ship them to you until they're right. You ain't going to band-aid them? Under road racing, fair enough. So we can run both. They can run small tire. Yes, you can run little gangsters and anything on 28s. Oh, you're allowing double entries, Poland? Yes. Oh, yeah. Triple, yeah. Quadruple. Yeah. And, yeah. And two's the max. A two is the max. I, I put that in place that this year it's two. Uh-huh. Two is the max. I'm not because last year, I mean, Limpy knows I had people that were running literally every single class. Yeah, one guy win uh, Outlaw Daily, True Street, and almost win Small Tire. Mm-hmm. Damn, he almost Chris Wood today. <laughs> right. Almost gave him a triple crown with, with a Coyote motor. With a fucking, with a Mustang with full interior with a Coyote motor. Them coyote motors, man, they're three ninety nine capable. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, did he go? Did he go three ninety eight now? Yeah, Rife went three ninety eight. I thought he went ninety nine with an eight. Oh, was it? Or well, maybe it might have been. Uh, I was gonna say what I seen was ninety nine with an eight, but I didn't know if he made another pass since then. Whatever. Where it's what's the oh one one millionth? <laughs> I'm, we found the Coyote guys. Found we finally get to play the LS card. That was cam only. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cams only. What do y'all think about that? So if you say stock, uh, uh, I see. I read. I started reading all the the comments in this deal, and it's. I mean, obviously, it's got sleeves in it. Is it still a stock block? Still. Stock block. I mean, I can see the argument both ways. Yeah, I feel like it is, but I mean. <laughs> You know, it is a stock block, basically. So technically it is. But I mean, dude, these blocks that the guys that I, I know that the presses have been 420s on and set the LS stock block record, that thing is the furthest thing away from a stock fucking block. Is that the outer piece of it that you could ever imagine? I right. Mean, they're, they're serious fucking pieces. You would have less money in buying an aftermarket block than building one of these badass stock blocks. Yep. Yeah, you could buy I an think it's not a stock cheaper. block after you fucking sleeve it. Yeah, and I mean these motherfuckers out the window. are boring the cam tunnels out of them, putting roller yeah, like that's not a them, stock like... block. A stock block is how the block came from the factory, and you shove some internals <laughs> in it. That's a stock block. It's just like this chassis car bullshit when you say, "Oh, I got four inches of fucking frame left." Yeah, that's back not half. a chassis car. Yeah, yeah, back up my balls. Right. But I mean, it, 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 see, <laughs> I can see both ways, but. The the man drives that car on the street. He does drag week. He does all of that. It's not I'm, like a. I get all that, but it's not a stock block. I agree. I mean, I'm never. A, like, I do. That's yeah, I mean. Stock. Yeah, I agree. I'm up for a term one. that they use. Yeah, know, it's the just past. a term now. Everyone says all stock if, stock. If you, this. Yeah, like off to all glass. Yeah, right. same shit. Let me put it this way: when I do stock block races, and I know when the other promoters do it around this area, when they come to the lanes and we check the block. We're looking on the outside. We ain't telling them to take heads off. Well, and that's can. and that's how they tech them, you know, yeah. anywhere for the stock that's block stock stuff. Block. But I mean, some of these blocks now, like it's <laughs> crazy the money that they're spending on. I know to have Bischoff convert a stock six two liter LS over to one of these fully prep race engines, I could have a badass block. 
serious block for what that shit costs. Yeah, mine's a stock block hey, too. Just how dark guys, made it. PRS gonna have them available here before long. <laughs> Hell yeah. What PRS? What Some is it? Sleeve deal. Yeah, LC nine five three blocks with dart and sleeves filled with uh, epoxy and oh, and uh, and uh, <laughs> fire rings, cam and and uh, mains line board. Hell yeah, yeah. Like, so th- I'm gonna try to have them where they're here on the shelf where you don't have to wait. And they are expensive, but they're not as expensive. They're they're not quite as expensive as uh, like buying one of them junk dart aluminum blocks. I mean, mine won't be, right? You know, Hell but I mean, yeah. that's that's. I mean, that's really what they are. You know, good studs and yeah. big, heavy sleeves and filled, so they're strong. But at the end of the day, Rob Smith, it's still stock block. Yeah, I agree. I just, I, I, that's my view on it too. A stock block's a stock block. What you do to the inside of it is is immaterial. You know, what I mean, that's like saying a guy has a. Uh, have, that's like saying you had a, a stock 454 and you put a. Uh, a longer stroke crank in it you know what i mean or a, you know what i'm saying like right. the whole idea of that to me stock block is who can make a stock block motor live what's, you, know, you know what i'm saying like and what's crazy and scary about that coyote at the same time is he can run those numbers and drive, drive that thing 1200 miles at a time yeah it's crazy it is crazy what they're doing oh yeah that's an impressive car for sure uh, I, wish you I mean that like the million dollar question like we said that one time you know, three years from now, what's it going to take to win at these local no prep races? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you, everybody said before, you'd never see them go three fifties in a radial car. And now it's effortlessly. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? Right. So like, what's the next evolution? You know, I mean, it's been yeah. a huge one in the last, last year was a groundbreaking. In so, right. <laughs> so we're talking about that. Like we're discussing that now. How long do you think we have until we're C threes and no prep? Is it two years from now? A year from now? Five years from now? Small tire no prep? Uh, I don't no know about prep. that. Yeah, I mean the surface would be that, that's the whole key, and that's what's splitting a lot of that stuff up. I mean, it's I mean, doing surface. that on a twenty eight inch bias ply tire that's that's a whole nother level there. That's I, I agree. I don't think that. Or is there a it? Yeah, and that's the thing. I think Corey's race is going to be indi- a good indicator for what a 28 oh, can handle. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see at that race what the, the capability of a 29 10 five is. I mean, 29 28. I think. I think. I'm telling you, I think you'll see good numbers out of it. But also that day, it's going to be a weather dependent thing. Yeah. Hardcore in the south. But I mean, it's also the same thing at some of these radio races, you know, like Jeff said, some of these races, it's effort that they're coming off the trailer and they're going three fifties or they're breaking a record or whatever the trade, whatever the case may be. And then you see other races that they're struggling to go 62s. Like they're, they're window and blocks and blowing shit up to go a 61 or a 62. Yeah. It's just, I think it, it's air does play a factor. What I think it's going to be the time of year. If there's that a decent stuff. surface there, I don't think four thirties are going to be any problem. Promise you. Well, yep. I take and I know like I can tell you like I know how can two how fast can two's been on a 28 on a on a marginally good like it was a good surface. I'm not gonna say it was great and I'm not gonna say it was bad. Um and it's stupid. Like it's it's insane. I know for a fact, and I've seen it where a guy on a 28 10 5 slick, me personally, it's been a 23. I have seen that times wild. I mean, I've seen it, but then rumor, and I ask everybody, everybody I talk to, how fast have you heard of or seen anybody go on a 28? And the fastest I've ever heard, I heard a guy just a few weeks ago, and he said that he had seen a car go 11, and that was the fastest I've ever heard of. I've, right. I've never really heard of any cars going into things, and that was the fastest. But think it, about that, Happy. Like, if you say 411 is the fastest, just for it, not that that's true or that we it's confirmed, you know what I mean? But like uh, the Moses brothers, they just broke the small block record in X two seventy five, and they won a four oh nine. Oh, I know, like, man. That's that's, a, that's that's insane. Fucking like, small you, block nitrous. Back when we were going five years ago, and my car was going low four fifties, like right. that was crazy fucking impressive for a nitrous small block car to go four fifties back then. And then now look at they're going four O's. 
Let me tell you, that Nitro small block car has got one badass lockup transmission and fuck you know what I'm saying? Like perfect gear ratios. I mean, like the whole key to that thing right there is it is that thing's probably turning 9,500 RPM. And when it shifts, it's dropping 200 with if a, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. That's, oh, yes. shit. It's blurry as shit. You can't hardly see it, Limpy. So I'll tell, I'll just read it off to y'all. That's This is I'll, the time slip from. I'll do it. I'll do this. I can save it and then blow it up. On my yeah. deal. Hold on. Give me a second. They want, like, they want a 0. .963 60 foot with a small block. Yeah, I think I could have went a ninety nine, but I just I never. Right. Like they went, it said they went a ninety three or the nine sixty three to sixty foot, two sixty eight to three thirty, and four eleven with a nine at one seventy. So that's that's the track. That's the small block nitrous record right now. Damn, is it is that good or is it? Yep, I've been one hundred and sixty one with small block nitrous it's fast at it's real low nitrous. that's low mile per hour for that et too no i mean like look at this one i'm sending another one this that's is crazy from Earth. low mile hour, but it's so fat, at, it's so quick oh yeah. this was that 268 to the 330 <laughs> that's fucking crazy no oh, that's, that's getting it in EGs son yeah. that is getting it in right there that'll so make just, that'll put Limpy's, your balls up in your belly i promise oh yeah to the Limpy will pull up a this lot one. of g-force but like they went a 109 60 foot 278 to the 330 and a 415 at 179 the pass before they broke the record. So like you said, they were down nine mile an hour and went faster. Fuck yeah, they got there quicker. Quicker you get there, less mile an hour you're gonna run. Exactly. You know, especially in the nitro small block world. Uh, damn. Yeah, that son of a bitch rolled out the back on that one. And then you Ooh, got mile an hour. 180 mile uh, an hour. And then you got out of a small block is insane. 180 miles an hour for a lot of people is. Are we I showing this? I do that in the quarter. Are we showing this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Car we're talking about is the blue one over there, obviously. Nitrous car. <laughs> Bad motherfucker. Got him on a hole shot. <clears throat> Mad respect to them guys. Been around them a lot. Hung out with them a lot. Was in Memphis with them when they crashed. My so God. another guy, another guy used to work with them at Nitrous Express, and he actually left about four months ago and went and did some other stuff. And that they were passed over to me, and it's been nothing. But those dudes are fucking awesome. They're sick. They're very, very talented, man. For some old very. Tennessee country boys. Well, and they like for, with Nitrous Congress. Express. They've been they've been with Nitrous Express for several years. You know what I mean? Yep. And that we have all these pictures in the office every time they win anything, or like they sent us a, a a plaque picture with the time slip and everything from when they broke the record. And they were like, "We want y'all to have this in the office." Like they're just good people. Bad dudes, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh. It's Frenchy running at butt neck and happy. I saw his name on the list. I haven't talked to him in a while. He just went and found, I believe it's a Cuda stick shift car out of Chicago. That was an old street race car from back in the day. And he's bringing it. It's turnkey car. Uh, it's a real old school car. It's, it's badass. I think he's selling his big motor out of Shawanda. He's realizing the small tire is getting, fast and even the guys on the street where his heart is they're going fast on the street so i think he may back it down a fuzz and go stick shift racing so that's uh that's it if you can't keep up with small tire and you want to go drag racing there's you just got to find a home justin lee later man get some oil pressure good night I bought my first big inch B1 off him. He's had his stuff for sale for sure. Yep. Yeah, he's selling his big engine now. Poland, have you yep. ever heard of John Stewart who started NX? Actually, yes. I know. So John Stewart and Mike Wood, that is actually the owner now, they partnered together and started all that. 
started in it. I'm going to show you one time, tell some stories, Happy. Dude, Junior, get G shot on here. Around here, he's a he's a street racing legend. I mean, that dude's he's done it all in the streets. But I think times just times has got away from him. If you don't have the money to compete, you know, just the times will get away from you. Just like we're saying, the last four or five years, look how much look how much speed these cars have gained in the no prep world. You know, all this started out a bunch of really street racers getting them off the streets and putting them on some of these sketchy <laughs> surfaces. I was going to say, like, running like this back a few years ago. Happy, were you at that race this weekend with Bank Robber? <laughs> no. No, I had my race this weekend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Life, oh. I heard he was somebody, uh, somebody that was there told me that he was rolling and, and uh, crazy for that car to come back out its first thing and go to the finals he's got a lot of data on that car yep i mean he's got a lot of data that's a badass car man a very well working car i think really he's just creeping back up on a little more reliable horsepower right he went to a billet block and pretty much same combo i believe it's just more reliable power and it's wild to think that that's what you're going to have to have in the no prep world's a billet block you know to keep up with if this is what you want to do and these are the surfaces you want to go race on you better have some serious shit i got a question yeah. now but then again What's... look at ryan mitchell he don't have none of that shit he's got a basic 540 <laughs> with your off the shelf shit i am off the shelf and an off the shelf pro charger so what's the fastest you've seen on a bare road that someone's run on a draggy and i mean bare road not like fucking mm. the pad or any of that shit like, what can the street hold on a 28.10.5? Depends on the street. I know. I'm talking bare road. Like, if we just drove out into the middle of... Concrete or asphalt? Yeah, it depends asphalt. on the concrete, yeah, right. asphalt, I mean, asphalt you, chip you and got, seal. Yeah, but you got, a bare, you got a bare asphalt road you go five, 560 on right off the rip. No I burnout. So. You know what I mean? But not. You got another bare asphalt road that you'd be lucky to get in the fives on. <laughs> You know, I mean, literally. Yeah, no, I get that. But I'm saying, like, that's, I think that's where it's, that's where it's going to be an equalizer. You'll never be able to, like, the road itself will only hold so much eventually. I've Jasper, heard there's, love you, man. Love you, brother. Hey, Jasper. Oh, you're, there's... you're right, Mike. There's a, there was a race I did at the start of, I think it was this year in January. We had 40 cars on an old helipad. We happy. We were talking about this the other day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Dude, there was, I think the fastest anybody went that night, that day was Nate, and it was like a 637. 630s. Yeah. Yeah, like that's it why was I that... like those airport races. Yeah. I know I'm in the slow club, but for us <laughs> slow guys who can't uh, compete in the mid fours, because our bank accounts can only afford five <laughs> second cars. I've heard myths that there's a uh, bare concrete roads in Texas that you can go 490s off the trailer on. <laughs> I mean, uh, on concrete. What what was all the stuff the other day talking about four second passes on the street? And Texas, that was Billy made a, What everybody what started it all. What they made a post saying what 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 streets are capable of do, making four second passes on? Basically, what it what it originated from was people always saying, "Oh, I went this, I did this, I did this," and some I don't remember who it was made a post and basically was like, "Y'all aren't going fours anything." Like, oh, there's a lot of y'all claiming y'all have, and it, there's only a few people that have went fours on a, and they started. That's how it was like the pad and NASA, and then you know Eagle got brought up. Yeah, that's what I mean though. No one's ever ran a four second pass on a bare road. Like, I mean a bare no. road. No, I honestly three. think not many's been four nineties at the pad. No bullshit. I don't think many people has done it. Now, have they done it? Yes. But as far as the amount of people that's done it, uh, I, I bet there's not as many as you think, honestly. A lot of times they ain't going as fast as what people I think. I promise you. They're exactly. not. I fucking promise you. I not. always say when somebody shows you or not shows you, but tells you, oh, I went this on a draggy, add two tenths immediately. Off the rip, add two tenths to it. I don't believe nothing until I see a piece of paper with it printed. Yeah. But but I will tell you this, like like NASA, for example, is fast. 
It's fast. You know what I mean? I mean, I think well, like you probably go faster over there. Honestly, I think oh, that's a faster yeah. road out of the two. Yeah, See, and I seen, I think it was third round or so. There were several cars that had been down Eagle and uh, Beater Bomb with the, he had the bar and everything on, but I, 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 I was there and witnessed it. It was fast. Where's that at? Oh, Eagle Parkway in DFW. It's all concrete. Yeah. That's like Limpy. Is that what that's one of your OG spots, isn't it? How but fast it's like, they've been out there that you know of. Pretty, pretty <laughs> quick. Yeah. Pretty quick. Like I don't want to give out anybody's I don't want to give anybody's I mean, we ain't where the, nobody's name. It's one where the hill is. Do you know where the hill is? And stop by yep, the airport. Yep. yep. Yeah. People hey, probably you know been for seventies. There's, there's no concrete roads around here. The first no. time I ever raced in concrete was in in St. Louis. Yep, we don't have nowhere to test here on concrete. They had that good road in that that good road in St. Louis. Uh, yeah, I went. Where, uh, I went. Chris uh, and Junior ran. I, yeah, I went. Uh, I went real. I went real dangerously close down there. It's yeah. fast, and you know that road's good. That road's just about as good as, if not. I mean, I, those roads here is just as probably just as good. The first time I mean, you that thing will take anything you throw at it. Happy's went to the when we went down to Texas 2K down there and he seen oh, some yeah. roads down there. I mean, Killers. The, the roads could hold a four second pass. Promise mm. you. Promise you they could. No, what I was just that? wondering because you guys JFK are was fast, about, but it was short. I would say five, six, like Jeff's saying, you could come off the trailer. I mean, most guys. Like my old Le Mans that I street raced wasn't nothing special. Six point bar, it was heavy, thirty three hundred pounds. Ladder bar had Santos on it. It had a four oh six with two systems LS, and that car to track would go five thirties. But on the street, I guarantee that some bitch go five sixties anywhere. I could unload that dude and make a five sixty pass. Johnny Brown with his uh with his Nova, that motherfucker he would go five seventy at the track. And he'd go out in the street and go 570, no matter. And that was with a 250 shot or a, or a 400 shot. It just. Yep. It's what it ran. I mean, I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, I mean, the, and we've gotten progressively faster over the years. And, you know, I mean, 570s back, you know, three or four years ago, or actually probably longer than that. Uh, yeah. Probably about eight, about five or six years ago was, yeah. you know, that was getting it. Yeah. My old Le Mans was hard to beat when we were traveling around, hitting town to town. And that old junkie at, well, one, it would trick you. Everybody thought it was old 650 car, and that's all it would run because you could see the fire. Fire had come through the fucking floorboard and burned my feet when the fucking candles were lit. <laughs> like, there was rust holes in that motherfucking fire. Was, like, my Kirky seat cover was melting that fucking he, thing where the fire had come through the floorboard. He's all, he's all playing, uh, what's it called? La the floor is lava. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> the floor is lava. The floor Not is yet. lava. When people looked at that car, they was like, there ain't no fucking way. But, you know, it would go. We went to Indy for one streetcar takeover. And this old boy from Evansville come up and wanted to gamble. He had a big block, 69 Camaro, two foggers. And the car ran good. He was a street racer. It was the only money race I got. I mean, we ran out of that dude's fucking life at night. But I, I guarantee the car went 550, 560. Off the trailer, first first pass. It's just it just worked. Hey, when your yeah. feet are getting burned, is that when you use your underwear as a coffee filter? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we never went to tracks. Like you know, the recently the tracks was all new to me when we went radio racing with these Monte Carlos. Like that was all new. We only tested in the streets. That was it. Because there wasn't no prep. We weren't doing this stuff. This was never heard of. <coughs> so then what do you think in three years is going to be the next hotness? <coughs> radio hard. racing will come back. It'll be radios or something like that, I bet. I think we'll be back to... I think it, the hill style. Will be a, yeah, Slicks will still be around, but it'll be prep. You know what, though? The, I would call agree with you guys, prep. except for one thing. Man, I just don't... If things don't change in the economy in the world, I, I don't see guys being able to afford to do it, period. That's what I mean. Yeah. 
Right. You know, I mean, I'm talking about if it changes over, the radial racing becomes popular again. Just the way the format and everything is. I mean, it's you know, there's probably there's a lot of guys out there that could afford the car. You know, I mean, to have the equipment, but they can't take a week off to go there and and spend seven thousand dollars in a week by the time you pay to test and all the ducks other bullshit charges he has for using using that as an example. I, I think, mean, I think as long as the quality no prep, slick racing, as long as there's quality races that pay good money, I don't think you're ever going to lose it that. It ain't going anywhere. Now, and I think now there's enough got fast guys to put on good shows. You you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, hey, I've said this a hundred times. Any of you promoter, any promoter that thinks that judges the success of their event by car count, that's stupid. It's just stupid. You need yeah. ex- You need a certain amount of cars to put a good show on. More than that doesn't make it better. I'll tell you, I've always been a person, 32 cars, five rounds, no buy runs. That's always been. 32 cars with quality cars. Is it's a, a gangster ass, ass race. And, and and the thing is, like I told you before, trust me, I, I back when I was, I learned a lot of shit about this. When you're racing at five o'clock in the morning, you've, you've failed as a promoter. And I've failed. I've done the same thing. You don't get me wrong, right? But when people bought a ticket to come in there, they want to watch the final round. Yep. Yeah. They, they want true. to see the final round. They don't want to, they don't want to be there at five in the morning. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why when I'm on the start line, I'm, I'm, we're, let's go. We're, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're that's, rolling. We're rolling. That's the whole reason yeah. at War in the Woods, it's a constant, pushing things through you know what i mean i'm trying to meet a deadline i'm trying to get the race done before the crowd and you know that's why i say the last war in the woods if everyone could go like that we'd be golden man done by 12 30 i mean perfect. That perfect well, nice. well even for the racers it's nice i don't want to be it's there nice for everybody. five yes. in the morning because i'm ready to get fucking high about one two o'clock <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Get off them dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's another thing. That's another thing. I, I'm willing to fucking speed shit up because it ain't. I mean, it's cost. I mean, it's costing me wear and tear on my body standing yep. there too. You know, for yep. Twelve. My, grand, my great grandpa used to always say, "With everything in life, you don't know it's too big until it's too late." Hey, I need to build like a one of them. You ever seen them chairs like that? The king of a country sits in, like over in. Mm-hmm. The Middle East and stuff. I'm gonna build one of them for Limpy in the middle of the. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That way you can sit down and let them dogs quit barking for a hot. No minute. shit, dude. At at fucking at at uh H Town, god dang, dude. I, there's there's times I don't I don't sit down for like at least five six hours. Fuck, and man. you know, I mean, uh, Poland knows. I mean, the first round, you're you're eight nine hours just for first round. It takes like it, it's. H Town is it's rough on like it takes a week to recuperate from H Town. There's so many cars and it's such a fast 200, pace that 200 plus cars. Yeah, like, and they do it all in one day. You're trying to run 200 yeah, cars in wild. one day. Like it's that's a lot. It's it, it's it's nonstop. Like I'm talking about cars are go through the finish line and the other cars doing a burnout. Like it. You know what's really cool at H Town? I race there is uh how the other street is like the staging lanes and it's got like staging lanes, like a racetrack. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? So you're, you're at a street race, but there's all this room. It's just, it's weird. You know what I mean? Now, now Jeff, they've got it. They've got it like down there at like digger die, how you got each side. Yeah. It has numbers on there. It has left lane, right lane. So you line up in your, yeah, in your deal. And I think it's only like eight cars at a time. They allow oh. out there. Yeah, this year they changed right. it though, so like Friday is registration for everything. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be doing the registration and everything on Friday, and I think they're doing the cruises and stuff Friday night, and then just going right into elimination Saturday. Um, but I don't know for sure. Don't quote me. Yeah, that's like, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. I think I got to be there Friday night too. I was like, that's what? one of the races I'd like to try too. H cool. and it's on the street. H the people are like, like, man, it's the street, bro. I said, but that fucking street that that the lane swap. Yeah, it's be, a weird place, isn't it? They'll, they'll swap, they'll swap lanes. The one lane would be good, and your 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 left lane, and your you'll go up, and you have left lane again, and it'd be totally fucking different to what it was. Do you watch a guy just forth. knock the tires off in the first five feet after seven pairs just dead hooked getting it? You know what I mean? Yep. Crazy. Yep. But they have the burnout box too close to the starting line there. I mean, I've never seen such a gooey mess of prep yes. in my life as when I raced they, there. They, I unreal. think they, when when did you race there? Uh, uh, it was it was a while back. It was two like, or three years ago. Because I know from like 
the first year I went to where like last year's the burnout box is probably another six, seven foot back. Like they're, they're yeah, I mean, when I was there, I went to the fourth round, I think, and we never even poured prep. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't like cracking in them. And if, if we do, yep. if we do, I stop them before the water box and we pour water out. They burn out through that shit. Like, yeah, there's no reason yeah. to, it's just, there's shit everywhere. It's rough too. And then, you know, by the end of the night, fuck. There's sometimes, you know, fuck, it's it's four, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm fucking, you know, it's fucking be nice. It's, it's fucking nice. It's probably like 60 degrees outside. I'm just fucking freezing to death. Yeah. <laughs> because the problem is, is you're out there in 100 degree yeah. heat all day long. You get all this nice day. sunburn. The sun goes down. It gets kind of chilly, and then the wind starts blowing. When the wind starts I'm blowing, fucking, you, you got a fucking burn sunburn too. on top of a wind burn. It's just it's wore it's out. Fuck. Yeah, where's your hope? Yep. <coughs> like, yeah, that's a bucket it? list place you need to go to, Mike. Yep. Yeah, I want to try that too. It looks it was cool. Like, it was last year, maybe the year before. Limpy's calves, I kid you not, were redder than Mike's logo. Like the back of his calves were so sunburned because he was just standing there. <laughs> like his head in Florida long. could have oh. lit a cigarette off his forehead. That, that was a good base coat I've got for the Ooh. year. Hey, that uh, <laughs> down there at H Town, like they're, I, I don't remember now, but like they're True Street class. They let them run on slicks, right? And they, yeah. they're, they get with it. Fuck yeah, yeah, they do. They're fast. Was that one year that uh, Chris won in the Tesla? There was what like, in Daily, I think there was like 58 cars or something like that, just something in Daily like that, or something yeah. like that. Dang. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> town was a blast last year other than Brandon. don't they do two races a year or something two yeah or they used to do three but now they just do two they two. do usually in one in june and then the back and then ones the halloween so they do one to like start the year like june type deal and then they're they always do halloween every they've always done because like the trick or street yeah they, what they do is they run first round and then they shut it down for like 20 or 30 minutes or something like that and they let all the kids go trick-or-treat at all the racers trailer yeah yeah, maybe I'll try to hit up the October one and then head to Florida after that. It's not a bad you can plan. Bring, you can bring uh, Maxwell and then have a, a, a outfit for him. Mm-hmm. Or, or, have him or have him attack all the kids. Yeah. 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 He'll be all, all about that candy. <laughs> what, candy. What they do is they have the power wheel race. Fuck them kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but what they'll do is they'll have like, they'll get like $100 in ones. And if it's windy or whatever, they'll throw it in the air and let the kids fucking let chase the kids it. Catch it. Yeah. Mm. Pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to bed. It's one o'clock. I'm out. Oh, I'm out there myself. Time. Is that Canadian time? Have a great night, everybody. And that's Canadian Bye, time. You too, brother. Good uh, seeing week. you all. Have a great week. Yes, yes, bye. See ya. Bye. I'm getting there myself. I got to get oh, up and get a little man to school. It's only midnight here. What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> Lippy, what do you got in store for me this weekend down there? Uh, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want you want some Mexican food? Yeah. We got to come to Fort Worth for Mexican food, though. Well, you always said there's the best Mexican food ever down there. Oh, yeah. Or we can go some... Uh, hey... Barbecue. Need, I need a I need a limpy reacts to Jeff trying the taco lady. Oh yeah, yeah. Taco, the, taco lady's legit. good. Tacos and uh, quesadillas. Oh yeah, I like some street tacos. Oh wait, wait, just wait. They're good, huh? Yes. They the barbecue though too, man. Down some of the barbecue places in Texas, it's hard to beat. Really? I've hey, had some uh, best barbecue you know, in my life. Bring my bring my gear. I'm working on it. All right. I fly out. I got to fly out at 5 a.m. on Friday morning. I think what's that, what's that like a two hour flight? Yeah, we got a direct flight. Me and Jason are on the same flight. So uh-huh. I think, you, hey, breaking news. Julie texted me earlier oh, and boy. goes, I want to go to Texas. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Tell her, come on. Come on. All right, let's go. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm seriously thinking about getting maybe if I could see if I get a hotel room, uh, down the road from the track. 
I, yeah. I, I don't I, I'm only like 40 minutes away, but God dang, sometimes at 40 minutes is a fucking long ways. A hey, long tell way uh, Marissa that Julie's coming if she hasn't already told her. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, ball, hopefully, hopefully she's asleep. But Olay's, uh, she's been working. She, she started her new job and she's been working on the weekends. So. Yeah. Well, she'll have to take off one day to, to have some cocktails with Julie. You know how them two do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, like, I want to see. I want to see him at uh, when we have the uh, War in the Woods, uh, the pregame. I want to see. Yeah, them. dude, I, that's a, I, I don't really need Julie being that kind of level of hungover. I'll have to get her up on Friday and get her down <laughs> like this <laughs> Get her head right. <laughs> you'll see Frank the Tank, or you see Julie the Tank. Julie the Tank. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah, she was on here earlier. Oh, she was. Yeah, as soon as we got on, she was on here for a while. She was all like, "Dude, what was car count like? Why, why is car count down?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. she yeah. sure was. She yeah, was on it too. She ain't. Yeah, she's on it. She, her and Kenzie are exactly alike. Oh yeah. Me and they Julie are. was at the accountants today. You know, she she uh. So that was interesting too. You know, it's a lot to it, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, did y'all got your? <laughs> uh, how's the camper life? Have y'all tried it yet? No, no. Actually, uh, what is it today? The tenth. Uh, in five days, I'm taking it up to Muncie, Indiana, to a dude up there that runs like a big, that works on big motorhomes, diesel pushers like that, and that he's gonna. The load levelers don't work on it. The the board for it was out, so he already ordered that for me. And then he's going to change all the filters and just maintenance it. And then one of the awnings on it needs a new, uh, you know, the fabric or whatever it is on there. So I'm just going to, you know what I'm saying? It's been, so just get it ready. It'll be ready. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the old lady says she's asked off for Warner Woods. She did ask off for that. Oh, cool. But I think she's gonna fly in, and then she's gonna fly back. Cause, uh, well, I don't know. I have to see where I'm going. I could, I don't know. Cause it was like round trip was like it was only like, what you say from like now it was only like two hundred fifty bucks for round trip. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I just, it was only. I just bought my ticket last night, and it was two hundred and twenty seven dollars yeah. with awesome. a direct flight. I couldn't yeah. believe. Yeah, that's hers awesome. Was, hers was direct, uh, straight into uh, Indy, and then uh, straight back. Uh, yeah. Like, I was like, fuck, it's cheaper than speaking of. I gotta see where I'm Is going. it a direct flight back to Jeff? Back to yep. Cincinnati? Yeah, we leave at we leave at five Friday morning and we get back uh at eleven AM on Sunday. So we leave early Sunday morning too. That's awesome, man. Shit, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yep, now if I can just get a car, if I can just wheel something, it'll be an epic trip. <laughs> yeah. Roll into Texas and take that money, son. Yeah, I'm supposed That's to go right. to Amarillo the weekend after. Roll, Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brandon, you ain't missed nothing tonight. We just been on I'm here about chatting. To, I'm about to hit it. You ain't got, missed nothing. Got you on that tree. Let's go. <laughs> hey, I got a million dollar question for y'all. Is uh, at the table on at War in the Woods, is Happy going to make a comeback on the on the uh, – uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll bring something with me for sure. Happy, I have come to. back on what? I will. I'll come. Like, my mama didn't raise drinking. Drinking. Hey. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm fireball shot for shot that night. Bring oh, it. it's on then. Oh, hit for hit, yeah, Chris. That's a challenge hit for hit, in. Hit for hey, hit Chris. I'll, let's make a bet right now. How many times is Happy gonna say, "Mama didn't raise no bitch"? I'll let you, <laughs> Let's do an over under it on it for a hundred bucks, <laughs> <laughs> and it can only be it, the the count is done off the time the the lot were live on the table. What's up, Michael? From I'm gonna be the only sober one. <laughs> oh fuck! No I, fireball. I'll be drunk. I'll I'll be drunk. Uh, on this smoke. Not four or five shots, Corey. No, just a few. Just a, come just on, the edge. Come I, don't, on. I don't drink at all, man. Come on, your mama didn't raise no bitch. Just nah. a little nip to knock the edge off. <laughs> come on, we gotta have a at least. Hit for you? We gotta <laughs> at least. We gotta at least have a toast. 
I'd I rather make it than drink it. <laughs> I said, here's to all the kisses I've snatched, or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I never heard that one. <laughs> I got to keep on the IT, so. <laughs> I'm seeing at the track, so I, I could get yeah. fucking black the fuck out. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, you ain't got to worry. I'll have happy i'll have timmy with me he can take my shot now listen uh, with the gourmet dinner that i'm providing all right you know since i'm so rich i can do that uh uh there there will be there will be pre-dinner wine serve that that is mandatory hell yeah <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in. Oh, i can't drink that at all Ew. i'm in hey because hey, will, will my old lady drink it will it count for me I know it. Are you kidding me? Crystal will beat somebody up to get it. <laughs> Let me tell you, like, you don't want that? I'll take it. Wine touched my tongue once and I was about to instantly puke. I've had some, you know, I've I've actually learned going to some of these restaurants, certain wines do really pair really well with certain dinners. And when you change the wine throughout to go with different food, Ooh. now some of it's rough. Some of like, it is like rough. I don't like the smell of alcohol. I don't even like the taste of alcohol. I just fucking, it's nasty. I tell you, get you some type of fruity drink. Something no, I, I'll good. drink some like hurricanes or something, but no something tastes drink. like no. some Kool Aid. Eight years of bar. That's a happy like good. to drink. <laughs> <laughs> like drink them girly shots and shit. <laughs> That's what, how, how, how many wieners? Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Mama ain't raised no bitch. That's right. <laughs> We need a running counter of happy shots versus Julie's white claws. Bullshit, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I've stayed with her for a few days. I know how much she can drink. Uh, I, I, even, I won't even do hit for hit against Julie. <laughs> no way. I'm, I'm telling you right her. now, no. Or the old and lady. You, and, and you don't even know she's had a drink. Like, yeah, that's crazy. There, she could be. She could see her 20 yeah. of them in and we're just sitting there and she's ready to go. Like, hey, listen, let me tell you the story from the pad because this is hilarious. All right. Oh. So Julie's we're at the pad, right? She's drinking at what? Nine in the morning. Happy. Literally. Right. We're tap by the time I'm over there testing <laughs> like one o'clock in the afternoon. She's pretty lit. Right. Oh, yeah. So she keeps getting in and out of my truck. And every time she gets out, she fucking slams, slams the passenger door. door. I mean, I thought it was going to rip, break the door off the truck, right? I mean, I'm literally starting to get pissed, right? So now when I get mad at her after she slams it, she goes to the back of the truck, opens the tailgate, and just lets it fall down so she can sit back there and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> so then, wait, this is the best thing. You know when we, you know where that, the, the parking lot we were parked in where the McDonald's was? Happy, you remember where we parked at? Oh, so yeah. she goes, I'm going to go to McDonald's and get something. I said, all right, right. She takes off. About seven minutes later, she calls me on the phone and goes, I can't find the truck. Oh, shit. I go, you see the fucking McDonald's over there that we were parked right next to? She goes, she yeah, I'm sitting in the McDonald's. Oh, my God. Poor it, thing. It was hilarious, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah, anybody that wants to go um, white claw for white claw, I've got money on Julie. Yeah, I, I, I I'm not a bad man, and I'll take that. I'll take. Yeah, she, I, I promise you. It don't even phase her either. It doesn't. I mean, you can tell when she starts getting the buzz, but I mean, she. she yeah, Thursday night when she when she's working, she ain't drinking. Uh, she's drinking them, but it's casually, very but casually, when, very. But but when, but when she's ready to pound them. Y'all it's look on. Out. It's on. Yeah. I just hear. Psh, psh. Hey, hey, Marissa ain't no different. You let Marissa know. get a hold of one of the boxes of wine. You can it's get on. that sucker by. Hey, hey, she she drinks the box of wine every two days. Jesus. Every fucking two days, she drinks a box of wine. And she That's drinks right. it warm too, don't she? Oh yeah, it's yeah. Room she temperature. Drinks, uh, Real. Yeah, it's, it's Merlot. It's Merlot. It's what she yep. likes. Ugh. Wow, I don't know. That stinks to me. It's fucking. I'll nasty. tell you what. I foresee a serious shit show on Thursday night with a whole lot of hangovers on Friday. Oh. Literally a shit show. What time is drivers meeting on Friday? Oh, not. I think we do it at one. 
Oh, mother fuck. Can we, oh, can we it's a little like early, that? ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> One in the afternoon's early. <laughs> Are we doing, hey, we're we just doing tech and everything at once. Yeah. Right. I'm happy I'll be there at lunchtime. I'll give you your knock on the camper. Wake up. Time to set up uh, the rest of the shit. Come on. I'm like, if I fucking, if, if Jeff Barry fucking comes I, and, and I hang with them guys, I'm liable to be done for fucking. Oh, I yeah. might not make it. I might not recover for the whole weekend just from oh, Thursday Lord. night. Them guys, man. I'll it. stick to my malt liquor. Oh God. And I, I haven't oh. I ain't doing dabs unless y'all twist my arms. That yeah. man drinks old English, I guarantee it. Oh please don't, Happy. I mean, Limpy, you were a hot mess on them. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> I, I almost made, I almost made it make it down the hill. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked over at him when he was clearing that thing. I, I mean, I only thing I could say was, oh, fuck. Yeah. And about that time. Oh, you know, that man, night I told Jasper, I go, you guys need to take it easy on Limpy. I didn't even know what was going on. I go, <laughs> I said, he hey, got to fucking flag this race. You. <laughs> hey, hey I got, I've got a year. I've got a year's in my, uh, uh, oh, my uh, deal. Uh, but I know I was fucked up. I was fucking out and yeah. I was down like this. And yeah. I, but I could tell everybody was talking and everything. And then I was like, yep. Yeah, we're good. I, yep. I carry on a conversation. Somebody goes, Oh, Lippy's fucked up. I'm like, yep. I'm just like, yep. <laughs> and fucking Brandon, I was like, man, when it gets quiet, that's when Brandon's going to fuck with me. Yep. Yeah, there it was. And then I was like, I was like, it got quiet for a minute. And I was like, did I fall asleep or are they fixing to the fuck with me? I got a feeling up, fucking Brandon's ass is right there. I'm like, God, dang. I got a feeling man. they'll be talking about that episode of the table for quite some time. <laughs> oh yeah. It's on. It'll be fun. Chris, oh, I'm holding shit. it to you. I'm I'm holding I'm you down. to shot for shot. I'm, I'm bringing I, I told keg. Man, I'm gonna tell Julie that though. I want a big uh dinner table cloth proper silverware and plates the whole nine yards it'll so. be fucking it'll be white clawed it'll be white claw uh the she will probably oh, she'll shit. probably make it oh shit <laughs> oh. oh my god here goes trey oh boy damn it how are you gonna text me ask me what i'm doing and then come in here and just fire off on me <laughs> some friends are for <laughs> is that is that Trey? Is that three dicks or is that just multiple dicks? <laughs> Damn it, Tyler! Limpy was about to fall out of the chair at Happy's camper when I got yeah. When I fucking got shape. up, to, when I got up to pee and I went behind and grabbed the fucking ladder in the back of your your camper, and I'm fucking sitting there peeing, and I'm like, I'm looking down, I'm like, I'm looking, oh, fuck. I'm, like, I'm like, I better hold on to this motherfucker right here. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been so tore up you had to hang on to the earth to keep from falling off that was like and then when i was up and i was like man i might while i'm up i might as well get my ass inside that camper and get in the chair because if i don't i ain't gonna make it i ain't gonna hey, make it so that's the whole thing when i get drunk i gotta be somewhere safe and in the bed before i get the spins if i get the spins I don't know if y'all have ever tried to roll a wheelchair while trying to balance. And... I'm about to say, <laughs> but, you, you know, are you, you're like a dog that runs around in a circle when you do that. Literally. Right? literally <laughs> trying to catch his own tail. Yes. Uh, I couldn't imagine, man, really. Yeah. It, I, I, if I get the spinnies, I, I'm in trouble. It's game over. You know, a, you know I, back I in the day when we get the spins, we just put one leg on the ground. I guess you can't do that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god put leg on the ground you know stop in do you do donuts nah Damn it's more of an god. awkward like you know you're gonna you're gonna fall forward then you push yourself backwards and then it's just a repeating so you're, you're making the spins worse because you're doing like you're in a boat motioning back and forth Ooh. yeah exactly Suck. Damn it. Motherfuckers give me a DWI they see me like that <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a D? Was it? No, it's the DWI. I had a cop. It'd be time. RDI. Rolling. Uh, it's, a, it, it's technically a DWI. DWI is classified anything that moves with four wheels. Man, oh, I tell him to eat my dick. 
Which the cop, like when we asked the cop, we were in the stockyards one time and he was like, Oh, say no more. Say no more. He said, Technically, by law, yes, you could get That's somebody in a wheelchair up, at DWI. Man. He said, But most likely, they're not going to be like, you'd have to do some fucked up shit to them. Yeah, for them to be like, yep, we're charging you with the DWI. That's fucked. That's up. where I told you, Jeff, that uh, whenever you come to town, you uh, you should take Julie's over down the street from my house at uh, Stockyards. Yeah, Jen wants to go there real bad. Remember? Or Jen, I mean, Jen, yeah, Jen. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, when you said the Stockyards, I was like, oh, say no more, man. It, all kinds of bad shit happens in Stockyards, at least on my end. Uh, that's where I got my, uh, my, uh, my urinating in public and showing anus ticket. <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> my buddy, my buddy, his ticket just said urinating in public. Uh, the woman wrote my ticket and said urinating in public and showing anus. Oh my so apparently, God. Apparently I was laying on the hood of my car with my butt cheeks spread open peeing. So I had to get that oh ticket taken God. care of uh, before me and the old lady got married. Yeah. Trey, we were out <laughs> at H Town last year on Friday. We drank all kinds of. Man, I, I know I went there with twenty five hundred dollars cash, and I woke up Saturday morning and had like eight hundred dollars, and had no idea what happened. Damn, that sounds like a good night to strip club. Was, hey, well, you know even, the way Happy's been showing his ass lately, he's going to be the next one to get a citation. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> hey, you know what it'll lying. be for? It'll be for improper grooming. <laughs> <laughs> You know, happy yes. when you when you pee outside, you can't do that down here, man. That's against the law. Playing with little boys' wiener. Like <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! It's against the law, oh. Texas. Damn, man, that's crazy. Hey, what, what part say? of Mexico are you going to, Happy? Cancun. Yeah, going to. Um, it's a place that Kenzie works for. Actually, it's a. Um, a company that they do like the testosterone supplements and oh, they do all so kinds of a, stuff. It's a yeah. weekend. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, boy. And they, that company rented the whole fucking resort. So it's nothing but nurses coming in from all across the United States for oh, conferences. Shit. Yeah, I'm hoping it's a party. I, you have, how many, how many fucking, how many free samples can you get? <laughs> no shit. No shit. You know, what's crazy though, is you can go to the pharmacy down there and I didn't realize that, but a friend of mine, that's a pilot. She was like, you can go to the pharmacy down there and get anything you want. You can buy anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anything. 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 You just oh, gotta yeah. have a prescription then, for it, but, but. Uh, you, you don't have to get the prescription. Yeah, I mean, you can you can get. I know, it but all there's a there's right the, there. the dude that, that does it. Oh, what's wrong with you? Oh, I happy. All I heard was nurses and resorts, and I, all I seen was a lot of big blocks, a lot of big asses and scrubs. And I'm put me in your suitcase. I can tell you right now, happy will be in trouble with Kenzie before that trip's over. Too many of them purple nipples, and you're gonna be in. You, <laughs> Them purple motherfuckers are going to be a motherfucker this weekend. Uh, <laughs> he's already getting ready. I'm, I am, man. I'm excited. We haven't been out of the country, so it's it's going to be pretty good. I was, in, I was out of the country last weekend when I was in Mexico. That's right. Streets. I'm ready, man. <laughs> Talking about it. Motherfucker. Is Chris asleep? <laughs> He's getting there. I'm ready to be <laughs> sleeping. Yes. It's yeah, past my bedtime. No. Oh. I'm ready. I got to get up and get little man to school. All right. Well, we can wrap um, this up. So well, let me give one more good flyer post this weekend. Yeah. Any this final weekend, words? We'll see some of y'all there, some of y'all we won't, but we're going to be partying. Speaking of butts and scrubs, that ain't scrubs, but yes, Lord Jesus. Yep. So, they'll probably be up at uh, they'll probably be at wherever Billy Nim's at, right? Oh, oh no, no, Tess is driving magic. No, Matt, Tess and Tony and them are already on their way to their leave. They said they were leaving tonight and they're headed this way. She's driving. Oh, I Tess figured, is dude. Tess is driving Jimmy Dale's car all weekend. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Still, 
Uh, I'll be on the starting line. Camera ready. I'll be. Uh, we'll be live too. Yep. And high, more than likely. Yep. Um, <laughs> same. Same. I'll be tuning in. I have some internet. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna pay for Jeff's taco lady, and I'm gonna go get him a couple of tacos and some quesadillas, and we'll do a whole limpy reacts to Jeff eating taco lady. Poland, you got one job. Get me a ride, buddy. That's all we need. To I'm, do. I'm, I'm working on it right now. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a shirt on that says "Looking for work." <laughs> <laughs> you need to get him in that car. You sent me a picture of that. That's that. Well, that's the the, the car. The, that's a good fit. Yes. Thunder Road, no, Jimmy Dale. I don't let him race there in small tire gangsters. It's it takes several people to run a, an operation, and I need. I mean, it's, it, there, I, there's only one of me. There's only a half of me, so I need help. Yeah. Have you figured out where Jimmy Dale's hiding spot is at the gut? Because that's the, yeah, you, bro. That man. I don't think there's anybody else in the country that does it, but he will stand at that front gate and greet every single person that comes in. Like it's the it's more of a hospitality thing. Um, but when I do need him, he goes wherever I go, wherever I need him to go. But for the most part, that's Jimmy Dale's hiding spot. He's at the, he's literally up there cutting up, bullshitting, and greeting every single person that comes to the gate and that's good. To come, you know, supporting us. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. So, Corey, I can't wait to send you a message, ask you what you think of the starting line while you're out there with your camera. Uh, it can't be no worse than some of the grudge ones I've been on. Uh, <laughs> that's just pretty close, I bet. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty badass, man. But where you actually, where you'll be standing, probably, you'll feel some wind. Hmm, I'm used to it. Yep. This weekend was run. well. The first this weekend was the closest I've ever pulled back filming at Decker Boys in my whole ten year of going there. That was right. weird. Well, yellow yeah. belly, you are up close and personal. Personal. Yeah. And I there's, mean, there's, there's nowhere to run. That's yeah. one thing that'll. That's the one thing when you come on that starting line, it's like you locking yourself in a go. cage. You know, you be you in a WWE yeah. match, and the only way you getting out is you crawl over the top of that cage. Yeah. And it's it's pretty good ways. It's badass, oh man! Like yeah. it's another day in the office. It's badass, <laughs> dude. I just wonder how many times Corey's going to come up and say, "Never again." Never again, because it's <laughs> it's a madhouse, dude. But it's so much fun. It's awesome. Yeah. It really is, man. You just you got to experience it, though. It, it's bucket list shit. It'd be all right. <laughs> it's badass, man. Yeah. Chris, and then you're doing Muncie Friday. Yeah, I'm doing Muncie Friday, Friday, and then I'll go. I'll go to Columbus Saturday. King of Columbus. Are you fist pumping or? Hey, who's doing that race, King of Columbus? Who's putting that on? Track. Oh. Somebody said something in the comments earlier when we were discussing. 60,000? What's the deal? Yeah, they did, a, they did a, the, the, the 60K at such and such car. Oh, at like 128 oh, cars you. or something like that. Yeah, like it's a C. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if there's over 80 cars, it's 20 grand. If over 60, it's 15. Over 40, it's 10. Over 25, it's 7. Under 25, it's 5 grand. No, it's 5 grand guaranteed no matter what. On gotcha. top or plus the. It's winners guaranteed at least 5 grand. Yeah. No minimum car count. Boy, they're geniuses on a multi million dollar track, and that's the. that's. That's ridiculous. Yeah. No. Friday doesn't look good uh, for the banger. It's it's, uh, it's, it's looking a little perfect. it's looking a little wet. Weather. Wet. Yeah. We'll oh, is it? Yeah. Sixty percent chance last time I looked. So. But if Corey ain't live on something, I'll join live on either day. If not, I'll be live on my ship. Maybe. Hell yeah. Yeah, it, it don't look too good. Yeah. 76% chance on Friday. Oosh. In Muncie. Damn. That sucks. All right, well, if not, Saturday looks good over here. No, be there Saturday. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Dylan's birthday. So guess right what? now. All right. What picture is it? I'm at the full screen it, Corey. Where at? Oh, oh Lippy. Oh, him oh. on the shitter. Hell yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh. Shit, guys, I'm gonna get me some sleep. Let's do we'll it. Hit man. The road, so yep. it's good hollering, everybody. Good seeing everybody. I think I've yep, slacked. I need to get some the other the actual podcasts up on the pages, so I'll try to work on that in between everything. So, hell yeah! All right, guys, we'll see y'all this weekend live or in person. Bye. See y'all this weekend. See you, see you guys. Everybody.